Oh, God. God damn. God damn. You know, <laughs> I put that intro of Cobra screaming to wake everyone up who was in the chat waiting for the show. Because I bet you if that didn't, but if that didn't get you, oh, man, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. I think the music might still be too loud, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, yeah, no, that's completely my fault. It's completely my Here fault. <laughs> Either go. or, too high for stupid. Episode 32, Club Doom is here to talk about only the finest in local music, and who better than have the connoisseur of the music in this community himself here? And by God, by God, gentlemen, we are going to have a good night tonight. And um, yeah, how are y'all doing? I'm great, man. It's awesome to be here with Club Doom. Uh, congratulations on the new album, my dude. I listened That's to a little bit is. of it. I haven't listened to all of it, but it's fucking killer so far. Oh um, yeah, that, I, that was a fun as hell EP to make. So uh, it, it, for those who ain't know, the Stoner Cookbook is a collab tape between me and a uh, fellow producer in this community, Black Brains, and uh, we got a fun old six-track EP all about like King Cobra JFS food hacks, and it's oh, a good time. It's that's a very be good so time. Good. Cobra, Cobra food hacks. We know how much Smokey loves them. I do. Um. I do. I love like because it just gives me inspiration to want to like. I go out to a steakhouse. They put a steak in front of me, and I'm like, it's not good enough. Put some ramen noodles on that bitch. Put some Doritos on that bitch. Maybe a little bit of uh, some anchovies, and then you got a fucking meal. Oh yeah. Then you got a steak. Yeah. That's you a, need cat food. You forgot cat food. Oh, yeah. How could I forget about the cat food? <laughs> What's the <laughs> flaming yawn without a little cat food and maple right? syrup? Come on. Right? Correct. <laughs> Since that. we're on to Josh, I mean, might as well start with a little Josh here. This is the Sparse Sprangled <laughs> Rager. It, I oh, guess it God. like constitutes as music because he's Technically. angry. Yeah. <laughs> this... I, I, I forget the exact time stamp. I wanted, to, oh, I wanted to set it to the timestamp where he just starts geeking out because that's my favorite part oh, this yeah, is, <laughs> this was the first me <laughs> yeah right around <laughs> this there was, this was the first ever king cobra thing i ever saw because this is i think the first thing kiwi showed me in the best of king cobra video oh. we did and <laughs> like so this is my initial interpretation of who king cobra is i see the bald spot i see the guitar and we're about to see some raging and like you're like you know, you see a guy like this, and little do you know, on the other side of that spectrum, um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of dank food hacks and all this other shit. But like I said, yeah, this was my first ever look into King Cobra. Was this video? Bald spot, the motherfucker. Fuck, there's a, just a hair spot from what I'm yeah, seeing. That's Jesus, yeah. <laughs> that's and then there's just Sean in the corner. <laughs> yeah, Sean is a. Uh, I can't hey. believe this was the first thing you saw out of Josh. This is honestly like. The perfect encapsulation of his character. So. And his hair his head is increasingly <laughs> by the day looking more like Cyrax's. So Yeah. That's, it's very Lord he's, of the Rings esque. Yeah. He's preparing for when they box. It's gonna be the ditto match of the century. <laughs> oh my god. Oh you know, my god, that happened. Jo Josh be the Falco to Cyrax's Fox McCloud for all my Smash players out there. <laughs> Uh, Josh, what he's doing here is he's getting upset because for years and years, over a decade now, Josh has been playing the guitar. It's not gotten any better. In fact, yeah. it's only gotten worse. And um, he can't even play the Star Spangled Banner, a, a very simple tune, and <laughs> just can't handle it. He's got a nasty temper, Tubes. 
I think it's also because he's drunk, and he's like too oh, yeah. drunk in the video to like do shit, let alone play the guitar. And, yeah. and it's also because he loves America so much that he can't <laughs> stand that he keeps fucking up the anthem. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, he's disrespecting America, and that's pissing him off, tubes. He's pissing him off. <laughs> Looking like a car seat lollipop. Pissing me off! It pisses me off! Like, oh, hey. The modern day Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I've spent several years being patriotic. Fuck the hate! Could you guys I wish imagine? there was a way to green screen this. I wish there was a way to green screen this. I would love to see like, <laughs> like Josh attempted to play the guitar and rage and like and behind him be like the John Paul Jones flag or whatever it's called. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we you, you do it. I have an AI thing on my uh editing for my my laptop that'll just cut them right out. It's not always the best, but I threw racks in jail one time. Oh, that's um, good. That's some good shit. Dude, it's it's a crazy AI has made this shit like so much more simple. Um, but this whole like this whole thing, could you imagine being that talented? I mean, as a musician, Club Doom, surely you have to aspire to these heights of greatness. Oh, I know. Like, I'll be the first to say I don't know a lick of guitar, but uh, you know, so I can only imagine how uh how much skill it takes to perform this uh, masterpiece right here. This, this 17 minute. Well, it, it was only written in 1820 something, whatever the fuck, you know, like hell. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having mind. a few, I've been taking a few hits here before the show. And I always get to this point where like I zone out because I picture something and I'm picturing Cobra right now. Cause he's kind of got the ponytail, like that dude from the one Pokemon episode playing his songs under the tree like yo snorlax come on over here the snorlax guy but instead of playing a nice melodic song for snorlax he's just freaking the fuck out just, <laughs> just trying to play the poker flute <laughs> fuck <laughs> fuck more than one the way haters. to skin more than one way to skin me out tubes <laughs> 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 dead ass he's it's just that lax is just gonna get up and run away fucking <laughs> But this is, but you were right, Kiwi. This is like, like Doom, for as talented as Doom is with his music, Doom looks at this and just goes like, like, you know, if only, if only I could play and scream at, at, for mm. America like this. Like, like it's every locale, every person, every musician, all of them, they strive to be this level of greatness that Cobra has right here. And I don't think anyone's going to touch it. You know, Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix is rolling in his grave how good <laughs> this cover is right now. Who was like the he, blind the blind guitarist? He was in Roadhouse. What was his name? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, no. That that's more Cobra's style, you know. That's more Cobra's style. I know He's got I one eye. Do, I really think we should we should rank. Like how many? I don't know how many hmm. exactly. We have to look out here, but we should. We'll put them in like a blind ranking, and we'll decide at the at the end of this show who is the ultimate low musician. 
Oh, I, I already have that decided in my head. I, I know who that is. I know that. You can take a wild guess. Don't spoil I, I have my pick too, but I'll save it for the end of the show. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead and say mine's Cobra since it's just right here. So I expect my opinion to be changed, boys. Where are we heading Number next? one? Number one King Cobra? Dude, he's amazing, man. Are you kidding me? I mean, did this. you just hear him shred? Oh. Like I said, like I said, musicians want to be him, but there's still a few musicians out there I think could beat him, and we're probably going to be looking at them pretty soon here. Dude, his 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 licks are so sick that they dry up all the seats for miles around. Like that's how powerful that dry spell is, bro. Well, I mean, I was gonna say it wet it soaks the seats. You know, all the no, goth kicks dude. in the crowd. It's so good it does the opposite. People are just like. I don't, I don't know where I'm going. It's like that scene in Tenacious D. It's like that scene in Tenacious D with Master Exploder. Bitches are getting wet in the crowd as Cobra plays. What? People's heads exploding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Okay, guys, what's next? Well, we can we can start with number one Drift King animation. Uh, the street racing scene animated. But, like... Do we think we familiar with that song enough already, or yes, like, should we just? Start I was about to say it? the same thing, Doom. I was about to say, if anything, <laughs> we'll listen to your version. Like I don't want. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As well, far then as we I'm might concerned. just want to skip to two. It's time. It's time, chat. Back when Smokey and I first collaborated, I told him we got to listen to JRPG one day, and he'd been ducking for a whole year and a half since. I have time. It's I have. time. This is a story. This is, you this tell is the us dude the who story. wants to fuck Reshiram, isn't it? Yep, yep. Uh, Justin RPG, uh, he's a big fan of Pokemon, especially the legendary dragons, especially Reshiram, and he will pronounce his love to her all the time in musical form. This be uh, one of the classics, Don't Stop Loving Reshiram. Uh, you might recognize the piano riff, like, right away. Okay, are we ra- I'm sorry. I just feel bad that I wasted my Pokemon joke on Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for See, real. I'm this ready. guy, man, something's not right here. Like, Wait, even what, more so. What, do you think it's the mustache? Do you think it's he, his drip? Do you think it's the burger poster, the traffic the, light, the tails, like well, the generic tails, is, PNG paper on the wall? <laughs> probably stuck up there with a thumbtack. Just the gaping gave it away. You already said that he likes to, to get down with Reshiram. Is there any other Pokemon he likes? Because why is Chikorita on his lap? Um. Well, the thing is, he he does get down with other Pokemon. But the really? thing about him is, he's all about like the big ass legendary ones. So I got no oh, so idea what the Chikorita is. Like he's just yeah, to fuck a Hoo or like uh... yeah, like like them time ones, like the time oh, and space ones the, and shit. What's, yeah, what's the one that's like the opposite of Darkrai? Cresselia. I bet you he wants to fuck Cresselia. Yeah. So he's more attracted to cosmic power than anything. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. He must want to his... fuck the shit out of Cosmog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the them them fucking legendary cosmic monsters, uh, like seven times his size. You know that they got him quaking. They got him quaking. <laughs> uh, so what is? Why would he make a song called "Don't Stop Loving Reshiram"? Well, number one, because he loves Reshiram, <laughs> and uh, for the and two, well, you you just got to play it to find out. No, actually, chat brings up a great point. Smokey, you're one to talk with all your your Vaporeon, you know, big <laughs> Vaporeon explanation that you gave. Hey, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So there's a difference Look between up, cosmic. Po- there's a difference between cosmic Pokemon and Evolutions. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Two completely different situations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see why we should not stop loving Russia. Ram. Wait, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Before you play this, before you play this, you just asked, what is this, like, why is this song, like, what's it about? Mm-hmm. I, the name, I feel like the name is, it's, it's pretty much implied. Like, you know, this guy. Well, I mean, why would he make it? That's because he's never going to stop, Kiwi. No matter where <laughs> he goes, no matter he what never he stops. does. He's never gonna stop loving Reshiram. Like, don't don't ever try to make him stop. It looks like he stopped about every other thing in his life except for <laughs> loving Reshiram because it's the most important. 
because it's it, there's nothing more. <laughs> you, you know what? Just play the song, bro. Just play the song. <laughs> oh, I'm already hooked. Just a legendary Pokemon living in the Pokemon world. She took the name Reshiram. Just a Poke file. <laughs> Played Pokemon all his life. He took an attraction to Reshiram. That's Cobes on guitar. <laughs> a dragon was turbo blaze. A human less than half as tall. With a screen they can share the night. It goes on and on and on and on. And on. Computers. Pixels. Although it's just imagery, but it is still very attractive. Fire Dragon. The vast white attractiveness <laughs> showing somewhere on the screen. This is miraculous. Oh, this is my favorite thing ever. Oh. Same. Working hard to love his wife. <laughs> Even though it isn't real. Love anything that suits his life. Just one more time. Some will like. Some will hate. Some were born to cheer him on. Oh, Pokemon never ends. It goes on and on. Yo, and this has to be. This has to be like a troll, right? Computers, nah. pixels. Nah. Although it's just imagery, this is movie. but it's still. This is my very personal favorite lol cow. Has been forever. I am crying. Fire <laughs> from laughter. Dragon. <laughs> The vast white attractiveness <laughs> showing somewhere on the screen. Wow. Yeah, and then we got Cobra on the on the electric guitar. Yeah, I stole your joke. Right now. Please tell me there's more. Don't stop. <laughs> Loving. Hold on to Rash Ram. Fire. Dragon. <laughs> Don't, Don't stop. stop. Loving. Loving. Hold on to <laughs> Rash Ram. Fire. Dragon. Don't stop loving. Hold on to Reshiram. Fire. Dragon. Well, let me just say this first and foremost. I have two things, very important things to say here about that because that was just wonderful. Um, <laughs> number one, number one, I feel like the ending of The Sopranos would not be looked at as bad as it is if they played that instead of the actual version. Yep. Secondly, Secondly, and it's the big one here because that was so touching. Um, you know, relationship ended with Vaporeon. Uh, Reshiram <laughs> is now my best friend. <laughs> Hold on to that Reshiram, Smokey. <laughs> the yep. vast white attractiveness <laughs> is, just, is just too much to handle, chat. <laughs> if Cobra Chief didn't get the chat wet, that song about Reshiram sure as shit did. Oh, and there and there's if you ain't noticed. 
out of all the lol cows, I believe I put just an RPG in here the most. And there's <laughs> this ain't even the best one. We, this is the surface. There's no way that's not oh the best one. Oh, God. oh, he tops it. He tops it multiple times in this playlist alone. I you have ain't never ready. been so excited in my entire life. This uh, <laughs> Doom, thank you. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I would sit here and fucking listen to that for hours on loop if we weren't here with 700 people right now. Because it's just that good. I found my new favorite musical artist, like... It used to be Takashi Six Nine. Now it's been beaten out by just an RPG. This is amazing shit. Yeah, I, this yeah. puts wow. him at number two. This puts him at number two for me. For real? Uh, like, the yeah. Wow. Melodies, singing that could like beat out Gerard Wade. Vocals that would put <laughs> Aesop Rock to shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, dude! He he's got that fucking um. Kodak Black flow, bro. Who needs yeah. My Chemical Romance when you got My Chemical Retroam? That's that's. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him doing a My Chemical Romance song. Oh, that'd be amazing. Um, that was great. I, I don't know how. I need like a little a breather. Dude, that cause... might be your next thing. <laughs> cover cover a My Chemical Romance song for Retroam. <laughs> the ghost so... of Retroam. So what happened to this the guy? Black Rusher Am. <laughs> uh, what happened to him? Yeah. Okay. So so the story of Justin RPG, he dropped all this music about Reshiram. He also made all these stories about like big ass Pokemon either eating him or shitting on him. And then when uh, the world needed him most, he vanished. Well, that when the world needed him <laughs> most, uh, he dipped from most other social media platforms and then went to like that weird Vor site called Eka's Portal, and then people found him there. So he is like <laughs> Avatar the Last Airbender. I knew it, yeah. dude. Like fucking we he'll return when the Fire Nation attacks. So this is crazy. This. So number one on Kiwis is Cobra. Number one on Dooms is just an RPG. So we've already seen two of y'all's number ones here in the first oh. two locales we're looking at. That's a, that's that. This was so much better than mine. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, yeah, you can always change your pick. Not, I'm, cha I'm changing it. Yeah. Um, it might it might all be changed, but yeah. who knows? The next song be a Christian and the Hedgehog oh. Boys classic. I well, figured not we... to just go with uh before I figured we... not to just go with that uh the classic So Need a Cute Girl. I figured we'd go with this one oh, just because uh yeah, this this one's a little lesser known. But I will it's say, just I think routine. I think we're all grading on a different scale. I think you and Kiwi are grading off of which one's more funny. I think I'm grading off of which one's actually the best musician. Oh. It's really easy to pick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, like, um, bro. If I we go on off of that, that, it would definitely be a uh, Draken Lord because he, really? he actually he actually got some bangers. Like, at least in my opinion. But I'm a sucker for like you know auto tuned SoundCloud rap oh, and shit, and that's what he Dragon does. Lord. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That would be amazing. <laughs> he does auto tuned SoundCloud rap. Yeah, in in this very playlist, <laughs> he got a song called Skirt Skirt. <laughs> Oh my god. Someone sent me another person's SoundCloud this morning with a song called The Balzerian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Does that, that's real. That's, that's a real fucking thing. Like we can listen to that too. Is it about <laughs> Earl? It's him. He made it. No way. Yes. Yes, I okay, believe okay. so. I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna do everything in my power to find that song. If you boys find it before me, send it to me over Discord. I have a link I'll send it to you. Okay, bet. I yes. we need this. Yeah. Um as Doom <laughs> said, this is a classic Christian the Hedgehog Boys banger. Uh we're going with like a little radio uh a radio show themed show today. So here is Autism by Christian and the Hedgehog Boys. <laughs> Alright! 
I got the lyrics pulled up. I'm looking at you all and I see a rainbow. Come on. You think I'm different in every way. Come on. All the times I've heard honor roll. All of the signs that I burned on a roll. Albums, is this how you do it? You just like sing over another song. <laughs> we technically, I, but I made the beat. You don't already. use the Chris Him seem special. He only seems special, guys. Yeah, With song like, song like that, song like that, can't get much more Wow. The music. <laughs> oh, what? man. Where is it? I'm looking here. Bowser has a lot of music. He does. I'm actually, I forgot about Bowser completely while making this playlist. I can't believe, well, that's because most of it's on SoundCloud. Apparently, he was a yeah. SoundCloud guy. This I didn't even crazy. know. He's, <laughs> he's got guys, Bowser has like, Fucking dozens of songs. Drip coffee type beat. Drum break. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Pickle crossing. COVID type beat. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a COVID type beat, chat? Like, this is Bowser. New account in description. Wow. COVID type beat. Uh, dirty Woods, trip down to the coffee shop. Wow. What is this picture selection? Dude, it's all so fucking crazy. Milk? Homo milk? What the fuck, dude? Fortnite <laughs> Battle Royale done like fucking Days of Thunder, basically. And, what is And are this? these all uploads or are these like reposts? They look like uploads. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not seeing one like this account reposted. What you call it? No, it's these are all original uploads. It look like for so long. Here's one of like a fucking wine's quiz things. I like furries, ponies, cars, GTA. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um, I'll have to hear it. Is. <laughs> I almost yes. gave up hope. I almost gave up hope. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got to be good. Is smoke Play here? It. Oh, I'm sorry. Smoke. Oh, my, no, you're it. good. You're good. You're good. I, I was I dropped a bunch of margarita on my phone. Um, I oh, friggin 
I was screaming in the backstage like, no, no, because I, I thought you weren't going to get down to Valzerian Rhapsody. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so excited to hear this. I haven't heard it yet, and I feel like this could take the cake. This could this could be our number one prize winner right here. Maybe, but we haven't got to the best Justin RPG songs yet, so I'm not holding my breath. Five years ago, hashtag Bowser Rock. Bowser Rock. Fuck. Bowser he has his Rock. own. He has his own fucking genre. This is so. Jesus. Oh, this is fitting to be good, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. Really <laughs> this better, I hope this isn't going to be anything like too crazy, but let's see. And Smokey, oh, he just starts popping off here. on you. And today marks what is the one year anniversary of our band to the PMB community? <laughs> oh, I remember this one he got fucking kicked from that Rony Discord for cheating in the music video competition. <laughs> In the current year, 2018. Yo, that's not him, though. That's no, not that's him. not him. There's no what way. Is, what him. is this? What? He sounds like he stole a social distortion song. Wow. <laughs> A little over a year ago, back in January of 2017, to call my lover, Ryan, who lives in the what? beautiful country of Brazil, where they fight little gorillas to survive. Okay, what the lot fuck to unpack are we right there. Yeah. <laughs> His lover, Ryan, from Brazil, where they fight packs of, of gorillas? Did I hear? Yeah. You know, like gorilla warfare. Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. his lover Ryan. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that got to do with getting kicked from a Brony Discord, but okay. Well, That's I mean, just immediately Roxanne where his mind goes. Ryan, the Brazilian, like he has a lot of, a lot of weirdly named friends from certain parts yeah. of the world. Ryan, the Brazilian lover. That sounds like a band. Yeah, well, it you does. know, there's there's Ryan, the Brazilian. There's Roxanne, the Muslim. There's Ricky, the um word that i can't mention here that's right that's um right. they all start with r all yeah yeah they do. or end with an r <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah um so, yeah, they're, they're called the hard what? r what what <laughs> what did that sound by play right oh, there <laughs> monkey noise that was a joke that was a joke uh, i was a mean machine not the machine three strikes Bowser, you got no right calling him a soy boy. Bowser in the hard R's. That's a great I mean, band name. There's a difference between an I sociopath like me and an actual psychopath. To quote my favorite YouTuber, Pyrocynical. It reminded me when Nova brought up a uh, Dar Man. You can't tell these people that you care until you you can tell these people that you care until you're blue in the face. But if they choose alcoholism, they'll die at 35 or younger. What the fuck is this? I did, I this is the Bowser. Like, the the worst album ever. He's, he's going on from like ranting about the. This is a uh, this quarter a PMV rant. This quarter like some fantasy about some like lover from Brazil, and then this. Well, this is kind of like a no drink concert. He's like the modern day Jim Morrison. He's just stopping the music to go on like a to, to give like a. <laughs> 
you know, um, yeah, like a, a speech about yeah. fucking global issues. Yeah, and Bowser here, like this, I feel like we have to listen to another one because this, wow, like, like see what else he was cooking up around this time because he's admitted a lot of things right there. Like, oh, oh like first off, his vendetta against alcohol seems to go back for years, uh, drug addicts and all this stuff. So, I mean, God, this is a this is a look into 2018 Bowser. It all happens for a reason, into the light. No such thing as an angel grazing. Hot I don't know keto. why, but it all is that Buckethead? But I don't know why, but it, it all happens for a reason. Sounds like it could be a good one. Crashing around. It does. How to get a noise complaint. Oh, they're all short. We gotta find, <laughs> a lot of them are short, so we got to find one of them that's Which like was that one we were just talking about? Um, it, all it all happens, happens for, for a reason. For it's reason. 46 seconds. Okay, we'll see you. <laughs> It's not him. What? I was totally right. This rules. Dude, they're all awesome. I don't blame you. They're all great. <laughs> um, Espresso Depresso, maybe. Like, oh, that should be great. Let's eat trash and get hit by a car. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Kari? Okay, I... Boys, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Dude, it's all I was like just stolen. Moshing. I was just moshing in my living room, <laughs> and you turned that. I can't believe that. But listen, listen. Yeah, now, I don't know what the fuck this SoundCloud is, Kiwi. This is a mess. This is just a mess of jumbled noises and shit. Um, Lots of getting... uncleared samples. Yeah. Yes. If I yeah. ever heard any. Yeah, we've stolen just got so much. This stream just got copyright struck three different times with three different Bowser songs we played. Autism fair, wasn't gonna do it. Oh, you know, also you bet your ass it will. You bet your ass it will. Mm -mm. Oh, Surprisingly, oh. no. I've I've done streams and videos with Christian and the Hedgehog Boys songs. They never get copyright struck. Really? Oh, they they get me. They I was they joking get you. around. <laughs> they yeah. get me too. They get... <laughs> no, dead well, ass. This one I'm probably gonna have like four or five, maybe even six. Who knows? Like, <laughs> Universal Music Group is gonna want to collect so much money off this video. Yeah. They're gonna, be they're like, gonna yeah. own. They're gonna own too high for stupid by the time this is all said and done. Yep. Hey, Earl might finally get what he wants. Finally gonna yeah. lose our show. The wool cow who brought down all wool cowdom. Yep. But you know who also brought down all wool cowdom? You know who's a winner? Like a big winner. <laughs> who's a that man? Who's the he, big wiener? He wins all the time, guys. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's never been a bigger winner hey, ever. Yo. Here we go. Light them up, Light boys. Up, boys. Rev those, Rev those engines. engines. Let's go. How do you feel about having your song Rev stolen? Here we go. Um, I'm talking to the label about, go. uh, right now about <laughs> You're in talks with your team. Yeah. Doombot Records. Well, Doom and Jacob Sartorius are gonna figure this out. Dude, big shout out Sloth Cat. I love the stylist. <laughs> the stylist columns. <laughs> Ain't no one better than Sloth Cat. Yeah, for real, dude. Thank you. Oh, this is where he says my favorite thing. I used to know this song every word, bro. <laughs> 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 Keep 
Is it Miss Shaman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Loud running the scene since I was 16. Ain't nobody stopping me whenever I see Red, Red X looks like he's 1,600 years ago. Nothing, never never back. Back. Live by the street by the road. Road. <laughs> I die by the wheel and I'm gone. No. No. God, that is the hardest song. I got a dead ass question for you. He, de- he lives mm-hmm. by the wheel, he dies by the wheel. Have you ever listened to this while driving? Yes. I have. Okay, yeah, me too. I have, you, I have listened to this hard. while driving with friends. We had a whole yes. car full of people yes. bumping this shit. Yes. I'll tell yeah. you the three hardest songs to drive to, or four, I'll give you. I'll give you the four most hard songs. You're going to be going over 100. It's this, it's Radar Love by Golden Earring, it's Stylo by the Gorillas. And it's uh, what's the other one? Uh, the the Queens of the Stone Age. Um, mm-hmm. go with the flow. You listen. You drive to any of those songs, you're probably gonna get pulled over. So I wouldn't do it. <laughs> this is really the only song that I like. I feel comfortable like driving like through a rough part of town, having on because I know nobody's gonna fuck with me. Like if I'm just like b- bumping Drift King, uh, out of out of my Chevy Tahoe, then like. Nobody's gonna come up on me and want no smoke, dude. They know that I'm a, that I'm a straight like thug if I'm if I'm yeah. blaring Drift King. So no, it's more of a safety thing for me. Oh yeah, no. If you're in the inner cities, you better have this blaring. You know? Yeah, absolutely. But that's kind of I mean, crazy that... how old this song is now. I know, right? I know. <laughs> it's like, but it's year? his best work. Yeah. It's his best work. I mean, honestly, the the diss after the fight is pretty good, but the this is the best. This is there's nothing Cyrax is ever going to make that ever comes close to Drift King, and it's still so bad that it's good. Mm, absolutely. Are we gonna do Dragon Lord or go back to just an RPG? Where's we're we're missing someone really important here. Who? Sir. Roaring Thunder. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> I saw that you had Regards in Paris, but I am not yeah, playing no, that no, no, no. <laughs> You're not playing that one. <laughs> <laughs> because I was there, look, I'll say it now, that was my pick. If we're talking about overall musically talented locales, I know he had a studio behind him and all, but it's Larson. It's Larson. None of them have a song out there as easy. It might like, be Larson. That, that, yeah, none of them have a song like Roaring Thunder that's like, it's even verified, guys. <laughs> what is this? No, it's verified, dude. Yeah, by genius. It's been a long time. Never thought this would be. It's been a long time means that it's been a while since I was performing, basically. <laughs> um, wow. It's been a long time. Never thought this would be. Now we're in present day. Um, you always been mine, but I have to be You always free. been mine. So in other words, there's like, <laughs> you know, um, I added like a relationship side to it. Um, so you always been mine basically refers to somebody. Okay. Great. But I have to be free. That lyric makes it, you know, like, you know, but I want more, right? I want something more. Oh, golden sunsets. That's where he must have got the inspiration the for his other big song. Golden sunsets, reflections on the sea. That's basically imagery <laughs> for wanting something more. That could also golden sunsets. Could you imagine being so homeless, so infected with with disease? And you have this much of an ego where you're going to sit here and like hyper explain every, every sentence of, of your bullshit song. song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's his life. Oh, my. this, this only the second greatest genius interview ever. The, the all time goaded one be the one with Kevin Gates where he talking about Rihanna's forehead. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Anything with Kevin Gates, any Kevin Gates interview. I saw him live when he was like during the, uh, the peak of like two phones and shit. 
I've never mm. seen a crowd jump hot like like when Two Phones was at his peak and he played that. That crowd got fucking rowdy. That was crazy. Oh, I bet. Yeah. He's a good artist. Nobody can take that. He's just crazy as fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> but I feel like you got to be to like make a good music. Could like be Larson. like the lights at the concerts, if you know yes. what I mean. So it could be referred to as both things. When you have an actual producer, Thunder, Northern Lights. Um, that could basically be, you know, the concerts. Uh, I have my lighter. Where's my lighter? Here. I got my two. Try not to light my prop um, filter on fire. Pounding hearts. That basically means that we're all like together. <laughs> um, we're all one. Um, could also be, you know, concerts. concerts. Epic voices could be all of the above. Could be politics. Epic <laughs> voices are all of the voices in my head telling me to do horrible, horrible things. <laughs> Telling me to squat on this guy's porch. Yeah. Telling me to, um... Oh, did you... I know it's off topic, but did you guys watch the newest Perk 30 video? No, I haven't. Uh, haven't. It's like four hours long. I haven't gotten through it yet. Well, he talks about that interview that someone did with, like, an actual caretaker of Larson's. And there's, like, a very disturbing allegation involving a disabled cat and something that Larson tried to do to it. And, um... Dude, it's Ew. just like it, it, this. This newest Perk Thirty uh, episode is is really fascinating. God damn, um, I've had it on for a while today because it's just like been damn. He's there's a lot that I knew about on the surface that's been going on, but there's also like a lot like below the water that's been going on. I had no idea about. So he is. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to check that out later. Like, oh, there's no, a right, link it in the thing if anyone wants to go check that out uh, after the show. Yeah, there's like a video of him talking to Bob that's really weird. Like they get wow. on the topic of like his um his like his member and Bob's like <laughs> talking about how big it is. So what? it's really strange. Like there's a lot of accusations being thrown around right now, especially about Bob and like possible um you know Oh my re- God. Relate. yeah, dude. It's 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 weird, man. It's weird. But uh hey, how about Roaring Thunder, huh? Yeah. It's basically wanting to get heard. <laughs> Everything changes, but love remains. Everything changes, but love remains is now that I'm in this position. Now that I'm here, you know, on the streets, <laughs> yeah. that situation. People think it's so the basically sun that's like the overall them. lyrics oh, for the shit. song was before my success. You good? After my success, yeah, dude. Uh, and that darling guy, thank you, bro. Back. Yes, I saw that earlier. The mm. ninja, that's insane. It's a new day. So, basically, at the time, um, you know, I was it was my first professional song. Um, first off, the song took, um, about three months to write. Um, actually, to be honest, it took me about eh, five minutes to write it. But um, the overall process took three months. Um, basically, I was going through a hard situation to where I was moving houses a lot because, you know, friends and family did not want to be involved in my career at the time. They thought, wow, this guy isn't going to be successful. This guy isn't going to, you know, go anywhere with this. And boy, were they wrong. (laughs) They were so I mean, he did go to New York. And L.A. In New York, he merely walked. That's the best one. 
That's the best. Like, there, no locale is ever going to make a song that's actually as listenable as Roaring Thunder. And... Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. <laughs> just just that... you wait. I'm telling you. I'm but that's what you. I'm saying. I, that's why I give Daniel Larson the best locale musician award. But well, like I said, we still have some guys to listen to here. So uh-huh. that was amazing. We definitely beat out Bowser. I'll say that. We oh yeah, we beat Bowser. Oh yeah. Have you heard beat Savage Bowser like Bowser? Do me. I disagree. Heard oh yeah, like we've heard, we've all heard Savage like Bowser. I want I want to hear the Spiral Mountain if we could. <laughs> Make me would... believe. Yep, this one's great. This one's uh, Michael Dragon 800, a guy who was very obsessed with like watching and commenting under girls tap dancing videos, heavily criticizing them if they did anything he did not like. And uh, people wondered why the hell he was so into that and why he was so critical. And it was because later they found his fur affinity and it was because he liked to draw like characters like Minnie Mouse tap dancing while pre- pleasuring themselves. And uh, so he was, he was very, your specific. sister has come for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, this is his song about Banjo Kazooie. That's amazing. I can't wait. So this Grunty, is just like a one off. Is Bell in the chat right now? This one goes out to you. This yeah, one. this one goes out to you, Grunty. Right, right, right. I don't think Grunty is here. It's sad to say. Um... So this guy was like a one-off kind of thing. It was just like they found him, and he's really into Banjo and Kazooie, and like yeah, he's he's really into cartoon stuff. characters tap dancing while pleasuring themselves. And uh... <laughs> well, it's just cartoons. I mean, there's nothing wrong right oh, yeah. now. Oh dang! I just realized someone in the chat mentioned Chibi. I'm like, shit. We could have watched the Iwata Memorial. Oh god song. damn it! Yes. I, I didn't even realize <laughs> that. We can pull that up. I can get but that first spiral mountain. We I need just did a video mountain. on him three days ago, and I already <laughs> forgot about that. that I was know, a great right? Video. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that video because I've seen um like other videos on Cheapy, and there was just something special about that one, dude. Like I, I really enjoyed that. Um, dude, when I found out, like I said through Audentum's video, that mm-hmm. he showed a Bleach AMV and sang karaoke at his dad's funeral, like that. <laughs> That no father would like, be more proud. His dad hated video game shit. <laughs> Fucking oh hated God. it. Wanted him to stop all this video game nonsense. And he chose a Bleach AMV and probably sang Earthbound songs. Do you think it's um like a spite thing that he did that out of? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it's just more of Chibi's very, like simple-minded he's very mm-hmm. you know he, he, he likes hyper focused on one thing <laughs> and that's speed running and video games and nintendo <laughs> yeah i've only ever I don't even seen think the... he realized his dad hated that shit i've only seen one speed run that i didn't see is like oh man that guy's like really tistic um and that had to have been um all the mr crabs overdoses on ketamine and dies speed <laughs> runs those, those were, were amazing hey, that was the game yeah, no tism involved in any of that. But here, I don't know if that's the case. Because this is like... this. Basically, this is what, a plea to like make more Banjo-Kazooie? What is the purpose of this song? Uh, well, you'll hear. You'll hear oh, soon. Okay, it's okay. about Spiral okay. Mountain. All right. Spiral Mountain, go Spiral Mountain. That's right, Spiral Mountain. Okay, I, I think I <laughs> get the okay. idea. All right, so let it play, Kiwi. Let it play. <laughs> let it ride, Kiwi. There's no let way. There's no way he does it the whole time. Here we go. Why do I feel like I'm in a frat house and everybody's just dropped acid? Like, this is so crazy. That's right. 
Serial the Black Dragon in the chat says they really like the part where he says Spiral Mountain. I do too. That's a great part. All right, at least okay. he ended with "Here we go so, now." So real quick, I think the chat and us agree that that needs an encore performance. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, what the one fuck? more time. <laughs> what the fuck? Where should end the stream with that one? That was so wow. <laughs> that was so bad, man. That's number one. Um, they beat Larson. <laughs> yeah, one. Oh no! Here, here we have another Justin RPG classic. I hate this Windows Vista tonight. Which base? <laughs> base. Windows Vista sucks ass. Did nah, he was... pick this album cover? <laughs> no, no, I don't think he did. I forget. The 2020 remaster. This is going to be good, too. You can already tell. Oh, shit. I got to find my drums. Hold up. Or something that seconds as a drum. Wait for it. Hold Where is it? a trash can, a metal trash can, that would be too loud. God, what I feel like I'm, it's a Skid Row music Oh, I found video. a pair of bongos. Let's go. Dude, I'm never, no. I've waited for this moment for so long. I this is, I can feel there. something in the air tonight. Uh, no, That's oh, why I was oh, saying Correction, Kiwi, it's I hate this Windows Vista tonight. I hate this <laughs> Windows Vista tonight. Blue screens. <laughs> and I've I hated, hated this, this Windows, Windows Vista all my life. All my life. Crashes. Can you hate this Windows Vista tonight? Blue screens, crashes. Why does he sound like a lab experiment begging for death? Well, if you told me it was the best, dude, I'm waiting here. I got my bongos. I'm taking a sip out of my drink. Start the cigarette. I'm waiting for that drum beat to kick. I've seen Microsoft before, my friend, but I don't know if they know who it affects. Well, I was there and I tested it out. I saw it with my own two eyes. So you can use it if you want. I know where it's going. It's going into the trash. <laughs> Speaking for the people. I hate this Windows Vista tonight. <laughs> Blue screens. I've hated this Windows Vista all my life. Crashes. <laughs> I hate this Windows Vista tonight. <laughs> Oh god, the moment's coming. Crashes. I've hated this Windows Vista <laughs> all my life. Blue screens. Blue screens. <laughs> Crashes. I can't believe so many people are well, there. Remember, remember! I remember Windows ME. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, here we go. How All could right. I ever Bongo forget? Dead. It's the first time, the last time Microsoft screwed up. Tell him. But well, I know the reason why Microsoft is going downhill. <laughs> no, they don't fool me. Bill Collins been awfully okay. quiet. Anger doesn't work. Anger still grows. No stranger to you and me. <laughs> I hate this Windows Vista tonight. I broke them. Blue screens. <laughs> you can hear them. I hate this Windows Vista. <laughs> God damn. All my life. <laughs> Crashes. <laughs> I hate this Windows Vista. 
sound like he's in pain. Blue screams. Because he suffers for his art. I hated this window vista all my life. Crashes. I hate this window vista tonight. I can't even Blue screams. Oh, I'm literally sweating right now. I'm so intensely waiting for that moment. Crashes. I'm sweating from laughter. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, dude. <laughs> yeah, Justin's Justin's run away with this competition. Blue oh, screens. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. He's just dominating. Dude. But I think, as great as that was, Doom, you're the one who brought it up. I think we have to hear Chibi sing some Earthbound music for Mr. Satoru Iwata. <laughs> um, did you it send that be... to me, Smoke? Uh, just look up Chibi, uh, Chibi Iwata, and it'll right. be it'll be the first thing. Never gonna shine. I hope I <laughs> super super Turkish march Iwata. Um. Chibi Chib mini cringe comp. I there's I, a lot of there's a lot of cringe comps. I remember Chibi back Chibi in the day, he used and has to anxiety wear a over Among Us. No, that's that's <laughs> funny too, but that's not it. That's funny. Too. The story um, of Chibi. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Smoke. Did you remember when he said, used to wear a collar? Chibi. Yeah. Yeah, he used to wear a collar. He said it because uh, you know, he used it to collect dark energy from the moon to like contain his power or some Is stupid it? shit. Maruko Chan original song. What is it, Smokey? What's it? it sings at Awada's funeral. I think yeah, that's that it. I think oh, that okay. it. that's it. So who is this Awada guy? That's um, the he's one of CEO like Nintendo's Nintendo. big guys. Like oh, dude, I piss on him, man. In a video game, of course. Look I'm at assuming this. Look, look, Nintendo. Look at, this. look at the pictures up of Awada in the bottom corner. In memoriam, this little picture of Awada. <laughs> Think of all the people this guy sued, this little Iwata guy. Think of all the lives he ruined with his, him and his company's um, allegedly scummy tactics. Well, we can't talk about all that now because we're about to sing a memorial of Iwata, Kiwi. Like, you don't want the oh. Nintendo ninjas coming over too hot and <laughs> stupid. No, you're right. I've, probably, I've already ruined all of our sponsorships. <laughs> all his life may, be, may have been cut short. I did not think we'd be watching this this week. resonate with us for generations. And even though he, he, was, he was never with us when he spoke, it was clear that he was speaking not only to us, but directly to our hearts. To our hearts. I'm not seeing a song <laughs> from Earthbound. He made he video game good. I believe in you. Was he this emotional as dad's funeral, Smokey? Well, there's no footage, but I can't imagine he would be. Probably not. This, is, this guy actually had an impact. Did his, his dad life. make Earthbound? Yeah, does no. his dad make Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door Kiwi? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> There's some blue collar jackass and a Wada. A Wada was the real man. Yeah, shit. His dad just like laid concrete. Fucking what a noob. <laughs> Here like, he what goes. What an easy job. <laughs> I believe the morning sun. Always gonna shine again. And I believe a pot of gold waits at every rainbow's end. Oh, I believe in roses, kiss with dew. Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? Mean you? Why do I feel like I'm at like a middle school like musical? <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Awada. I believe in make believe fairy tales and lucky, lucky charms. charms. <laughs> and I believe in promises. 
stuck in my head for like a day or two after I get done the chibi video. Spoken <laughs> as you cross your heart, oh. I believe in skies for like the second most awkward blue. performance at the Why middle school talent show. I shouldn't believe the same in you. I'm just second imagine. that to the kid who rode the unicycle, you like off balance across the stage, very slow, heavy breathing the entire time. <laughs> Feeling the way that the I do. The chat is spamming candles for the. Uh, you for can the call me Baliana. I'm just imagining a lot of soul slowly rising into the sky, <laughs> and then this shit starts playing, and he just starts sinking. Like, wait, wait, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck the Punisher. <laughs> that show was really good. That show was really oh, good. Oh, it was great, it man. Was. The first season was badass. It was. I'll never forget how he scraped the dude's face on the glass at the very end of it. That, that'll always I stick. believe it'll come yeah, a day. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Bro. When I'm kind of just counting the seconds at this point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so Chibi, bad, Smokey. I'm sorry. It's so Chibi's bad. Chibi's living, guys. Chibi's I've living. I played this entire thing. Wada, at the end not of the so TV much, video. but Chibi, he living. <laughs> Yeah, I played that entire thing at the end of the TV video, and so many comments were like, man, you really, <laughs> I'm surprised you let it go that long. I was like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, you're like, god damn, I need my run time. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> 50 minutes is not enough. 52 no. is where we're cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's listen to some real music. Oh, a real skirt, artist. Skirt by Drakenlord. He may just run, this might be a late entry to just win the whole contest. Let's see. Yo. <laughs> this is this is hard as fuck already. Oh, look at that beast! I wanted to bring up Shantzen Fest or whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> this is like some shit Amber and Tate would jump out of too. <laughs> Just imagine you guys top G in the car with Dragon Lord. What color is your Oh shit! YouTube's number one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah he's here with them Oliver Francis vibes out of nowhere. Yeah, I think he won. I think he just won. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I honestly, all that Justin RPG shit. I there's no top in that. I, I, mean, I know Justin, Justin look, RPG like, is very hard to beat, but Dragon look, Lord might be yeah. a second just for. I know for that skill. we can't stop. We can't stop loving that Reshiram, and we also <laughs> gotta like you know figure out the Windows Vista problem. But dear God. If there's anything tonight that makes me want to get up and jam, it's skirt skirting in my Audi. I'm telling you right that. Like it's I mean, who's left? Who who's left to beat this behemoth? That's what I want to know. Um there's uh, there's Lorne. 
There's a full Shrek movie 2001 dance. What the fuck oh, is that? Oh, you, I got to I got to talk to y'all about J-Link before we go into those two videos. J-Link, he was a guy kind of like Tony Chase. I believe he had like schizophrenia probably or something. Um his whole thing was he liked to dance to OSTs from video games for Jesus. Wait. Um yeah, that's what, and usually these videos consisted of him flailing around his bedroom uh, while he took the audio out and put the said OST songs in post. <laughs> and oh, this uh, is an so hour. I'm, yeah, there's this Shrek. one, which would be the Shrek. <laughs> the, this one's the Shrek one. We don't need to watch the whole Shrek one, but the one we do need to watch is the River Twigs uh, bed dance video, because that one's terrifying. <laughs> Where it's, is it? I it's right see... above it. It's right okay, above okay. it. It's the same this dude. It's J-Link dance. dancing. This right. J-Link dancing to Paper Mario OST. <laughs> In the beginning, somebody, I'm somebody get this man a piece of gum, dude. He's yeah, sure, <laughs> How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Someone put this over fire starter. <laughs> it hurts. Bruh, bruh, back in the day, the Instagram's long since gone, but my friends and I, we used to we used to download these dance videos and we used to put them to like the Migos, Travis Scott. Like that that fucking thirty five hundred video we made went fucking hard. I'm so I am so sad that fucking Instagram got hacked. <laughs> oh, I love it. He looks like he's about to summon rain. <laughs> yep, and he'll so he'll dance to this. He'll dance to the as you saw the whole Shrek movie. Why is there a chair on his bed? No idea. <laughs> uh, there's only one. There's only band. one OST he will not dance to. The Undertale OST. He had a whole rage video where he was telling Toby Fox off like, "Fuck you, Toby Fox. Your game is satanic, and I'm not gonna offer my soul <laughs> to that you by dancing to your." Wicked game. That personally was <laughs> my day, Doom, because I was really hoping the next video this guy was getting down to Megalovania. And now that I know that's not that's not a possibility here, my day is ruined. Speaking yeah. of um, Well, at least he dances to the whole Shrek movie. <laughs> speaking of demon uh activity, me and Doom were talking while you were getting your audio fixed smoky, and we're like, I would not put it above Earl to have actually done like blood rituals trying to contact demons to kill you, you yeah. know? <laughs> I yeah. would not put it below him from him, like, if searching God, up some shit. If, if, if God isn't going to answer my prayers, then I will look to a higher power. Or yeah. Right? Or should I say a lower power? <laughs> I was just like, he, he's probably sitting there, Wusifer, I will give you my immortal soul. If you strike down that drug addict, Smokey McQuack, Lu <laughs> Lucifer, or be or be Beelzebub, or, 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 or whatever they, whatever you choose to be called, Baffle Map, that Smokey, that Smokey McQuack and his and his group of twelves have been, they have been, they have been going after me and my mother <laughs> with threats and harassment and, for uh, the past six months. Fucking... Lucifer, you gotta do something about this. You gotta, you gotta do something about this, Lucifer. Baphomet responds with an equally as powerful list. <laughs> uh, oh, your soul is already ours. Remember the hentai, Earl. The hentai you showed chilled with. Yeah, you, you don't see understand, what Earl. You see what you already showed your soul when you uh, <laughs> agreed to take over that Discord from Hassan with the hentai in it. You know, we weren't going to get to this this week, and we still aren't, because there's no way we can talk about this without putting our channels at risk. But just to give people like that weekly Earl update, because I'm pretty sure you guys both know this too, there were pictures uh -huh. of more actual kids and different things found in his server this week. Um, but like, again, we can't really talk about this and go into detail because of how, like, you know, like, it's, it's, it's exactly what you thought it was in that server. You know, it's a, it's a bunch of, like, Indian kids. And I don't know how how Bowser found these people, but it's just really weird. There yeah. was an e sex voice chat. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's that's really the best way you got to sum it up. This the server that had an e sex voice chat that also had age roles to determine what kids were what age, and also people found out that there was someone as young as twelve in that server. 
So it's it's to the point where we can't even go into depth because yes. it's like it's that bad. Yeah. So if you want any of that, you can find it on like the farms or I'm sure there's other places. Yeah. Um but that's your week, weekly Earl update, just letting everyone yeah. know. Can't really go too deep into that one this week. No, it's worse than ever. Um Yeah. But yeah, fucking this guy, he obviously knows what's up. He's with the Lord. I can feel Jesus in this video right now. Um, keeping me on the straight path. So it's like, oh yeah, J J Link was what's up. I miss what happened to him. He he quit. Uh, he quit dancing in videos like a hot minute ago. But he he'll always be in my heart. I love J Link. This the kind of guy when they stop making videos, you assume that they died. You know, like <laughs> for real. Like you're just like, oh shit, man. Um, he does have moves. Chat's so right. This guy has moves. He does. Isn't it amazing that they. Isn't it amazing that chat would rather us sit here and talk about this guy dancing than actually listen to any of these fucking people's music? As, as soon as I turn some of it on, people are like, nah, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> well, unless it's just an RPG. Like, yeah, of just course, yeah. The chat yeah, just seems to RPG. overwhelmingly agree that just an RPG is the winner here tonight. Yeah, I agree, dude. With Resher I've got to hear this. I know that we're probably getting to the end of like our point of, uh, yeah, we're running out of songs. I don't know. There's still quite a few songs in there. Um, let's see. There's uh, another Christian and the Hedgehog Boys. There's Goodbye by Danny. There's uh, Liquid Richard in there. We got. We still got a good hefty amount of material here. Well, I we think got... I think that since we already got through one of everyone, and the chat loves just an RPG, we got what we can do just an RPG, and then we'll end. We can finish it out with Band World because we still got something special to show the people from last week too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and the, and crazy Korean uh guy fucking breaks his window. I don't even know the backstory behind there, but that's like one of my favorite videos on the internet, and I just want we'll to put that in there because it's musical. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's two minutes. Good. Let's watch that real quick. Yeah, I love this. This is great. This is like, so this is like what Twitch needs to be. We need, yeah, we need more stuff like this on Too Hot for Stupid. More of just watching mm -hmm. any random internet person do wacky shit. Oh, we should do that. We should go back and gather like a bunch of crazy old internet clips in just one week. Just like roll yeah. through like the Jesse Slaughter. You yeah. sons true, of bitches. True. You know, like shit like not that. Even, Norm addresses just... the trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, you, yeah. fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> That's one of the greatest videos of all time. It that's is. one of the Francis and the Trolls. That's I have that video saved download somewhere, so I never use it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <gasps> fuck you all you 13, 14 year old little kids. Call me fat and gay in the comments. <laughs> that is one of the best videos ever. Best videos ever. This guy got that that Yujiro Hanma look to him. I'm scared. Yeah, he does. BK, have it your way. Oh shit, man, he's so calm. This is scary. Oh, this dude might win. So you don't cry for me. So what you not do? Don't you laugh? Little did he know this dude's doing his own award for you. When the asylum lets out early. <laughs> so if anyone fell asleep during the show, welcome back. <laughs> this man has to be like mentally ill. This video kills me every time. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. 
That was amazing. That was that constitutes his music, I suppose. I think that guy just came in and stole it. He that dude, random random Asian man throwing chair through window just won the local singing contest. I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> he did. My vote's going to Justin, guys. I have not laughed. Oh that no, hard yeah, we so still long. we still ain't here stuck in Lugia's stomach alone. We is it ain't Lugia? Here, uh, what's right on one more? Which is the best one? Ram. Yeah, which is the best one, Doom? The finals of Justin RPG. Mm -hmm. Which one is? I gotta say, mm, it's with hard. Because this one's pretty good. Uh with Reshiram's eye, but out of the three, it's it's either between stuck in Lugia's stomach or uh, saving Reshiram by riding on Moltres. Oh God, saving <laughs> Reshiram by riding yeah. on Moltres. Yeah, yeah and we might have to. We might just have to go with that. Looks My like wife kind of wedding. Ram was captured by. A okay, I, this is gonna be too good. What does it say here? Me, uh, we we're finally, finally married, married Rashram. Rashram. I love Justin. I love you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Deviant Tart logo in the background. Very <laughs> faint. My wife, Reshiram, was captured by a team who was capturing legendary Pokemon. I need to go save her. If we ever get an intro animated Smokey, Tres. this will be the Let's music I set it to. my wife, Reshiram! Alright, <laughs> you Moltres. Let's go save Moltres my wife, Reshiram! What that I mean? will ride Moltres. I am going to save my wife, Fresh Ram. I don't know what this team does with all these legendary Pokemon. But I need to save my wife. So I'm riding Moltres. I'm gonna ride. I love how Reshiram is so much bigger than him in the picture. Like it explains a couple things. Fresh rain, I'm riding Moltres, riding oh, I hate to pause it. I hate to pause it, but it's like, yeah, what he's admitting to is like bestiality, basically. Like, if he was oh, really it, in it, the Pokemon world, they would not let him it, own Pokemon. It's Pokephilia. Yeah, like that. Thank God they're not real, because people be fucking them. Like, this is so messed yeah. up, dude. You know what? Oh, keep, 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 you ain't right even now, seen his Facebook post, no. bro. Oh, you ain't even no. seen ever... the Facebook. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> you, as soon as you just you said don't even it, know. It, it just hit me as soon as you said it. Do you know how many abused dittos there would be? Oh, oh it'd be terrible. Look, think of the garbage door. Whatever those little female ballerina ones. They'd be well, fucked, yeah, bro. Yeah, but like I'm telling you, like, dittos can turn into anything. People would be oh. monsters with dittos. It would oh, be... dude, you're right. It's just dittos. It's it's cartoons. Like, it's what dittos. You, like, the horror. Imagine giving someone like Cyrax or White Bowser a fucking ditto. Like, no. No. I would if it kept him away from children. I know that sounds fucked up, but... <laughs> like, shit, dude. That's the lesser of two evils. Just give them dittos. <laughs> to save my wife. Yes, I'm this whole conversation is terrible. My wife, fresh Person. I'm riding on Moltres's back to save my wife, fresh Ram. Yes, I'm going to save my wife. I'm going What's he gonna to do? Save my wife. I'm going to save my wife. <laughs> yes, I'm going to save my wife, so I'm right. Yeah, I feel like Mortis the Vaporeon thing we really got to get into after this. No they don't eat all those legendary I don't even think they're treating them well. <laughs> I have several legendaries, but I treat them with love. Especially my wife, Reshiram. So I want to save her. It's the right thing to do. I am riding Moltres. I am riding Moltres. This is some I shit I'd listen to with the good headphones after a couple shots, you know, Doom? Yep, exactly. A little rush queued up afterwards. 
fresh Iran by writing more Kind of sounds like a Rush song. And I'm going to rescue my wife. All right, on to the important Hold on, song. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How you doing, my friends? That's not the end of the song. That's not the end of oh, the song. Oh, that's not the end of the song? No. Oh, it's only, you're right. You're really, I'm so no, retarded. No, I jumped it picks the gun. Up. It picks up. Okay. <laughs> Run it back. There you go. I just arrived. Let's go rescue Rashiram Mortress. <laughs> Stop moving. You are not taking any lunges. I'm rescuing Rashiram. Then you have to fight my I wonder what this guy has. Are you ready, Mortress? He's throwing his out. Oh, and Articuno, we can take this easy. Mortress, use heat wave. This motherfucker using fire attacks on a fire Pokemon, Spokey. Depends what level it is. I saved my wife, Rashiram! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Articuno's ice. I, I literally feel like I'm in hell, guys. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. I feel, like I feel like I'm locked in a fucking room. I feel like I'm locked in my cell chat in hell chat with is, JPEG oh. Mafia. The chat numbers are going down further and further the more we play this particular song. <laughs> I'm surprised that we had this many guys. You guys are troopers. Like, Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I agree with that, too. I can't believe a lot of y'all stuck through this the whole time with some of these songs. Like, Jesus. I, I thought halfway through AUTISM, the chat would have cut in half. No. Um, but but here we it. are. <laughs> They're just like us. <laughs> Let's for real, for real. See, like, yeah, it's too stimulating. Okay, I think that's it. See, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Enough. What are we, like, it's like a... I'd I'm rather playing Metal Gear my Solid. A I'd rather listen to my AI self talk about Vaporeon. <laughs> I would much rather that too, dude. I hate to keep breathing. This is, guys, this is you, the I horror. I want you to realize something here, though. With playing this, you know how much of a bad precedent this sets because there's going to be so much AI because of how many hours of me and you there are speaking on here. It's going to be ridiculous in the next couple of years. It's it's the horrors of AI, guys. I, I'm probably not going to play it, but I want to talk about because it's so graphic. <laughs> it, is graphic. About it. it is pretty graphic. It's uh, so it's like literally AI is so nuts that and somebody. And also, it's it's outdated considering my current thoughts on Reshiram. So yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> this shit is I I can't. I'm gonna play just a little bit, not much, but I want you to hear how <laughs> on it sounds. This is an AI. This is not Smokey. Did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans. <laughs> Like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? This is so hard. Are we even going to be able to do this show, or is it just going to be AI? That oh, we're going to start. People are going to make AI of us saying some pretty dastardly things. I'm telling you that right now. Here, this is our. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I know. And this guy likes us. The guy who made this likes us. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to, I'm sorry I brought that up. I shouldn't have. I think no, it's hilarious. No, it's funny. It's. it's, it's, it's it's just crazy what people can do nowadays with just a couple samples of someone's voice. It's uh, like I said, it's a scary thought, but it also makes you wonder, you know, what can you make someone like Cyrax say? <laughs> like, what, yeah. what, what can you? That make he ain't already said. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh things that can be made right there. Man, is there any other song here that is just like? Well, we uh, chat, chat's uh, requesting Goodbye by Danny. I saw that as well. I think that's the way to end it, Goodbye. Well, not the show, but this the music segment. The segment? All right. Who's Danny? Honestly, Larson. I don't even know. I've just heard this song Larson. so many times from Cringe Comps. I just Oh, it's a cringe song? It. It's Larson. 
it looks oh, it's not like Larson? no what no no it's it's danny dude this looks it's like, like a... that fucking kid who was from daddy 05 that's trying to rap now you seen that kid <laughs> oh it's so bad he tries to act like he's from the hood hey i just want to say would you like Good to buy a phone Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye, goodbye to the people who trusted me. Can cut even off with wild Goodbye to everybody. Now I need some changes in my life. Now I need to move on in life. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to laughter. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. This guy's just trying to copy the final mountain. Right now, what I've been It's like, ow, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know why it's happening to me, but just realize. It fucking sounds like he's recording this in the library. I used to be. Now I just want to leave this city. Exactly, chat. Don't rap too loud. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who. Alright, Danny, goodbye. Fuck, dude. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who. When your text support is calling. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. <laughs> yeah, this is like India's version of Goodbye Horses. <laughs> Goodbye. Life is short. Life is short. Don't waste time. Oh, Danny, I'm worried about, about you, dude. Did you post again? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> end, he's posted recently, you. actually. Oh, yeah, let's see. Well, I gotta make I'll sure. Make it up the world. Danny's I'll worrying me. Yeah, this, this was like years ago. He's like and a full grown ass man now. <laughs> this is a sign of goodbye. He's British. Goodbye. 80%. Goodbye to everybody. No, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, this fucking this has more views than my entire channel put together. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who me. Guys, content change coming soon. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. We let the fuck play way too long. We let the fuck play way too long. Goodbye, Danny. <laughs> I gotta make sure he's alive, guys, because that yeah, was that just guy like... Doesn't win. Yeah, he's he's older now. That's concerning. Goodbye, too! Goodbye, too! <laughs> where, where? Right below it! Oh, here it is. Goodbye Ten years ago, too. you changed my life. Hello to all the people who supported this me. This called Hello. Yo! <laughs> I just wanna say... Wanna say... Oh, he's back. back! Oh, shit! Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Okay, so he didn't get any better. <laughs> now, now, if anything, he got worse. <laughs> no. Anything, he got a lot worse. Yeah, I think the last one was, like, more rhythmic. Way better. Way better. Um, man, yeah, sometimes, you know, you just, the fame gets to you. You, you get lost, you, you buy a chain. You drop goodbye too, and it's just not this. It's like it's like no flocking too. I don't know if you guys are like a connoisseur of Kodak Black, 
But he I'll has never to know that he made a no flocking two. Oh, dude, no flocking one. I fucking rock that shit, dude. I love no flocking one. No flocking two, kind of aids. Kind of aids. You know, it's just I've I've said it once. I'll say it before. Kodak Black is slowly losing his ability to speak. <laughs> it seems like this guy uh, never had it. Never had it. Yeah, I, I was thinking of something to say. That's perfect. <laughs> um, goodbye, Denny. But so I miss you. Doom Kiwi, after all the songs we listened to today, who is number one? Number one, the greatest local musician. Are we talking on funny or talent? Overall. Overall. I'm seeing a lot of Justin's in chat, and I'm inclined to agree. Chat is good for y'all, too. Who do you see? See see a lot of Justin's in chat? Let me check the chat. Um, Justin, Justin... Justin. Fuck me. Where's this Tony Chase interview? Korean guy. Someone says Korean guy. Oh, that's right. I'm, yep. Korean guy who broke his window. That's James a great Rex one. Ram. Who the Justin fuck Mark? is... What you looking for? The, the I'm looking for the Tony Chase interview. Just look up that channel, Horse Puck. It's all one word. Oh. Oh, boy. Is it gone? Is that channel deleted? Ah, uh, get rid of the other stuff in the search bar. I did. The f- oh no, yo, am I? Did they delete their channel? There's no way. Let huh. me. Let me. I'll go check. Search too. by filter. Maybe. Uh, you know, maybe select channel. One sec. Search by yeah, no, they you're right. I yeah, I found it. All right, send it through Discord if you could. Damn it, I'm not the Jamie T or Joe Rogan. This is fucked up, dude. I'm dropping the ball, guys. I'm <laughs> dropping the ball. What am I gonna do? Like, I'm starting. I'm I'm starting the songs early. Smokey's gone now. Smokey's gone. Yeah, he dipped. What the fuck? What am I going to do, chat? This is the second co-host I've lost. I don't know, guys. <laughs> of course, Smokey found it. Yeah, just empty. So where do we start last week? I assume we started on the 2 minute 30 second marks to remind people of what the satellite man is exactly doing to Tony. Yeah, man. No, we got it from the beginning. It's worth it. Well, well, two thirty is the point where he starts to like, really talk. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I want to no. say it so bad yeah. right I now. Know. I know. I <laughs> know. So do I. <laughs> all Wait, right. All right. Go. Interview with Tony Chase. I, I don't know. Oh, Tony. Uh, what? What? What's the most painful thing the satellite man has ever done to you? Uh, I, I, everything hurts. They're burning my dick right now. My dick's bigger than theirs. They can face the death penalty for discrimination crimes of them being jealous of my penis. The man gets the death penalty. He just burnt my dick again. I don't want them doing that. My parents wouldn't want them doing it. Hey, you no, know, they wouldn't have STD. I don't uh, have no STD. That can't be an STD. Do you STD. have any? No. Could be a laser STD that the satellite is shooting you with. Oh. Okay. You know what? Maybe the satellite man has the STD. That man's probably got AIDS. Yeah. I'd believe it. Satellite AIDS. I mean, I mean, that would explain a lot. Yeah. There are people like that are pr- typically pretty insecure. Well, I mean, they mess with people. They try to get into things with their superficial uh, egos. or I mean, people can be egotistical, but they rape people. These types of people do. I mean, being stuck up or being egotistical or being introverted, a lot of people are, or being extroverted in friendly conversation. But when people are touching people, raping people, that's a problem. Yeah. Is it? Oh, of course. I mean, people are jealous of people that don't have AIDS. Yeah, well, right. They're fucking damaging teeth. They hit me in between the front teeth just now. Tony just said right to that guy's question that the satellite men are jealous of people who don't have AIDS. 
Yeah, that, that pisses me off so much, guys. Here we have a hard-working man who just has a big dick, and the government's angry about it. Like, this is yeah, a violation. They want it yeah. for themselves. They want to tuck it under theirs, and then shit. Like, yeah, that's that's the plan right now for the government, it seems like. Look, we're well, not yeah, we're not a political all old fucks in the government. So yeah. of course that uh, they they ball shrank, they dick shrank, everything shrunk. We're not a like, political oh, channel. We but, gotta um... figure out how to get our our spunk back. <laughs> <laughs> this uh this is definitely like I was saying, we're not a political channel, but this is definitely like one of the most concerning issues in the world right now. I would say yes, yes, most definitely the most. The burn of my dick yeah. again. <laughs> I'm not their race. I'm not their property. I'm not their child. That man has to die. <laughs> yeah. And I've already been injured by government. So people need to understand I was in a coma because of thieves wanted to steal from my father. And people wanted to steal from my mother. These races of people, the one individuals that did this shit. Any of them that has touched me since then, they can face the death penalty. They, they murdered can. my parents. I am not allowed to have nothing to do with nobody that is tied in or has any closeness with anybody that was involved in the murder of my parents. Whether they're in politics or common people or anything. Sorry. The Chinese said hello from the Chinese embassy. I would really love to know how they got this interview and if maybe we could. Oh, that's one. so risk. I'm with you on that. I'm so with you on that. But man, like, oh, we'd have to, we'd have to go, we'd have to write down questions and all. It wouldn't be like a Bowser thing. We'd have to write no. down and be like, because we're not going to, we wouldn't get Tony on the show to like ridicule him and different shit like that. No. Like, I'm fascinated. Fuck pedophile, you know? Tony, just want to, just want to pick this man's mind. Like, yeah, dude, I would reread Critical Donos of, of Bowser just to, like, it wouldn't be one of those things, you know? It'd be like, uh, Tony, what is the satellite? Like, I'm fascinated at all this lore. Yes. No yeah, touch we, of poop. We <laughs> want to know the lore. We want to know what exactly yeah. going on, at least in his head. We need to know, Tony. Oh, man, so we'll have forever. To, we'll have to. We'll have to, right. we'll have to right. talk about that one. <laughs> we will. That's something we need to consider, because... yeah. <laughs> yeah. about that there uh, like, what's what if tony has a secret exactly? discord server well, is it wrong to say i do I, like oh. Oh, i don't know like i'm supposedly possibly a nephew of the chinese emperor but i haven't received any letters from anywhere like i just but want to know kiwi real asked, quick and the empress yeah, of japan so like like with white bowser you know we've made it a point before and we'll say this to the very end you will never find any traces of me and kiwi giving a dime to white bowser for being on the show um really like i said giving a pedophile that fucking pedophile any types of money it, it was never the move it was never ever going to be no. the move however i will like, i feel like we should if we bring tony on the show you gotta you gotta give tony something like Tony. I don't know, dude. He was defending Ed Jeffrey Epstein pretty hard. Oh, God. Yeah, you just reminded me that. Fuck. I don't <laughs> know if I want him on the show now. I haven't even heard like, hey, about Tony. that. Hey, Tony, I'm willing to send you a bunch of canned food. I'd be willing to that... do something like that, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll order you like three pizzas. Like three pizzas. Like, I'll order go and upstairs. sell them for crack, bro. Like, come <laughs> I on. will, I will door I dash you like Crest toothpaste, my guy. Just yeah. an ass heap of fucking <laughs> crest toothpaste. But dude, you were asking when he said that. It was actually in part one <laughs> of the part two of this interview mm -hmm. we're listening to right now. <laughs> what if for the interview we offered to tin foil his whole house free of charge? Papa Chew's good at that. <laughs> if he gets out of jail, he's probably hiring him. Papa yeah. Chew's got commissions out the Yazoo in jail for foil craft. God, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Tone, tone is a. You know, Tone loves Papa Chew's foil work. Have you seen the Forbidden yeah. City? I, I've been there when I was little. I've been long, there a long time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he does probably know about Smokey's Channel. He's... Wherever my parents, if my parents is there, if I was, you know, whatever year it was, if I was alive, then I was there probably with them too. 
even when I was in a coma, I went to Windsor Castle. My parents went there, and we yeah, were there and... guys, exactly. When your family members in a coma, you got to take them on like overseas vacations. When I was in, when I was personally in a coma, um, I my family just took me to Cuba, and we just had a grand old time. Cuba, you know, Cuba, yeah, it's great, dude. Well, yeah, no, when great. I was when I was hooked up to when I, my legs were doing so bad around that white Bowser mm-hmm. time. That I was mm-hmm. like in a coma. There's pictures of me just like my whole family smiling, and there's me just strung out on the bed in like Italy somewhere. Um, yeah, I think I saw you in front of the Mona Lisa. No, that that was Cow Wrangler when Cow Wrangler was in the all right, real hospital. Quick, real quick story. <laughs> I have I have been in the I have gone to that museum, the Louvre, to see the Mona Lisa before. And let me tell you something right here. They tell you they tell you do when you go in that room, do not like don't have like a bunch of stuff in your pocket because people pick pocket the fuck out of you when you're in there wow and so yeah i left a bunch of shit with my buddies and i went and i went in took a picture of my phone nothing in my pocket but yeah it's like wall-to-wall people they say people pick pocket like motherfuckers i don't think it's the real deal i don't think that's the real deal mona lisa i don't think they'd put it up on display and risk it probably even if they had it you know it's behind like a bunch of glass and different shit though yeah i just i just dude i just those museums i don't trust them sometimes yeah, no, I, I feel, feel that. You know, feel like that the the reptoids are controlling everything. So like, hey, fucking New York's not even real, guys. Wake up, like wake Why up. Why don't you put on a little makeup? What? <laughs> we need to do a conspiracy theory episode too. I've been watching too much Painkiller already. <laughs> I was bedridden. I was in a coma, so you know my parents. If both my parents was going somewhere, usually they'd take me with them. In the coma. Yeah. Did you ever go to Mount Everest? Just wheel them around. Like, look, know. Tony. The I don't know if I was town. in a movie there or not. You know, they always try to play this mind erasing shit. Okay, uh, yeah. Tony. I, Tony. Oh, chat. What? A dream guest for a, me for this uh, show. Uh, would be when, Taylor. When we said we were going to interview uh, PKA. you. This is what I was talking about. And I'm nah, uh, fuck Woody there was Ice, questions baby. that people <laughs> asked on Instagram. Uh, this is more Robert, of like. Robert. Uh... Robert. Slash. That's all. He responded to your question. Sticker with. How much pounds of meth, crystal meth does Mark have in his closet? What? Zero. Uh... <laughs> Zero. I don't have any meth. Certainly none for <laughs> sharing. Oh, he was that. That guy was asking about Mark. How yeah, much does Ma- Mark have? Okay, well, Tony. Tony Chase has other channels where he goes under the name Mark Ray. Oh. Oh and shit! Are that you that might just be Tony Chase Mark <laughs> Ray. Yeah. So Mark just might be an actual. Like, I, and, you know, I don't want to do any doxing here, but I think they may have just. I, that might be Tony's actual name, but I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> but then again, he has it all over his YouTube pages and stuff. So it's dude, these people know Tony. They're in on the lore even more than we are. Oh That's yeah, crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I was in a movie there or not. You know, they always try to play this mind erasing shit. That's his porn name. Okay, uh, yeah. Tony. I Tony. What? I have a. Uh, when when we said we were going to interview you, this is what I was talking about, and I'm uh, there were some questions that people asked on Instagram. Oh, uh, this is more Ro- of like Barrick, uh... Ro- Barrick, slash. That's all. He's like, Respond fuck to you. Your question, my interview. Sticker with how much <laughs> pounds of meth, crystal meth does Mark have in his closet? None. Zero. Zero. <laughs> He answered that one so. Like, do you, is this is that kind of shit like a joke that people are trying to tell jokes with? Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> probably that's that's probably a bad first one to read out there. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to do with drugs. I am a natural athlete, and I'm better than most. Okay, Tony. Tony, nothing flexible. to do with drugs. Not in his life. Not never. Another guy asked, "What are the seven deadly sins? Fatal attraction? I never understood that one." 
that's just descriptions of what kind of people are like crimes of passion, greed, sloth, hate, pride, Earl Dube's one inch punisher, wrath, <laughs> envy. Like when somebody's jealous of somebody for or their, penis. their own personal yeah. crimes of passion, like rapist try to rape people and they try to murder people. Why is he so obsessed with that? I got a copy of the movie Seven Deadly Sins. Like, I don't understand why Tony's whole world revolves around, like... Yeah, I know what you're really? saying. I, yeah, it's like everybody, Kiwi. I like the government, these seven random men at IHOP. Like yeah. Everybody. Everybody <laughs> is just trying to rape him. Like, everyone. I like to I think he sees the world as, like... As how it was before Noah's Ark, before the Great Storm. That's just. <laughs> oh man, no, you're right. You're I right. personally think he thinks he's so attractive and so, like, so wanted, such a hot commodity by the entire world that he thinks everybody, like everyone, is just like this at the corner of their eye, thinking like, "Oh, that's Tony Chase over there." And you guys see that? That's Tony Chase over there, you know? And he, but people just can't thinking control like, themselves. Yeah. Instead of thinking that like people are going, like, holy shit, that's Tony Chase, he's thinking, oh my God, all these people want to rape me. Like, oh my God. And like, this is, he brings it up so much, Kiwi. That's, it must be an actual fear of his. Like, you could imagine by Tony at work. I don't think taps it's him on the fear. Back. I, I don't think it's a fear. Oh, uh, <laughs> God. Yeah. I didn't put I think it's something yeah. he's like, yeah, you know, when he's he riled up, it's about company issues or and issues I, of yes. money. And that's the other thing, dude. You just put it all. You just you just solve the riddle right there because every situation, what does it always involve? Do you know something like, sexual? The, well, no. What when he talks about like the R word, even though I've already said it like six times. <laughs> what word? What what also like who? It's always involving seven men. Yeah, always there's a number seven of men, men here. Seven men there. Why is it always like a very like a very exact number? <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah very specific number of men yes and it's this very i don't know he does kiwi you a good point he brings this up a whole lot he's like the meme you know that chick sitting on the couch that's just <laughs> tony's <laughs> meme that's there you know you're not his race you're not his, his dream he just wants to basically be like <laughs> i gotta watch what i say yeah yeah i'm hoping this is the <laughs> So White and the Seven Dwarves, yeah, he'd do great with his. Yeah, we were talking about dick. seven dwarves. That leaves brown marks on the dick, man. What? <laughs> yeah, like like they're bruising the dick or. Uh... Tony. What? Another guy asked. <laughs> why would when, you? St- when did the seven- come on? Why would you stop him? He's on a yes. roll. Well, no, it all depends. It all depends. What, if this guy's question is really good. This guy's question is really good. Okay. I can understand, but I'm with you 100. Right. You got right. you got to let him continue on when he starts saying that. You know. I didn't know Tony was making homemade wine. Look at him; he's making some tasty homemade hooch up there. Oh, so like he's attack he's taking, start. Taking cobras, uh, he's making some homemade meat. Yeah. Oh, he's... that's lit. Oh, that's that'd be great both... if Tony like watched cobras like food <laughs> hacks and like ate just like him, drank just like him. He's like, man, that guy has the prettiest teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you this much. Cobra and Tony are getting ready in case there's another prohibition because they'll have their entire, like, just these jugs, these jugs of precious alcohol just stored away somewhere in their places. I've said it before. I feel like Josh should have lived a life where he was, like, on top of a mountain. Um, yeah. Because if he had, like, overalls with no shirt and, like, a little crumpled hat like he has and shit like that, he'd look like, you know, he that'd be he'd fit in much better there. Basically, what you're like saying in is the like, town, like, like Butcher's Creek from Red Dead. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like uh, the Skinners or one of the Skinners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I see. I see him right there with him. Yep. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> well, I was with my father. And Honestly, mother those are my kind of people, little, though. When my father got murdered. I got injured too. My mother had injuries too. When they first developed the satellites. When they first them, made when? them. When? During the Cold okay, so War. so you were a little kid when that happened? Yeah. Like During Batman. the Cold War, the Soviets knew they had to stop Alexa, Tony's family. Alexa, look up family. the American Ballet on YouTube. 
Searching YouTube. Hey, what do you people think of a person has a big dick? Do you want to like attack them and, and cut their dick off and put it on yours? No, no, of course not. No, no, that's, that would be. It's not the this first is, thing that pause comes pause to pause mind, pause but I don't pause go pause around pause looking at people pause with pause big dicks, so where, like I wouldn't know. Listen, for the guy who uploaded this, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the guy who uploaded this. But this is where you have to know to respond. Well, well, it depends, Tony. How big is it? Like, how, it depends, you know. If it's over thirty inches, I might grab a gun. You know, but but it's just like. Like you got he's like trying to get a read on him. He's like, hey, you know, you guys aren't like dickhead hunters, are you? You guys are <laughs> you guys, penis poachers. You guys are aren't you? dick hunters, are you? Yeah. You're not trying to build a dick ship <laughs> the dick planet, are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Dr. Wong Burger. So I told you I was playing that one piece game, and I imagine if Tony played that, he'd be like, Yeah, no, a dick looks like that one guy with the stringy arms, you know, he just bang, <laughs> fat right out. <laughs> Oh my god. Kind of looks like the one guy's nose. <laughs> I can't believe that's what he asks. Is he's just like, hey, you know, you guys don't like try to hunt down and murder people with big cocks. Do you? <laughs> it's a valid it's question. Like, with everything his he's dick's gone made of rubber. How Dude, did that happen? It's it must yo, be scary. Oh, his dad owned Ford. Yo, oh. yo, yo, yo. All these people with the big dicks gotta look over their shoulders, bro. Like, yeah, him. Fuck. According to Bob Proctor, Daniel Larson's another one of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's so weird, bro. That's so weird. That's so weird. I know. I'm gonna have to get that phone call for next week, and we'll have to dive oh, yeah. deep into Danny because it's it's crazy. Let's try to do that. Well, they're not people. They're so Tony, they're more, Tony, maybe maybe they're just so used to stealing everything from anybody that they try to steal that too. They're burning my oh. dick again. <laughs> I'm not their child. I'm not their race. I'm not their religion. I'm not in no relationship with any of them. Is there like really anything that you can do to like treat that when it happens? Shoot them in their face. <laughs> what about like tinfoil? Oh no, I'm so mad. I was muted. Oh. I just lost it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Condoms don't work either. Condoms don't work. Put it on there if they were burning your dick. That's what he tells the ladies when he oh goes my to hook God. up with them. How the much satellite man makes it not work. Kiwi, how much you want to bet he's tried that? He's tried to put condoms on, just walk around all day with condoms on in hopes that they don't burn his dick. Absolutely, like butters from fucking South Park style. I put a little rubber band on it. Like, some shit like that, dude. Tony's gonna. Oh my god, dude! Like I said, these guys are starting to get good with these questions. <laughs> like, yeah, it's gonna. <laughs> like, he's got to. Oh man, I, I, I'm. Oh, this is this is way way funnier yeah. than I thought it would be. I'll be honest. These are Same. the things we need to know. He yes, seems riled yes. up. Yeah, the syphilis is actually like flared today. I think that's what it is. I think it's untreated syphilis. I really do. It's oddly specific, but I, when when do you think the last time Tony would have gotten some would be? I don't know, dude. With the way he talks about him being like uh, a man and a woman at the same time, yeah. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I I think the question would be what kind of people would hook up with Tony. Well, you, you know? ready for the? I'm gonna gross the whole chat out. Maybe he got sick from from putting that Cyrax and stylus in his mouth, like you see on that picture there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Is this what you want me to do, Marty? <laughs> Tony's looking at that video like, oh yeah, Chance, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> oh yeah, Chance. Hey, and Chance, mean... can I buy a chance to have that stylus? <laughs> Meanwhile, Tony the Black Dragon's over in the corner with like a camera in his wheelchair. He's like, yeah. He's recording this and be like, maybe Kiwi and Smokey will finally pay me $300 now. <laughs> that's that's something that goes without saying, you know. Mm -hmm. Can, let's say that one more time. He wanted Brandon. money. Yeah, Tony the Black Dragon <laughs> won three hundred dollars because some apparently some group of jack offs tried to convince him that yeah, you're worth three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. like, what is wrong with people? Why'd you put that idea in his head? Dude, I, honestly, I don't know why so many people are itching to pay pedophiles, but it just seems I, yeah, like it's, they it's weird. are. It's weird. Fucking Tony, dude, with, with the style. I, just, I thought this was his phone, but this is like No, that's a very old phone, if that's the case. But no, no that's, is, that's definitely a pen. This is inspirational. Like, and no wonder Tony thinks he's the shit. He looks like fucking like, uh, like an artist right oh. now. 
He does. Yeah, like he does. Scholar. Yeah. yeah, he looks like he's just looking at his painting, going like, "Ah, oh, yeah." You put a little bit of this up here, this up here. You know, it's like he's about to tell me that my essay is trash, and I'm getting that. <laughs> he does kind of look. Yeah, like he, you look like he's about to write the score to the next big blockbuster hit. <laughs> like he's the next John K. John Williams. I mean, <laughs> I know music. Yes, do my uh, yeah. <laughs> the Star Wars guy. Yeah, never big enough. But- did they burn his dick too? Yeah, with the with a lightsaber. <laughs> They're for me and some girlfriend, a real girl. A girl that has girl anatomy parts. Not to clarify. Not for anybody to try to, to break in or trying to rape me. Those are not for them. Everything has a specific if they try to get in here, they get go to jail. I'm not up for nobody not their race. trying He's to rape me. They all get prosecuted. We're breaking it in. They were trying to make a girl with like male parts. Well, they're trans trannies or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. like that. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a lot of people like that in Hollywood. Okay, hold on. Keep or at least playing. I've heard. Heard Hollywood's been infiltrated the last few years. Well, they have to always. Anytime there's a uh, an invasion, they always have to ask people what they own, because that tells you who has a right being in that area and who doesn't. If it's not a public store or public business, people don't have a right being in certain areas of doing certain things. What does that even mean? Should, like, give out badges to people who like aren't allowed to go certain places. It means they need to stop burning his dick, Smokey. Well, it just depends. What kind of bad? What do you mean? I don't know. Just like some like identifying marks. You can spot them from a mile away. Well, you can't mark them. Well, some people, if they're such criminals, they they could. I don't have no <laughs> tattoos. And I have no. Oh, did he draw it's illegal for anybody to ever put a restraining order on me. It's illegal oh, for anyone to ever put clothes. a restraining order on Tony. Or any gag order. It's illegal to put a gag order on me. The hell's a gag order? To not be able um, to talk about stuff like everybody goes good. to jail. Ah, okay. Because see, when people get into my life, they're wanting me to talk about them. When I have no interest in talking about them, oh, Eminem's going to cut his talking about my life, <laughs> my parents, my companies, my family history, and friendly people. You know what the yeah, worst part be? Eminem, the type of dude who would sports, definitely make a bar, life, like know? write a bar about to- cutting okay, Tony Chase's like dick off. <laughs> yeah. He would. We're burning my dick again. Oh. That's <laughs> what I was thinking when I was listening to Bowser's song. I was thinking like, Stan, I waited out in the cold all day, but you still don't stop and see me. Like, you know, some shit like that. Um... <laughs> I was there with my brother Matthew. He only like eight years old. We stood in the blistering cold. Like <laughs> I can already see it right now. Like I said, I can I can see the Eminem bar. You know, your girl on second base, just waiting to be picked off. I'm gonna head to Indiana and take Tony Chase's dick off. Like, uh, yep, that's that's yeah. an Eminem bar. Yeah. That's definitely an Eminem bar. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the world. Feed it beans. It's gassed up. Guys, what are we doing here? We we have an eye. We we need to go down to Shady Records. Like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> we have an idea. I don't idea. think they'd take me. I've made fun of Eminem too much on my streams. We'll get there. We'll, do, we'll use the White Daniel Bowser Larson method. The waiting room. Uh, what's the one Wayne Gretzky fight for? White Bowser method. We'll delete all of it, Doom. Wait, what did he just ask about Wayne Gretzky for? Was that the Kings? Family history. Wayne Gretzky. Did and Wayne Gretzky friendly the people. Kings? Later in his career. What? That are friendly you know what he played for the oil sports and talking Maybe about I'm life like, definitely know. wrong i guess oh the sports what's here do you like hockey yeah we're burning my dick again oh they're laser tagging uh, tony's keeping it interesting <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> can't even stand it. uh what's the one wayne gretzky played for self-milking Horse uh, yeah. Puckett says, skip this part, it sucks. I think, okay. Kings. I think he's pretty good. You know, he didn't even sing all his songs is what they can I appreciate you guys posting the whole thing. I heard that he's about it. 
And then they said that Jimmy Hoffa was supposedly stealing Oh, there's timestamps in the description, the apparently. Fund, oh, boy. Oh, that's you. There was no wrongdoing yeah. found, is what they said, I guess. Um. Oh, oh man. Oh, like a fall boy. Guy. This is good. Well, Thank you, guys. Pick pick, go Tragic by your discretion. Pick, pick the best lives. one. To stir up Tony problems. asks us what... <laughs> Tony talks about the black they racist? They okay, hold up. We talk about they ballet, they but he talks that. about Frank Sinatra slash Nazis night, so. instead. Tony, and then Tony explodes. Yes, yeah, and then right the after that, Tony talks did. about the black racist. This uh, well, I did a lot of ballet stuff. Yeah, well, I'm curious next, about Tony explodes. Yeah, right? Next, next five minutes is going to be good, guys. In my left nut, man. <laughs> that fucking Frank Sinatra is going to get fucking killed by the mafia or something. I'm going to warn you, Frank. The mafia is telling you to leave me alone, you motherfucker. Yeah, Frank. Maybe the Chinese asshole. mafia will kill Frank. I don't know. I think Frank's already dead. Mafia People has in chat are saying the black racist is the best this, Nazi, this Nazi but claims it's... that there's some legal organization against the Italian mafia. The Nazis think that they're a legal organization in America. Wow. They better watch their fucking ass. You better leave my cat alone. They're going to start killing your German shepherds, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna, I get to execute that government satellite, man. How would you execute him if you had the choice? <laughs> That's a good question. Wait. Yeah, how would you kill him, Tony? That was an excellent question. I, I love that question. Did you hear him explode, though? I talked over it. If we can go back, yeah, to yeah, he I'll like. You, Frank, he, I guess he's telling the satellite man to leave his cat alone. I'd be so scared if I was his cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm telling you to leave me alone, you motherfucker. He's there. Maybe the yeah. Chinese mafia will kill Frank. I don't know. <laughs> mafia has warned Frank several fucking times. Somebody said this Nazi. This Nazi claims that there's some legal organization against the Italian mafia. The Nazis think that they're a legal organization in America. Here he goes. They better watch their fucking ass. You better leave my cat alone. They're going to start killing your German shepherds, motherfucker. I'm going to, I get to execute that government satellite, man. How would you execute him if you had the choice? Let my cat alone. <laughs> yeah, how would you kill him, Tony? <laughs> they just ignore it. Like, yeah, sure <laughs> they France will cut their head off. <laughs> oh, I gotta link these boys. I gotta link these boys. Oh yeah, that's pretty fair. Yeah, guillotine. Come here, baby. And die by the sword. See, the Klan or the Nazis think they can <laughs> say the Klan all they fucking want. But if somebody says the word mafia, the Klan thinks they can murder Americans that say the word mafia. You better let go of my cat, fucking black racist. Mo they just tried to make me say the N-word. I get to kill every Don't black Don't do that, man dude. That Don't say oh. the N-word. Yeah, you need to fight that. I get to kill every black Ooh, no, man. No, 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 yeah, no, I don't know if after that one we can. That's crazy. So Tony really just goes off, huh? Yeah, he just he just start like diving deeper and deeper. Yeah, as Holy it shit. goes on, apparently. Oh boy, that is gorgeous. But Kiwi, you you link to those guys' channel. Yeah, I'll link it for the rest of the podcast. Yeah, just because if anyone wants to listen to the rest of that, you guys can go over there. That sounds like wild, but I don't know if we can play that. Oh, I'm gonna part. have to listen to the rest of that when we're done. Yeah, here. yeah. We'll listen to the rest of that one off stream. But he's angry. They're burning his left nut. Like, yep. Yeah, his whole bad. his whole area down there is just getting burnt. Like right 
It sucks. It's got to suck. Oh, it's you're you're completely right. Um, is there anything else you boys want to go over, or do you want to read some I chat? Think, um, I think we can read some chats. Let's yeah, we're we're, we're two hours there. in. Um, yeah, yeah it's about oh yeah, we time. are. So, and you guys know it's so cool that they just updated about StreamYard. Oh, is that because I just looked too? Can we now see gifters in them too? We can. Yeah, nice. we can. That's huge. The goats yeah, get yeah. recognition. We still and can't put take super stickers guess. up. Let me take a wild guess that Miami Fred donated this before we went live tonight. Absolutely, dude. What a goat. Jeez. What a goat. Just blessing up the people who are here early as always, man. What a fucking legend Miami Fred is. The family dude himself. Always much love to you, brother. It's always good to... uh. You said Tony. Tony's tame for the rest of it, Horse Puckets. We'll look through it and maybe we'll watch the rest of it on next stream. Um... Miami Fred, you are the fucking goat, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, we always can't thank you enough. And it's so cool that like people who show up early get rewarded. Because yeah. you guys get the tape. Um, I should have that Cobra Mead video out for you. Hopefully oh, be- tonight. I was thinking of making a Cobra cooking video. Because I saw him make like a ramen hack. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was watching it. And I was like, you know, this is gross. But it's not gross enough for me to not make a video on it. So I might. I'm considering it. Yeah, I'm. I want to yeah. see. Uh, I'm doing it over the mead. Um, okay. I want to see if people are still interested in Josh. You know. Uh, I think they are. At least bro, on my channel. Popping. His chat's popping off every night. People love. Well, I mean, they better be. The Stoner Cookbooks on Spotify now. That, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. the reason. That's yeah. why Josh's viewership is up. Because you, um, yeah, because you, dude. Noble. Thank you so much for the twenty. You know what's so fucked up is that. Uh, that darling guy forty seven gave us a hundo, and I can't even throw that up on on screen because they don't let us show super stickers. They let us show gifted memberships now, but Are still no super stickers. Yeah, it's fucked up. Damn. I don't know what it is. Um, Streamyard is an imperfect well, platform. When we get to that one, we'll we'll thank him anyway because I see it. Yeah. I got the list here too. For real, Miami Fred, you're fucking go, dude. Uh, Doobie's Dinkster, another fucking goat. He gave Doob. before the stream as well. Yeah. Actually cool Doobie, finally, for once. And that's Doobie's Dinkster. Ever since the Earl thing, he's been Doobie's Dinkster. I mean, yep. Maybe even before. <laughs> yeah, if know. it was before, then it just ended up working out perfectly. But nonetheless, Doobie's Dinkster, you're a fucking legend, bro. You've been here since the beginning. And it's great to see you here every week, brother. My memory is complete ass. But Doobie's <laughs> Dinkster, you're a fucking goat, dude. I have not forgotten all that you've done for us and the chat. And Kozak? Oh my god, Kozak's another one. Nice. Mm-hmm. I um, always thought Kozak's picture was a mouth opening up, but I think it's a guitar. Yeah, it's it a, guitar. a guitar. It's a guitar. You can see the fret and everything. Yep. Actually, much it's cooler a when you realize fret. it's a guitar. Yeah. Much cooler when you realize it's a guitar. And it's much yeah. cooler when you realize Kozak's here in chat chilling with us, man. So thank you Koza- again for that, brother. Kozak, that better be a BC Rich Warlock. That's all I'm going to say. That better be a BC Rich Warlock <laughs> or you're not goth. <laughs> On a real note, thank you, my dude. That does look like a sick guitar. I've yeah. always wanted to learn how to play, but, you know. It's um, tough. I've tried. You tried? Yeah. I I, acoustic I would be fun. I ha- I've had an acoustic and an electric. I went to practice for a guitar before, but I was never very good at it. Then again, I just wouldn't practice because I'd always be getting high, which is what a lot of guitars do at the same time. <laughs> you know, it happens. Mike, welcome to the channel. Mikey my dude. Mushka, let's go, Mike. I'm pretty sure you've been here before, man. Um, you know the you know the drills. Uh, I should have a new video up for tapists here in like a day or two. Oh yeah, excited. I'm doing a DSP video. Uh, I just dropped my Johnny Somali earlier. I saw. And yeah, yeah, we got uh, that. that- uh, it's tough to make that video, no doubt about it. Yeah, really tough to make that video. Dude. Yeah, he's uh, a piece he, of shit. I saw your top comment. It was like, he really is Logan Paul's Japan trip on steroids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like, dude, he is. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, this is this is a based dono because oh, man. it is Muda's birthday. Ah, that is lit. Wokal Exorcist says, How, I hope everyone has a good day. Happy birthday, Mr. Muda, and everyone born today. Bowser's a pred. Well, you know Bowser's a pred, but Mr. Muda, man, one of the one, one of the fucking, one of the coolest motherfuckers we've met through this thing. Happy birthday, brother. I hope you have a good one tonight. 
Uh, if you're not, if you if you have to listen to this later because you're having a good night tonight, then I hope you enjoyed that night, man. You had a great time. And whenever you're listening to this, man, just know we, from us here to I for Stupid, to you, brother, happy birthday, and you're a fucking goat. Oh, hell yeah. I hope, I'm going to keep I track hope. of all the Bowser as a predator things. <laughs> all right, bet. I want to make a little counter. Yeah, everybody. So far we got one. Everybody, let's show some love for Muda in the chat. He's always here chilling with us. He's a fucking homie. And uh, I think he's working right now. But uh, uh, just okay. know that if you're if you're listening, Muda, chat is popping off, dude. You are beloved. Fucking goat, Muda. Thank you, Earl is watching. Please consult Matthew 18.6 and do as it says. Oh, Have fun boy. with your band from the Detroit Catholic Archdiocese, by the way. <laughs> and you're not welcome <laughs> at any other Orthodox church either. Wow! Wow! Huh. Huh. Wow! Mike is just like, you see this yeah, verse in the like, Bible? Hey, Errol, Errol <laughs> uh, you know about your religion? Yeah, that's that's fucking up in flames. Like, what? I have to see what, what this is real quick. This quote, eighteen six. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble. It would be better for them to have a large milestone hung around their neck and be drowned in the Minecraft depths of the Minecraft seas. Jesus. It's Jesus. basically Roblox. a Bible quote that says drowned predators. Well, Bowser skipped over that one. He just looked That's at insane. don't. Yeah, Bowser <laughs> skipped over that quote. <laughs> I love that, but that's one of my new favorite verses. Thank You're going to get that tattooed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. For real. Can't stay for three months. Can't stay long, but I remind y'all, Earl is a pedophile. That's two, Doom. And yep, thank I you, got... Doom Ferroni. Hope you're able I to enjoy tally the marks. watchings. I... <laughs> yeah, Doom's going to lose his fucking mind by the end of this. Um, <laughs> well, here we go. I have a boyfriend. All Bowser's a predator. Oh, I was like, yeah. tell me why. In the <laughs> yeah, <chat."> right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to end on that. Do we have anything that we're really wanting to end on? I fucking love that song so much. We can end on, I've, or we can end on Spiral Mountain again. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love Spiral Mountain, though. Spiral, Spiral Mountain, Mountain is good. up there. We ain't here stuck in Lugia's stomach oh. alone. And, yeah, I could do a, another Misharam video. <laughs> and Doom, number four is Shablagoo's <laughs> weekly Earl Doobie is a Predator, or White Bowser's a Predator. I can't see it right now, but it's one of the two. Shabla yep, Goo never Earl misses a beat. Never misses. Never misses. A man of the people. ASD. ASD with the 10. Good day to you, Smoke, Kiwi, and Doom. Hope y'all are good. Remember Earl's <laughs> predator. Yep. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're all Very having true. a good day here. We're having a great show, ASD, man. I hope you enjoyed it. And God, God, you know, you know, <laughs> Earl. You know Earl is a predator, man. So it's factual. Yeah, I think that we had a great show. There wasn't much in line of news this week, so next week we'll probably be back to the regular format of just yep. like looking at people. And uh, I think it'd be interesting to like look over some of the people who we've covered on our channels, but we haven't like looked back into for quite some time. Yeah, I think next week there's a Jupiter interview or a interview yeah. with that Linda Binda girl and mm -hmm. Jupiter's sister. Mm -hmm. So that could be something to look into. It seems huh. very interesting. People have been talking about that in chat. Yes, they say Jupiter makes look him look so much worse. I believe it. Thank you, ASD. Modded FN FNV Code Red and the boys. It's a good day. That sounds like a good day, dude. What's FNV? Co I'm not sure. Doob. Mountain you know? Dew. <laughs> no, no. Um, modded FNV. Uh. Modded FNV. Holy shit! What? Oh. Noble, thank you so much, dude. I promise it might take us a minute to get to you, but I just want to say thank you, man. Um, oh, you, you saw the 99 one? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't see it before. I, I fucking, my phone's kind of a little wonky here. But Noble, uh, man, yeah, thank you for that. We're going to get, we're getting all these right now. We're just going down in order. But Code Red, Code Red is definitely the second best Mountain Dew behind the, the new oh, pink no. one. I wish I knew what FNV was. Oh, chat, Fallout New Vegas. That oh, is so that's, that's cool. That's okay. cool. He's, he's even based. cooler than I previously thought. Yep. That's awesome, Meme Navi. Oh, lost Q-tip! 
Dropping the Man. five on the gang. You serious, Lost Q-Tip? You fucking go. You were lost, but now you're found, bro, right here with the homies of Two Eye for Stupid. We love having you here, man. So thank you for always showing love. It feels like all every week, bro, we see you in chat throwing love. And just thank you for that, man. Literally the essence of Herp Gang, Q-Tip. And, he, and there's another. And there's another right here. Mm-hmm. Guess Bo. Are you serious? <laughs> Guess Bo, the fucking goat, man. Every, like I said, all the time, see it, Hobie's like lost Q-tip, guest bow. See it, y'all in chat, man, always makes me put a smile on my face. Thank y'all for always showing love to the other homies in chat, man. Make myself, Kiwi, even Doom, everyone appreciates it, man, you're fucking goat. I stand by that it is people who uh, gift memberships that make this community so tight with each other. Because it's like, also the people in chat are like, hey, you know, just kind of like, cool, you can spam little Sam Hyde faces, it's on me. Like that's oh, so that's cool. starting soon, ain't it? What fish tank? Fish tank? Yeah. Fish tank, yeah. I want to really get into season two. Yeah, um, I think I will with you. I'll buy the thing. I want the, Doja yeah. Cat in season two. Now that Doja she Cat with her Sam Hyde yeah. shirt. <laughs> I want to start a clan, boys. I think if we're gonna do the fish tank thing, that we should start like a, a clan. But I don't know. Got to be um, careful with that word. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Lo- Lotan started one. I thought about joining his, but I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I want to start my own. Hell yeah. Um, Lotan's chill, though. Uh, I guess, Bo, thank you so much, my dude. You Ghost are a fucking face. G. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. Face I've decided to start making my own mead to show the regarded Boglin how it's done. Let me know if you guys want to see my progress as I do it. Absolutely, Ghostface. <sighs> Absolutely. Hell Make yeah. Videos, man, send them up. We'll watch that every week. See how Ghostface's mead progress is going. Just to show Josh that he's he's fucking up. Ghostface, you know it's crazy. Uh this is there are people who are doing this. There's a you know, there are videos out there. People are like making King Cobra JFS mead. Mead. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like you it'd be perfect, dude. I'm telling you, it's those videos like are from channels that just started and got a couple hundred views, so it's it'd be like a good little jump start. Oh yeah, uh, I know what's um uh, fucking CEO of Chairbugs does stuff like that. Oh, Mister McMunchy, bro, Mister McMunchy dropping five on the gaggy series, bro. Fucking thank you for that, man. Showing love to like I said, showing love to the chat, bro. Blessing up five other homies in the chat. Like I said you can't 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 ever thank you enough for doing stuff like that, my man. Um, is that? The cat scratch is that the name of that? Yeah, cat show? scratch. I think so. Yeah, it's, it's the Scottish dope. one. Hey, you guys like think that. it'd be? You guys think it tastes good to mix like this, like pineapple tequila with Powerade? Not what sure because I ain't never had tequila. Really? Nah. What kind of? I love tequila. What kind of Powerade? Blue or red? Hmm. Pineapple. I said with blue's rosemary. the safe choice. I think. Blue is, well, blue is the definitely safe the safe choice, yeah. I'm just yeah. wondering how it would taste. I'm going to pour it up anyway. He's making dank drink combos, too. That's like right. I am. Yeah. I'm getting inspired by Josh. I'm going to throw some <laughs> I'm gonna throw some cayenne pepper in this afterwards. I'd like to hey, give yo, a shout-out to Adam McMunchy. Uh, yeah, fun fact. The, the dude who made Cat Scratch, he also the dude who made Earthworm Jim. So if you're familiar with really? that as well, it's the same dude. I never knew That's that. That's awesome. We all remember Tequila Mondays. Fuck, uh, I we're wish doing I that. don't. We're doing that again. For episode 110 of this show, we are getting oh. obliterated. Dude, that's going to yeah. be like a year or so. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, just get ready. because There's two reasons for that. Because it'll be obviously the 110 autism. Then it'll be the 100th anniversary of episode 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real. It'll... Man. The good old days. <laughs> Psycho! Psycho Mantis. Dude, oh, Psycho, you've been, you've been fucking going crazy tonight. I know you dropped this 10 here. You dropped another $50 donation later, man. And Psycho, just as always, man, always seeing you here every week. Thank you. Thank you for always showing love. One of the, like I said, one of the, one of the most heralded heroes here in the chat, man. That cool Did he get a new profile, profile pic? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but that one still looks pretty. It, it's a. It looks kind of like Bane, but also it kind of hmm. looks like Venom or Carnage. Oh, it's some kind of gas mask. Oh, I, I just remembered that Spider Man Two comes out in about a week. Yeah, or two. I was about to say that. I'm like, I bet Psycho Mantis is the type of guy that's hyped as well for Spider Man. Dude, I'm come so out. hyped for that. Are you kidding I me? Am. Like, yeah. I'm extreme my whole playthrough of that because I imagine I'll get through it in like a whole day. Oh, I thought about starting a gaming channel, like just for like shits and giggles. Yeah. We're doing it on the second channel. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know, because I, I did stream uh, Dead Island 2, like, when it came out, and only, like, I'm going to say remember. only, but I, I, I don't remember. Think, there's, like, there's 18 yeah. people in the chat, and I was, yeah. I was, most, I was most of the comments, yeah. but like, <laughs> that's the same thing that happened with me when I would stream, like, MLB, you know? It's just, that's just how it is. Oh, yeah. Not it, but you fucking have done, like, so amazing with the local wrestling. That's what's so cool is, like, it's just a peak original uh, local gaming content. It fits in perfect. I love those fucking dude. Doom's been oh, knocking it out with that too. Like I, I said, saw. I love, I love having different like companies. Like, 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 because we have like basically, it's like if my local wrestling is like WWE, well, Doom's is the AEW of local wrestling. You know, yeah. He's got all these different companies, different champions. You fucking love to see it. Yeah, yeah. he's got he's got local wrestling. I got King of Quickville. Yes. <laughs> See, it's like a bunch of independent promotions. We all trade talent and stuff. I've been told Jim, like I kind of want to, I yeah, Chinoku Pro. I want to, I want to have, uh, <laughs> I want, I want to talk to Doom on this. Save, see if we can get like fifty locales together. Well, not an actual person, but fifty character models, and do a draft. Ooh. And each draft, like so. For, for my, I'm just saying, if my first overall pick, I would take Grunty. If my, if I had the first overall pick, <laughs> and then Doom picks two and three. Then I pick four and five, and it goes down like that. You know, whoever, um, whoever had the lead, the first pick gets the next two picks, and then like onwards. Dude, you guys need to do a SmackDown versus Raw. That's what. I, that's the Ooh. point. That's yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's so cool. That's what I'm I thinking. Love that. Here. that would be. So, but then it's gonna suck because you know you're gonna have like one of us is gonna get Cyrax, and a perfect opportunity to put Cyrax in a match is gonna come up, and it's gonna be like fuck, <laughs> like I don't have fucking Cyrax anymore. <laughs> But it's lit. That'll be a cool idea, I think. Yo, thank you, Psychromantis. We had a brain blast because of this. Um, a Bob Chandler, White Bowser's a Predator. You That's tell him about Five Chandler. or six, Doom? Six. Six. Okay, well, here comes seven. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> uh, will Kiwi Archive ever have the Cobra cooking stream? Dude, you know it kills me, Glady, because I, I put a lot of work into that stream. And then it's just like, well... <laughs> I say I, put a lot by of work I say I put a lot of work into that stream. Um, fucking, I, yeah, I didn't have enough room on my stream yard yep. for it to save. So I could go yeah. back and like record the whole thing at a, a lower quality, but I, mean, shit, I don't think bro. it's worth the time. Myself, you, I'm pretty sure Doom does. We have so many streams that are, that's not even like, not, not even just not archived. They are gone forever. Like I, all my old streams, every single one from like the past six months is just straight up gone. And I'm worried because if I get a strike on the archive channel, I don't know what it would mean for me to upload to my main channel. Would that oh, be like oh my God. Yeah. That's, that is actually a scary so, thing. Yeah. Uh, most of mine are either on my channel or on Odyssey. I'm, I think that's what's <laughs> quite the, a bit. Actually, yeah. I have not gotten any like stricken down or what. Which is great because I will forever. My favorite stream that I've done will forever be drunk driving putt putt, when me and my homie Cheddar Cheese got fucking blasted and like drunkenly stumbled through putt putt joins the parade. It was great. <laughs> oh, one man, of these it's... days, one of these days when Doom's band has a live concert, you're probably gonna see the first live too high for stupid because I'm totally going to that motherfucker. Yeah, and I'm just for like... real. Like dead ass, that would be a stream right there. That would be a stream. That would. We will have all of the fucking all the homies at the Doom concert. That's not um, even. That's not exactly. Like I said, I don't know if we'll necessarily. I don't know if we'll stream, but I've been saying that for a grip. When Doom goes live, when Doom has a live show, I will be. I don't care where it is. I will be there. You'll see some like Hawaiian man in the crowd. No, I'll like, dress up hey, in a everybody. Hawaiian shirt just in, just for that reason alone. Like, say so you know, oh, that's him. like that's him. Yeah. <laughs> Just talk like as as wide as you can. How are you all doing today? Like <laughs> now, go to like, hey, little cuz, I came to your concert here to to maybe shred some gnar with the homies. And... Dude, what I love uh, about the character, you'd probably be able to high. sneak backstage because I got one friend who like wears nothing but Hawaiian shirts, <laughs> and like, and who knows, security might mistake you for him. Oh, uh, it might be Hawaiian hard though because he's like he is he is very. Um, ginger. He's very big and ginger. So we're gonna it's... run like zebras, guys. We're all gonna have Hawaiian shirts on. Protect us from all the jerk cops and jerk keeps. You know, like, yeah. If like we zebras. ever do, see if we ever do have like a meetup, and 
you, you guys have never seen our faces. That would just be the calling cards. Like it's going to be at this location, and to know where everyone's at, just wear Hawaiian shirts. Mm-hmm. And then some poor old man who just had to have a Hawaiian shirt on that day is going up with people and being like, "Yo, you want to smoke a blunt, bro? You want to smoke a fucking blunt?" <laughs> <laughs> Smokey's going to be like, I do not smoke pot. And that's going to be his whole disguise is that he doesn't smoke pot. And they're going to be like, well, that's not him. That yeah. can't be him. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Nippleton. Thank Bruce. you, my man. We what appreciate you. What a good one month. That's what's up. Metal Six Wolf. months. What's He's up, been here Metal longer Wolf. than that. Um, yeah, I know. Christ. Metal Wolf seems like a day one. Hope you're well, dude. Hope you're well. ASD, Work at a ASD. eatery in Wyoming and seeing Josh's shit makes you want to vomit. It hurts my soul. Well, like that's what I mean. Like he can't be too far from your meadery. He should go there for like a, a tour and see how it's actually done instead of making it an empty Hawaiian punch like fucking bottles. ASD, he cleans some of these containers which he uses, but he cleans them with bleach. Um, it can't end well. So I doubt the mead making saga is going to last much longer. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a star <laughs> day you know, late and quick. day gay. Oh, that's mm. true. We're not, it's not heterosexual <gasps> and on time. This no, <laughs> no. Oh, well, Fuck. we failed him. This is the gayest room we've ever done. <laughs> I, I love that. Well, I mean, a lot of it was track. about a guy who liked to that's true. boink Pokemon. So and, uh, that's and fair. Mostly, and the whole end of the stream was about Tony Chase's dick. <laughs> yeah. He needs his Reshi Ram. <laughs> Tequila Buttworm. Three months. I demand to uh, KO your fave to know your favorite dinosaur. I like a Velociraptor or Spinosaurus. You know, I'm pretty hmm. dank. My favorite's always been the one in Jurassic Park that attacks Newman, like the one who has the the the, the small one who has like the uh the his like around his neck it ends up like expanding and it looks like a lion or something. Oh yeah, the fucking that one. It's like a Dilaf of some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Starts with a D. Uh, yeah, say so he attacks Newman from Seinfeld. That's all I know. <laughs> he, that's the guy I don't, from I don't Seinfeld? know much about dinosaurs. Not like not really. Um, I mained vertigo in primal rage does that count i think it does you know a sp- it name does. a fucking dinosaur say t-rex say something oh, fine i'll say t-rex i'll be based t-rex. <laughs> t-rex yes the t-rex <laughs> this is gonna be the first shirt we make it's gonna have everybody's favorite dinosaur yes i think we're i think we're really like creating a quality show here boys Lost Q tip. What up, y'all? First year I've caught in weeks. Hey, man, Lost Q tip. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to know that us doing this on Thursdays allows some people who can't make it on Wednesdays to see it. I mean, as for right now, I'm pretty sure our plan just going forward is to continue Wednesdays, but we talked about it before. And whatever night works best for the chat, like shit. Like, you know, we'll, we'll try to, you know, as, as the weeks go on, as the months go on with the show, we'll see what works best for everybody, man. I'm just happy you're here tonight. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have put it better myself. Uh, Your dog TV. is gay, and so is Quantum TV. Yeah, Quantum TV is making a bunch of like weird death threats at the Act Man and all. I've seen that situation. Yeah, that that shit's crazy. Yep, yeah. I don't know anything about that shit, but it sounds nuts. It does. Uh, Z three O. Z Z three O. Go. He's so right. Josh, yeah. rap song of the year, fire like frozen fives. Well, should we end on that one then? Yeah, that would be a good one to end on. That would be. There's a reason why we made that the closing track. Black brains be a goat, bro. He was like, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make like a graduation by Kanye West type <laughs> beat for the end. <laughs> if we could, I'm like, Bet. that's cool. That, oh my god. Hey boys, can't wait to hear some bangers based post. I hope you enjoyed the bangers that we provided tonight. You know, I feel like most Whoa. of them came from the lips of Justin RPG, but yeah. Yeah, there were some good ones tonight, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And Ted, Ozzy was on the flight logs. I guess he's a sicko. What? Oh, no, the Epstein flight logs? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Dang. To be fair, and, and it's not because if it is true, then fuck them. But I, when I saw that initial page of flight logs, I feel like every celebrity was on that. Like you could I think have named, the initial like, was, page was debunked. 
Oh, well. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Tom Hanks. Yeah, I said a lot of shit about Tom Hanks, too. <laughs> and then I heard that he was, it was like, this was the first step. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump the gun on that one. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, look at this. There's another one for, for friggin' Doom's List right here. Man, beast. Yeah. White Bowser is a pred. What love what you do, tubes. That's most definitely what's up, tubes. Thank you, man beast. Love that you love what we do. Love having you here. And that white Bowser, you know it. You know it is a straight predator. Honestly, the more I think about it, how would Cobra react if that came out? Like he'd take it terribly. It yeah, would piss a- him off. <laughs> Ozzy was just looking to get a layover flight to England tubes. Ozzy wasn't cry. actually there for any malicious reasons. He Dude. was only there to catch in a connecting flight to England. He would cry so hard. <laughs> it would be, there would be a weeping stream <laughs> of him just being like, Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe I spent all Ozzy's my years following sicko. my life on Ozzy. He's a sicko. Yeah, just shit like <laughs> that, dude. It'd be, oh, I almost, I don't want it to be true. But no. Cobra's reaction would be so hilarious. <laughs> Super trailer. Doom, who has better music, Rax or Larson? Hmm. I want to say Rax because Exposed was pretty lit. <laughs> you yeah. used your weight. Oh, God. No, that's his best song. That's his best that song. That is his best you song. You used your it's weight way against, against me, me when I fought you. That's How does he yeah. actually make these catchy songs every once in a while? Uh, it's just, it depends on the beat he steals, I think. Yeah, yeah he has to steal the beat. <laughs> yeah. oh, he he yeah. steals beats heavy. <laughs> oh, this one's for uh, you, Doom. Yeah, Doom, this one is for you. Uh, let's see. Loved the EP, Doom. Candy Calzone blew out one of my car speakers. Big ups, uh, Kiwi and Smokey. Love you guys. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about the speaker. Damn. Nah, but they were enjoying it. Yeah, well, like... I I did go in and EQ it so that the bass wasn't that heavy. Like, damn, <laughs> I guess it wasn't enough. I feel like that'd be the only song I would want my bass to blow out would be to a song called Candy Calzone. Right. It's just too right. amazing. <laughs> I got to hear Candy. I ain't heard Candy Calzone yet. Give me your best Chester Bennington streamer to pay up now. Hey! You either pay up now or I show my cock and I get you banned. No! 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 Dude, like I said, I, I, every time I do that, it just brings me back to those glory days and Cyrax was just raging every night. Um, oh. Those were great. Those were yeah. fantastic. I'd be on lunch break and I'd be like editing the previous night's rage. Yes. Like not even like eating my lunch because... T- I was just like, oh my god. Too focused. Yeah, too <laughs> yeah. focused on what Cyrax was doing last night. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, these are he's really popping off. Because it just got worse and worse and worse. And uh it seems like then he just went quiet. Yeah. Muda. We told you uh, dude, Muda. happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday, brother. And Earl's a predator. Yep, that's another one for the list, man. <laughs> yep, we up to nine. Jesus. I hope you I hope you're out of soon out of work soon, dude. But uh if you're hearing this, big ups, happy birthday. He's Facts. a fucking good. Muda. Have a great one today, my friend. Really like just go celebrate. You know, hopefully we see you here next week, you know, one year older, chilling with the gang. Ain't nothing better than that. Fuck yeah. Ghost face. I have I've sent-, sent my friend <laughs> Satoko to deal with Chris. Maybe she <laughs> will be prevented at all costs. Now all three of you take a dab. We got you on that one, Ghostface. Uh, see what I got no there. dabs on me though. Oh, I th- I think Baby Chew is should be the name of his fucking girlfriend because she looks like a baby. Yeah. For Christ's yeah. sakes. Yeah, we'll have to get into that more next week if anything comes out of that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Chat, oh, I just, that. just to let y'all know, I don't typically have dabs. Usually, if I am doing any of that stuff, it's cause like. I'm at the Mets game, high on an edible. If you if you ever see a <laughs> you ain't at no Mets game right looking, now. Yeah. <laughs> no Mets if you, if right you ever now. see a like a, a a slightly muscular but short like Walter White looking motherfucker high off his ass on edibles at a Mets game, that's like ninety nine point nine percent probably me. 
Well, I'm not now, going look, to any Mets game. That's yeah. Scary. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make this a sports conversation or even some fucking club dude. Heisendorf to, beating me up. Do Mark? Are you a Mets fan? <laughs> um, in in a sense that they got the cheapest ticket prices. Okay, because that well that, that that's true. <laughs> but like I said, just wow. Because like I said, it's just, this is the roughest season I've ever seen the Mets have. Oh, I know, right? Jesus <laughs> Christ. You know how bad that's got to hurt watching the game on tonight with the Braves and Phillies? Like, Jesus. Dude, I am just, I'm terrified at this description that Doom gave to it. I'm not going to any fucking Mets game ever again. I've, my, sounds like this (laughs) motherfucker's going to cut my liver out. I am very chill, bro. I am, (laughs) I am super chill, especially when I'm doing that. I will be nah, your best I, friend forever at that game. I have never been one for like sporting events or concerts or anything like that. Oh, dude, they're the best. Um, that's what everybody says, man. But like, I went to a concert one time and I was just like, this is not the scene. Like, there's this lady screaming behind me. She's calling the rapper like daddy. And I'm just like, man, like, it's loud in here. Like, this bitch is like yelling in my ear. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, I doubt that a fucking sporting event would be much different. Depends. You know? uh, it it, it actually kind of is. It kind of is. It's not It's not as bad as that. Because I've, I've been to both. Maybe I'm sporting just a fucking well, prick. Again, I've, I've gone, I'm going to Mets game, so maybe it's not as loud. Poor Kiwi. <laughs> He's acoustic. Yeah, it's probably the Tism, guys. I just couldn't handle it. I'll, I'll be at a Doom concert. Don't worry. Hell, oh, Billy Vedas, the N-word dragon. Come on, boy. Come to my house and fight me. Wow. Wow. Billy Vedas in chat. Just taking up for his, for, not, I'm not going to say his boy, because Billy Vedas here is cool, but I mean, Cyrax, Jesus Christ. You know, and he's still, you know, Cyrax with all the shit he's been through in the past year. I guarantee you, we're still going to be seeing clips coming from years from now of him going to the random trolls. Come on and fucking do something about it then. Fucking come fight me then. He'll never stop that. He, he's unable to. Is that fucking Tommy? <laughs> What's up, Kiwi? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Um... Come on, yeah, dude, I'll fight you, man. No weapons, no <laughs> weapons, and well, I know you love your weapons. <laughs> you, you can't really use your ass. weight. <laughs> Sandwich, yeah. bitch face, Marty, the ginger dragon, clobbers, Billy. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a two part. I just realized it. This was... <laughs> yeah, this is. Well, I mean, that is what happened. That is technically what happened. My and dog Jeans? agrees, and so does Cheems. Yeah. Well, che- your dog agrees because they see Cheems' Sheba face on screen, and they're like, oh, shit, it's Cheems. Because Cheems dropping 10, 10 Kiwi tapes, bro. Are you freaking kidding me, Cheems? Always here, bro. Always up to no good, Cheems, but, you know, chilling here with the gang. Always love to see it, man. Hell yeah, Cheems. You're the G, dude. I-, I was heartbroken when I heard actual Cheems had died. Um, <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. It was by my hand. I did it. Whoa. Cheems. Yeah. It was me all along, Cheems. I'm the one who killed your father. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm going to use these 10 members to do it again. <laughs> oh, that darling guy. With the honey. Oh, my God, that darling guy. With the, the, the hunted ninja donation. Kiwi said there was a sticker here, but. Honestly, man, that darling guy, it sucks they don't show us a sticker, but I imagine it was glorious. But thank you so fucking much for that, man. Like I said, words can't even do it justice. Just, you know, I wish I, we, we wish we could give back somehow with that one that we just want you to know that you are a fucking legend. We're glad you enjoy the show that much, my friend. It's always awesome to have you here. And just, yeah, just I hope you're going to be here as uh, we got many more of these to come. I don't know. We got no plans on stopping anytime soon. And to have all y'all homies in chat here. It's going to be a fucking ride, man. It's going to be a ride. Yeah, we are. We're very excited for the only use me blade funeral arc. So I don't <laughs> expect us to be going. Memorial. Anywhere, yes, the memorial. I will, arc. I will sing the song from Earthbound that Chibi does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'd probably it. go. I'd probably go. Yeah, I would too, dude. I'd no, no, I'd probably be a joke. Like, I, I'd, I'd talk to you about that. I'd be like, should we look just for like, 
Should we like do a vlog, like vlogging Blade's funeral? Oh, of course. If it's a public thing, I'm going. We'll let the poor Jaeger in his coffin. Like we'll be in the fucking hotel room beforehand, just slugging shot. Dude, you're coming too. We're just slugging shots. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a too high for stupid, stupid too high for stupid fundraising episode to buy for our flights to wherever Blade was last. <laughs> just, just, we'll buy we'll buy a shitty hotel room at like a Motel Six or something and just get trashed and then make our way to Blades. Uh, we'll we'll convince his mom to let a let us party with Blades' corpse the night before the funeral. Yeah, it'll be like a weekend like at Bernie situation. Yeah, 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 I like that's a great idea. I bet it take. I bet it just take like. I bet Blades' mom would just let us do. She's like, "Fuck it, I don't give a shit." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire sales. Thank you. Thanks, darling guy. Uh, resin Live on my toes. Resin. Ooh. Wish I had the Bogham's Magnificent Mane. I feel like most men do. You know, that that balding head of hair is just too fine. Every man wants it. Dude, my thing is, is like, I don't think Josh has the maintenance to maintain a bald head, right? Like, his no. father, Clint, maintained it. Like, you gotta fucking, you gotta keep it tight, and he, it, it would just look awful if he tried it. I think this is his best bet at looking like a decent person, because there's no way he, if he shaved it, he'd look like, more like Golem. There'd be like wispy strands on top, you know, it'd, it'd just be bad. Yeah. It'd be very yeah. bad. I want him with the Hey Hachi haircut. Yeah, he'd What's look good with that. Hachi? He'd What's look good with that. Let me see it here. Oh, you, you ain't familiar with Tekken and Heihachi? He's got no, the greatest exactly haircut known to man. About. Oh, dude. Well, I know what I need to play. <laughs> this is impressive. I know, right? Shit. It's like the haircut of haircuts. Fuck, that's like, have you seen those memes of like that Chinese subculture of those guys? <laughs> their, like the big <laughs> hair? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. This is it. The, what Cobes needs to be sporting. He does. He'd look good with that. Oh, the, yeah. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Justin RPG is the only locale on the internet that had enough sense to get the fuck off the internet. WBIAP, which stands for White Bowser is a Predator. Oh, so I got to mark that. Yep. Yep. But that's true. Like you said, like, Doom, you were telling us about Justin RPG. And you know what? I think that Justin probably won the contest tonight. And the contest winner got something special. The contest winner gets a video made on them by either me or Kiwi. And I I, I don't know about Kiwi. Like I said, I'll talk to you after the show, but I think I'm going to start working on that tonight then. That Justin RPG. Oh, yeah. That is that is phenomenal. You do oh, that, yeah. dude. I've, the Justin, I've the Justin rabbit holes, like, it gets gross, but it's really funny. Okay. And it's and as far as I know, it never gets tragic. Okay. That Reshi Ram shit, dude. I can't wait to see that video smoke. If it's anything <laughs> like good. the Chibi video, I feel like it's gonna be perfect because it'll be like the Chibi video. Um, I hope Kozak did another fight. Yeah, oh, shit. Dude, yeah. Thanks, Kozak. Kozak is My gone. God. Kozak is only he's only donating so much like his picture of a guitar and he likes music so much and has loved hearing Cobra shred like that. Kozak's been around a fat minute, but I think this is the first time that he's like either had a profile pic or he's changed it. I, I feel like it's Kozak's normal one. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, Ramon. So oh yeah. Uh, Ramon. Every week I say it when he's in my stream, when he's in Kiwis, when he's here. Ramon is here every week. Every week with the gang, and you love to see it. What's up, guys? Here's some bread. Hope you guys are doing well. Take a hit, a shot for me, my dudes. Weekend's almost here, and White Bowser is a pet. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna take a shot for you right now. I'm still drinking this tequila shit. I'm honestly not as drunk as I thought I'd be, but I haven't smoked at all during tonight's show, and that's actually for the better because I feel much more talkative when I don't. Yeah, I find myself like I just took a hit. It's yeah. so true. No, I, like, I, 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 I usually <laughs> have a hard time finding words. Yep. It's like I, I know what I want to say, but I forget how. <laughs> like ninety percent of the us. time on my own streams, I'm getting high and just reading the chat out loud. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm doing. I was like, uh, Ramon here <laughs> says that he's enjoying the stream. Thank you, Ramon. Like I'm, just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just like lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You the go. <laughs> yeah, yes. I always find myself repeating myself, and I go back and I'm watching, and I'm like, motherfucker. Like, these people yep. are so patient with me. 
Uh, bro, hey, there's one too, stream man. where I say that's most definitely what's up so many times. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse. Uh, it's, it's, it's infectious. I, I use it in my life all the time. I in a, in a non-ironic sense, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what's up. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm such a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what's up, Walmart lady. Thank you, man. Tacticus. Tacticus Kilgore. Yeah, there's a difference between legendary Pokemon and Evolution. One's a fictional animal, the other's a sexy fictional animal. <laughs> <laughs> there's fuck? only one way to cure this tuberculosis. You gotta hit this Zaza. <laughs> Thank that you, Tacticus. Zaza got him coughing up blood, Tacticus. Thank you for letting us know, my friend. Dude, this is Forsaken Marksman. So many people oh, change their names. I noticed. I noticed. Um, it's so crazy because, like, I try to keep track, but sometimes I just fucking my little pea brain. Hey, it happens, man. Thanks, Justin Forsaken. ain't leaving the basement with this one. Justin ain't no. He is. He is, bro. Yeah, this is his. This is his claim to fame right now. Everyone's mm -hmm. bumping some Reshiram music, bro. Unga Bofunga. Oh. This is what's gonna make him <laughs> send him to the. This is what's going to send him to be like a star. Yeah, yeah, you know, one one of these days, bro, one of these days, Drake just finna like get on Instagram live and he's going to be like, yo, I just signed a new artist to OVO. And he's going he's gonna to turn this phone over and it's just going to show Justin. It's like, hey, guys, <laughs> take care of Reshiram dropping soon. <laughs> I can't even do the from the username to all the comments to the it's just this is a base dodo. Um the fat. Justin sounds like discount cobes, dude. He sounds like fucking a robot from Invincible. If you have you guys seen the Invincible uh oh, yeah. on like Amazon, yes. he looks like a little fucked up robot guy. Uh like that's what he sounds like. He sounds like he's being tortured. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. Um, Miss, Mr. Mrs. E has, e. Oh, oh, Miss Z oh. has no low cow knowledge. I like to hit her with the Rax Rage Ram with like six years <laughs> or, well, gee. <laughs> Love you, boys. Love you too, Mr. Easy. And that's got that's got to stump her so bad. Like, what the fuck is he like? What? But it's something to you that's going to be hilarious and she's not going to understand. And that makes it all the more funny to you. When you when you get home and she doesn't bring you your slippers, no, no, no. So yeah, me yeah. and Miss Smokey talk about this stuff together, so that don't work for me. Yeah, Miss Smokey just pulls off the shoe and starts beating you. Yeah, the chunk, <laughs> the chunk, <one. laughs> the chunk. <one. laughs> Trash boat, six months, my dude. You are a base. Um, it's a good day to be a fucking a tapist, a chain smoker, a lost soul. It is a good day to be part of Herp Gang, which is all That's encompassing. Right. Yeah, it spreads. Um, oh, it yeah. spreads. Just like you calling people a predator, I swear to God, I can't go like <laughs> stream without people being like, Earl's a predator. And I'm like, man, Smokey really like got that to catch on. <laughs> yeah, way too much. Jesus. <laughs> people love it people love spreading the gospel bro but it's not even like it's I mean, a joke it's, it's just a factual it, well ain't it deserved <laughs> ain't it deserved though oh it is oh so dude, dude now more deserved. than ever <laughs> now more than ever um thanks trash boat nearly choked queen on my coffee and coffee and bacon <laughs> listening to restaurant congrats you almost killed the queen well that's actually wild. Is that it must be must be around breakfast where Queen Amon's at. That's always a wild thing to think of the different time zones and all that. But I can't blame yeah. you because all of us here were dying when they were singing singing that Reshiram song. It was the best. That I think is good. Like he took the with all the other songs he sang, like the In the Air Tonight. That only solidified it. But that first Reshiram one, Queen Amon, that was one hundred percent what won uh what won old Justin the competition. Smokey, I can't tell you how excited Doom has been to show us that song. Oh, I the, know. Oh, I, I know. I've been waiting for Deadass a oh, year. A year. Amazing. <laughs> so cool. And it was worth it. It was worth the wait. It's before, crazy. Before, before Too Hot for Stupid, I think before Kiwi, you even had a channel. Me and me and Doom did a show. Uh, the Real Quick Podcast meant to lampoon Dylan Thomas and Rogue's podcast. <laughs> 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 and Doom told me about this then. 
And I still, that's the first time I ever heard about Justin RPG. And I'm just always like, every time Dooms told me about it, I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to look into that. You and I'm waiting that? for <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, it was the real quick because they had they had the Quickville podcast, yeah. and then that <laughs> went up in flames, and then and so we went off of uh, Chris Chan's other like quick themed uh, fictional town real yes. quick. Because they're like, real yeah, quick. let's make the real quick podcast, <laughs> and it was lit, and it was lit, and it's like I said, that's why a big part of that is why like like because that show with Doom, it just it, like I said, there's nobody I'd rather do this show with. Than Kiwi and Doom, and like having Doom on here most weeks literally always makes it so much fun. I'm telling you, like, like it's like I said, there's no one, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the way to say this, but like I said, like, Doom was always an honor to have you on here, and I, I don't feel like that's said enough because, like I said, the people love you, we love having you here, and thank you for always taking your time out and coming here and chilling. Hell yeah, bro. I always this, this is the squad, bro. This is the squad. <laughs> I love this. This feel like yeah. the this feel like the Migos. Of, uh, of, of no, fucking, don't like, say that. Cow commentary. Don't say that. <laughs> One of us will die. I fucking. Fine, lost I'll, my I call shit. being takeoff. I'll, I'll wow. do it for the homies. I no, cannot no. even believe that you guys did. That is that's savage. That I'm gonna have to go watch that. The the, the real quick podcast. Uh, the the real <laughs> quick podcast. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, let's see on my channel. It's the <laughs> it's the one where we go over Chris Chan's house. The yes, thumbnails like me, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at we're at like this. We're at the dump. <laughs> yeah. This is the two of us at the dump. We're like fighting off Sonichus. I'm like shooting like doom weapons and like Smokey <laughs> shooting lasers at Rosachu through his eyes. <laughs> You'll recognize Dude, it. That was good. We need good part trip. two. Wait, where's right? this part? Two? <laughs> well, we technically did. We had that low cow wrestling stream. Me and Doom did a few weeks ago. That stream. Oh yeah, good. yeah. That oh, one would count. God. That's crazy because I was just coming into like all the Quickville stuff, uh, like all the all the real like my knowledge of Chris Chan when like Dylan Thomas imploded and like all that stuff happened. So I always tell that story, bro. Back. The week before the Rogue interview, where like he made an ass out of himself in front of Rogue and different shit, uh, Dylan had come to my comments, and this is when I only had like seven thousand subs. But he was like, "Hey, you want to do a collaboration?" And I just swept that under the rug. I was like, "Eh." bro dylan wanted smoky to mod that debate yes. He, yes. Wanted he, wanted, him to mod. he wanted me to moderate the, the, the debate between him and rogue and like i said I, I would never because i would just be like no wait a minute here dylan let me ask a couple questions here so I'm like, you know, why? <laughs> like it never would have worked never would have worked i i, I would have loved to see it you just see like rogue roasting the shit out of dylan like rogue's girlfriend comes in gives him a sandwich he's like oh yes don't you miss it dylan having having a significant other bones on the verge of crying that was i just just imagine smoky in the background like like well high as fuck now i probably would have like i said i probably would have doubled down and been like nah come on that's not cool and heard a knock on my door oh miss miss smoky what's up oh my god some carne asada holy shit like wow (laughs) You, you guys are some lucky motherfuckers. I would have gone high for it. You kidding? I would have. I would have toked the hell up for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Miss Kiwi's only gonna knock on the door and be like, "Hey, you know, uh, we we got either there's a problem to fix or you know there's some bill to pay." You are some lucky sons of you get carne asada and sandwiches. Lucky of bastards. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Feeling LB. the tapest love tonight, Herb Gang forever. That's facts. Forever, forever. This, like I said, this community with how we're going, man. Like I said, just look towards the future, Herb Gang forever. That's the thing about Herb. You have it. Forever. Never goes away. It never goes mm-hmm. away. Yep. Trash boat. I think about Justin RPG like once a month. Absolutely my favorite harmless little cow. As long as you ignore his weird vor thing, dude just loves Reshiram. That's that's so and doom. I got it. So is he like? So he's not like a sicko or nothing. Other than that, he just has a weird fetish for Russia. He, he just has a lot of weird fetishes, like vor, uh, scat. You know, like some some gross shit for sure. But like, you see, this is where the disparity between someone like him and White Bowser comes in. Because if White Bowser was just on the internet talking about like, oh my god, I wanna, I I wanna <laughs> fucking Arcanine. I wanna fuck Kadabwa. You know, um, <laughs> no one would have cared. No one would have cared. 
you know, but like it had to be like real, it had to be real, like, like human cartoon little girls. And then he had to be harboring kids in his server and groping real women. So it's like, you know, it's nice to see someone like Justin who's just like, yeah, I want to fuck this Pokemon, but I'm not going to do any other weird shit. Just, just want to fuck this Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, all yeah, right. Yeah, him and Tamers, bro. Him and Tamers are great just because they, they just weird guys on the internet, weird, harmless little guys on the internet that are fun to watch. They're just cartoons, <laughs> yeah, just, guys. Because they out of pocket. It's cartoons. It's, cartoons. They, it's just cartoons. Do not be fooled. Just below the surface, surely. This is just an RPG. I don't know. People say I'm too critical, but I'm also uh, there's always going to be a vein to me when I see someone that like has has is so into like fucking a Reshiram. I feel like there's also something dark, you know. That I don't be. know. There has to be something really there. Um, I hope not. <laughs> I, hope, I hope. not I hope as well. Justin RPG be as transparent as they come. What we know is what he <laughs> is exactly <laughs> what's in his mind. <laughs> I think, yeah, he told us fucking, like, three times during every song what was in his mind. (laughs) Stingy! Holy shit, Stingy! Yeah! Dropping the 20 on the gang. Yo, Stingy! Always. A1, day one right here. Stingy been around for as long as I can remember, man. And again, like I said, if we can, if we ever get out to Australia, Doom, Kiwi, like I said, we're just gonna be riding around with Stingy, getting high as hell, bumping some some Club Doom Drift King and Stingy's sick-ass car. And it's going to be, like I said, that's when we know we've made it. That's when we know we've mm-hmm. made it. Yes. I'll have, you'll, you'll notice me. I'll have heavy facial reconstructive surgery. I'll look like a Bogdanov twin. Stingy. <laughs> when I go to meet you, I'm going to look like a Bogdanov twin. And I'm I'll be get wearing an MF Doom mask. I'll buy yeah. an MF Doom mask just for that. We're going to conceal our identities, but. But in cool ways. Us. If we walk Rose, up and look like Bogdanov. Our navels are like our human moth mouse. Gone. Huh. Hmm. What are navels? Well, now we know, Rosie. What's a navel? Uh, belly button, I think. Well, dude, I'm glad that it's uh, on to navels and no longer skin. <laughs> well, so I love this transformation, so. Rosie. Are you going to show them his deviant art doom, who Justin's? Oh, no, not yet. They ain't ready. Oh, they ain't yeah, ready. I don't think we're ready. No, no, we're ready. y'all ain't ready for Justin's Facebook posts, his DeviantArt posts, his fan fictions. You ain't ready yet. You ain't ready you for that. Worse than Yandere Dev's fucking fanfics about all kinds of fucked shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I, don't, I ain't I ain't watched that one yet, so I'm not sure how oh, much you've Yandere delved Dev. into Yandere Dev. He's, I'm I'm guessing pretty smart. deep. Uh yeah, I found I like I came on across some posts where he was like making very like incelly and threats towards people and then of course like he has this uh Twitter page and all these fan fictions about like rape and stuff, so it was pretty crazy. A lot of the stuff I couldn't put in the video. But um yeah, you know, it fucking if this guy is also going on about Reshiram, so it could be worse. <laughs> uh, oh, shotgun shit, shotgun man. man. Thank you, dude. We hella appreciate that. Shotgun man's always herping up people. Literally a pillar of herp gang. Um, I tell you something, I'm going to take this big old dab for you, shotgun man. It looks like you're a fan of, what's that, Full Metal Alchemist? I watched that back in high school, dude. And I gotta say, um, I watched, what was it? I watched both of them, Full Metal Alchemist and then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And the the first one was hella depressing, bro. Like, I remember watching it, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. It, it was one of the most depressing shows I'd seen at the time. Yeah. Uh, the second one was like, a little more it. lighthearted. They did, a, they did one that was like, more along the lines of like uh, I think the manga, and it was more lighthearted. But the first one was fucking brutal, dude. It had a crazy ending. I still need to watch it. I ain't ever seen Full Metal Alchemist yet. It's actually pretty good, if I remember. I was I was in high school, so it's been like a number of years. Um, but I I think the better one is Full Metal Alchemist Forever, if I remember correctly. I don't know, but that little I, I remember this scene. He's like totally blowing this chick up like a bunch it's crazy thank you shotgun <laughs> man that's my little tism Red- rant <laughs> <laughs> 
Reggie Giga Chad with the ninja. I mean, that's a, that's a cool name with the Reggie Gigas and Chad. And just, I mean, that's, that's a nice drawing of Reggie Gigas right there. So, Reggie Giga Chad, man, thank you for that. Yeah, we appreciate you, Reggie Giga Chad. <laughs> Hell Stay yeah. Away from Justin. Mike um, Pie, keep up the good work. Guys, love the content and how much the community has grown. Oh, by the way, Bowser's favorite NHL team is the Nashville Predators. That's right. Mike, I'm Mike counting Pye, that one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, that's like I said, I've said a million times before. His favorite kill streak in Modern Warfare 2 is the Predator missile. You know, he he loves he just loves this type of stuff, bro. And um, and yeah, I said Mike Pye, you're you're right on there with it, bro. You're hitting the nail right on the head. Oh, this is for Doom. Oh, rice balls with the five. What's he saying? Let's see. Doom, can you make a cover of this fire by Franz Ferdinand, but for Earl? Big ups. I would need to hear it, but <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I'm sure it's doable. If if there's Wix, I could probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you do your whole next song, Doom, just like that. Wheelicle Assassin. <laughs> 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 I'm a spiritual miracle for lyrical lyrical. <laughs> he can make so many things rhyme that the normal person couldn't. Yes, he can. So he has a cheat code to become a rapper, and he's not even. <laughs> what would his name be? Big Doobie. Uh, what's no, Lil Will... Balzy. Lil Balzy. Yeah, that's what the. Oh Will yeah, Koopa. I remember. Yeah, when, Lil when Balzy, he was getting money. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Lil Bowsy getting racks, fifteen hundred to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> Brickhead, thank you so much, my dude. We appreciate you becoming a tapist. Cascadia. Cascadia. This is one of the first Cascadia mm. uh, com- donations with an actual comment. I love to see that. Cascadia for the twenty. Virgin with Rage is not only the best local song cover; it's unironically a banger. Virgin with Rage is up there. Virgin with Rage is. is a very good one. But is it? A-U-T-I-S-M, autism, is also, like, as Chris just does the Backstreet Boys way better than the Backstreet Boys could ever do it. So, like, Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Why does he do Dream another Trip. album? He does. Uh, there was does. a second one. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it's called Comeback. One. Yeah, oh, that, there was a second one called Comeback. It wasn't as <laughs> good because he recorded it on his phone, I think. I'm disappointed tell. that there wasn't, like, a T. Grizzly, like, first day out. You know, they're still praying on my downfall. Well, These you trolls know, he are comes playing out on my downfall. Day. Yeah. <laughs> These trolls are playing on my downfall. They got the, they fucked with the quick stop, though. Like, you can do all kinds of things, dude. Me and the sauna shoes, I'll stand tall. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm These threatened, just I roll up in a out. little ball. <laughs> <laughs> we got to, yeah, it, it's settled. Uh, too high for stupid Club Doom rap album on the way. <laughs> oh here we go that's another one uh oh, yep yeah. i said i said thank you for that another earl doobie is a predator it's, it's always letting the gang know gotta be gotta keep them on their toes one of the laws of the universe that's right radon radon the goat quick Eight has a months. real hidden talent i wish he kept hidden <laughs> i don't know what would that be yeah would that be his diddling of elderly people a lot of things. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like eight months life. are done. Holy shit, eight months are done. Nice. Yeah, it, it, honestly, it's it really is the longest you can be a tapist. It used to be seven months, now it's eight months. He's, I think, one of the first, if not the first. It's crazy. Trollsta's Paradise is the best Chris song, hands down. There's a lot of good ones to pick from. It really oh, is. Oh, dude. There are. Yep. Trollsta's Paradise? It's a good one, too. I want to end on that. Go ahead, yeah. Check clamps basement on YouTube. Go hard tubes. Arrow is a predator. We'll have to look that one up next week, Ice Baby. But there's another one for Doom's list. Another Earl is a predator. Jesus. Yep. Thank you for that, Ice Baby. There's a trollster's yeah. paradise. Too. I can even I can even go on here, Kiwi, because I can see the messages a little bit. Rice balls. Listen to that quality mastering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris. <laughs> there's no one. No one does better audio engineering work than Chris and Cyrax. There's no doubt about it. But thank you for that, Rice Balls. We got we got Scream. We making it out of Quickville with this one. Well, that's facts. That's facts. Like we, the whole gang is making it out of Quickville. Those rough and tumble streets of Quickville, and we're all moving up in the world, all because of Chris's illustrious singing Scream. Exactly. That's right. We ain't gotta deal with the jerk ops anymore. Not no more. Not no more. 
That brickhead? Brickhead, greetings from across the pond. A massive fan of yours. Keep up the excellent work with a big Lenny emoji. Brickhead, man, love to hear that. Love to know that people in all parts of the world are enjoying the show. And just know, like I said, one day, hopefully, man, Too Hot for Stupid, do a tour. The Too Hot for Stupid tour will go all yeah. around the world. Try a bunch of, like, you know, try a bunch of crazy different, uh, like, like I don't know, what, what, like, food, then we Then drugs. we can go, we can go on our, our Tom Segura and Brett Kreishner meltdowns. Yeah, I was right? thinking, like... me and Kiwi, you guys are really kind of, like, missing the point here. Because, you see, this isn't, like, me and Kiwi's next plan, and I think even Doom's following up with us. We're all, we're all just trying to become the next Anthony Bourdain. And we're just gonna go. We're just oh, gonna boy. go around the world. We're just gonna go around the world trying <laughs> odd foods out and stuff. I was not expecting you to <laughs> say that. <to> you. <laughs> <laughs> then we all aspire to be more like Anthony. <laughs> oh, just saying, man. As always, if you're screaming, I'm creaming. Well, he was creaming, but you know, I don't think you were the only one here tonight, Sam, man. Because most of the people in the chat, when they heard the tunes, the the, the sultry tunes of these low cows, they were they were creaming right with you, man. Mm-hmm. What did I walk man. into, Jeff? This is gold. I assume this is around either. <laughs> I assume this is around either just an RPG time, or maybe around Chris time. Maybe uh, I'm just guessing the RPG. screaming Korean guy. Ah, uh, could be, could be. But also, White Bowser's a predator and a groper. Wow. Oh, okay. So we up to 15 now. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. We're doing pretty good here. We're, oh, we have so false, many more to read. Yeah, but we, that's what I'm saying. I, I got <laughs> these for you right god. now. A false god. false god. Thanks for becoming a new member, my friend. Hope you enjoy Kiwi's newest uploads. I know Kiwi's working on some good shit. Like, who, um, what was it you were just saying? Uh, well, hold, don't, don't say it. Let me remember the guy you were covering. Um. Fuck, I just had the name. I just had the name again. We already did DeAndre Dev. You just said you were covering a new person. Now I can't remember their fucking name. I'm doing name. Cobra's Mead. Oh, Cobra's Mead. God damn yeah. it. I was thinking of a new lol cow. No. I, I wasn't thinking of something with one of the guys you already covered. I, th- I think I'm going to do the human pet Tumblr guy afterwards. He's Fair. interesting. That sounds pretty good. Um, Pretty good. Yeah, a lot of, I got never heard stuff. of that. Oh, he's Jay character. Smoke. Let me pull up a picture of him. But Doom, this one's for you. J Smoke says, "A Club Doom, any tips for upcoming artists?" Oh, um, let's see. Any tips? Uh well, I guess the biggest tip would be to uh, become self-sufficient. I I remember when I was in high school, and I and I was telling my mom, "Hey yo, I want to be a rapper when I grow up." She was like, I bet. And the first thing she did was like give me a whole bunch of brochures and like pamphlets for colleges with audio engineering programs. She said, if you finna do that shit, you're going to learn to compose. You're going to learn to produce your own beats. So you ain't dropping like two hundred, three hundred dollars on every beat for every song. You're yeah. going to be able to do your own. You ain't going to waste no money on studio time. So like become as self-sufficient as you can. Learn your music theory. Learn your production, mixing, mastering, recording, all that shit. Learn as much of that shit as you can and be as self-sufficient as you can. Because the labels, at the end of the day, uh, those are just very, very sketchy bank loans. Label like Signing to a label is basically just a loan with a very sketchy bank at the end of the day. So like, that's, my, that's my biggest tip to anyone trying to break into music. Be as self-sufficient as humanly possible. There's tons of tools out there to learn, and uh, and you know that like like most of the songs I've made, I have just made in my office that I have sound treated with uh, my own equipment and my own production skills. Nice, and that I think that like right there, I don't know nothing about music right there, but that at least tells me, you know. If I ever wanted to, like Doom's saying right there, you got to know how to do it first. Don't just jump into it and buy a bunch of shit you think's going to make you a... Like like Cyrax. Like Cyrax. Like, oh, I need a fucking big boy wheel to become a, a grand racer. It's like, well, maybe you should learn how to fucking drive first, you know? Um, and I, I maybe that's not the best, like, example, but I, I know what Doom's saying 100%. Yeah. I'll, also, with that in mind, get an audio interface and an XLR mic. I've seen... with. Like, including racks, I've seen so many people think they can just buy a dinky little USB mic, a toy, pretty much, and, like, be like yo, I, I can do this music shit. Nah, if you, wanna, if you want to make, like, some quality music, get yourself a good, like, uh, audio interface, like, Focusrite makes good shit. 
uh, and get yourself a good condenser mic. I could use tips for that even because I want like I just use a fucking simple. I know that I could do better for my audio quality. I might have to hit you up on how to like properly set up a mic. Oh yeah, bro. There's there's a there's a lot of stuff that I can show as well as just like uh, point you towards. There's a channel called uh, SBN Three. And he used to go by Soul Brother. He's got a whole series on how to be an online voice actor, but you can use his tips for like so much other shit. And like it's it's like great foundational information. Nice. Yeah, I I mean Doom, like I said, Doom's just giving people tips here on how to make some lit music like him. If you're an inspiring musician, man, like I said, this show couldn't be better for you tonight. Exactly. Exactly. You learned so much from all these Honestly, we only had one talented musician, and that's Doom. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. That's true. Yeah, um, the community's lucky to have Doom. You know, he's uh oh, like again, every week I feel like I can come back to y'all with more anime knowledge. Like I said, I've been playing through that that One Piece game, and I've now found out that the skeleton guy is not only a skeleton but a musician. Yes, so Doom is technically the skeleton guy of this community. I completely agree. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He called you Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, yes. Joe, you're at work right now, bro. Well, this was sent a few hours back, so I hope you're out of work now. But if you're still there, man, I hope you're enjoying the show. And just yeah, man, have a good day. And when you're done, you know, you can just kick back, relax, and know that you know work's in the rear view for today. Now you can chill. Club Brooks. Club, Club Brooks. Brooks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I'm blue. Hell yeah. Oh, you know it, dude. Yeah, you're blue. Uh, the one after that, I think it's like uh, for a year. It's like this crazy like golden color. But I have some better ideas for ones beyond that. The ones beyond that are kind of just placeholders. I'm excited. I've always loved those little uh, signs because it's I would know who's like seasoned. Yes, I, that's, th- I just got the ukuleles. Someone sent me the ukuleles and that's what I've been using as my... Uh... As my membership badges. Mm. Yeah, those are tight. I like them. Yeah, I like the little ukulele too. I'm suing Cobra for slander on Lander. behalf of me. Can't blame you for that, <laughs> JD. Can't blame you for that. You know, Kratos probably enjoyed his mead and seeing what Cobra's doing to it is just a travesty. Yeah, dude. JB is not about that shit that Cobra Not about it mead. one bit. <laughs> you should have a Gen Xer on panel sometime. Haha, <laughs> happy Thor's Day. I mean, we're we're all Gen Xers. What do you mean? I, I believe that's the case. Yeah, <laughs> we're all yes, we're all yeah. proper Gen Xers. <laughs> I <laughs> remember like imposter mom. vibes. I'm actually a baby boomer. I'm like <laughs> 65. Yeah, analog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Times yeah. like these make me miss being deaf. <laughs> we'll replay nah. this moment. <laughs> Feel an alchemist is like fuck Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, feel an alchemist. I'm glad you're actually able to hear for the rest of the show. So I hope you enjoyed it, my friend. Oh my goodness! That's look crazy. at Chris. Look at Chris and his people were saying. I think it was stingy. You said it looks like a Cabbage Patch Kid member for three months. Serial the Black Dragon. Fucking goat right there. Bro, I just realized there's someone who is either a Michael Jackson poster or someone who looked like Michael Jackson in the background. Like right it is a Michael Jackson face. poster, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I don't think that's, that's that a threw Michael me Jackson. off guard. That's Dude, I Michael. was cracking up. I was watching. I was rewatching <laughs> the league. The league today. You guys ever watched? It's not the a league? Michael Jackson poster. That's totally Michael Jackson, Gooey. It's totally Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, if you guys ever watched the show, The League, about the fantasy football league. Uh, no. Oh no, I <laughs> have it's one of the best scenes is like the guy's explaining to him and he's like, he's like, look, he's like, I will be your Whitney Houston. The other guy's like, yeah, rest in peace. He's like, what? Whitney died? Yeah. When? Uh, just a few years ago. Oh, how's Michael Jackson taking this? <laughs> it's just one of the, I don't know why that scene always cracks him the fuck up. <laughs> That'd be great. Well, like, Jeff's just cracking the, the fuck up apparently too. <laughs> yeah, I'm crying right now. Crying. Hope you enjoy oh. Jeff. Hope it's a good cry. You know, it's kind of like when, uh, that's another one of my favorite things when Bowser's crying in the first episode of 110 and Liquid Chris is like, well, I mean, this is great. Mr. Bowser's crying tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> People love is that. that yeah. Is that around my favorite Kiwi quote of all time? Is it true? Oh. <laughs> Bowser is to Wawa oh, uh, 15. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's all in one goated. stream. One, one, of the, one of the most fascinating streams. I'll go back and watch. I have to go back and watch that. I really do. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's some 
honestly, there's some moments where I wish like I knew the whole story and done more research. Yes, it could have but just I mean, been... what could you have done? What could you have yeah, done? There wasn't right. it all spilled out months afterwards. There was really oh. nothing more to know. Yeah, he was just like fucking. Uh, there were a couple times there where he really could not handle the truth. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Imagine hitting a DMT cart while watching the screen, oh dude. You'd be fucking tripping dick. Oh, my God. You wouldn't even know what the... That would be, yeah. That would be a trip and a half. And I hope, if anyone did that tonight, hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you Joe the Rogan's stream. enjoying the stream. Oh, know? Joe Rogan's definitely enjoying the stream. He's in his isolation tank. He just took five big hits of Mexican toad venom, and he's watching the stream. That's what I heard, at least. That's the way you, know. you do it, though. That's the only way to watch two hot stupid. <laughs> yeah, you got... <laughs> a hot single in your area. Doom, you have a wonderful singing voice. That's facts. And that's oh, facts. thanks. Thanks. I have I have worked hard on it. I am classically trained, so I'm so I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> Psycho with the 50 oh, Ninja? The nice. 50 Ninja from Psycho? Dude, this is what I alluded to earlier, Psycho Man. You already dropped love on the chat, and then you do this, man. Just thank you. Thank you so goddamn much. Always being a goat, always here with the gang. And we just love you, Psycho Man. Thank you for always being here. Is there any statement you would like to make, Psycho? I, I hope that you're still here in the chat, dude. We hell appreciate you. Yeah. Is there anything that you'd like to tell the people? Anything that you'd like to say to anybody? You just want to get off your chest. I have a feeling I know what it's going to be. So hopefully, yeah. Psycho <laughs> yeah. uh, I will keep an eye out, Psycho. Yes. We held well, thank you. you well, thank you, friend. He's a goat. Um, Blue screens oh. crashes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Blue screens. Blue screens crash. What a great. That was such a great song. Such a great song. <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to more of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, they all great. There's so many, too. Hey, Spiral, Spiral dropping two on the gang. Thank you, Spiral. Always here in chat. I see you always either type in your green heart smoke or key gl- gl- or a green heart kiwi emoji. Always love to see you here, my friend. Black flame to light my green smoke. <laughs> God, I knew the drum fill was coming and it still killed me. This is the best two after stupid in a while. <laughs> Big <laughs> boys. Yeah, I tried with them bongos. I tried. So they're, they're all types of fucked up now. I, I, fucking smack the shit out of them bongos they're oh, old man. as hell that was yeah I, i've had a guy i had so much fun this, this oh tonight was one of the more <laughs> fun episodes of two after school where we don't have to talk about a bunch of pedophiles and shit yeah yeah, yeah just some pedophiles and people music. dying and yes and, th- and yeah. dogs getting thrown yep i'd imagine this one like of the funner that. episodes I'm surprised because I'm fast. I feel like a piece of shit because I'm fascinated by stuff like that. And oh, no I know. I like think the whole chat is too. I think everyone's fascinated by it, but it's good to have a lighthearted stream every now and again. Oh, yeah. Having to talk about the the disgusting acts of one only using a blade or one white Bowser or one Cyrax or one Daniel Larson. You know, I just I just thank God when I go to when I go to bed at night and I pray. I thank God that Necky Big Hands is gone. That's I just am so happy. That's. The only reason I wanted soul. her to stick, only reason I wanted her to stick around, is because she was slowly but surely starting to try to get Blade to start drinking again. She was. She yeah. Was. Yeah. She so now with her going, he's he's really going to try his sobriety. And like I said, for for what it's worth, I mean, good. Hope he'll hopefully he becomes sober. I don't I don't want to. Like I said I don't want to see Blade just fucking. I don't want to watch him on stream like just straight up die. I know other people oh, feel differently, but like the thing to me is. It's like now he gets to wallow in this sense of like he wonders where all his viewers went. He wonders where his community's at. There's a reason why you're only pulling like 200 viewers on a stream of you building a PC rather than pulling like a thousand when you're getting shit faced drunk and screaming the N word everywhere. And he understands why that's not the case, but fucking idiot. I don't like, you know, honestly, before the most recent, like, dog tossing of uh, Willie death incidents, like, I was just like, oh, you know, because I don't think that he uh, did anything to Gucci's personally. I like, I don't think that he could have physically. I, I think he's too drunk. I think he's like too big of a guy. I don't think he could do it. I, I spooky has gone. He's like, I know. <laughs> he's like he definitely we well, you know i gotta I, hear from him for like the rest of the year he's yeah. like i can't i can't we, he was like, talking I've already had bullshit. two strikes man 
Yeah, I, I think that there's some very fucked up shit that Blade's done, but the most recent stuff's the most fucked up. So I don't care if in Minecraft he dies. I don't care in Minecraft if he does, you know, in hardcore mode. Unsavable. Delete your save. Yep. <laughs> Let's see here. Spiral that's Mountain a- goes Spiral Mountain. Yep. Spiral oh, Mountain go. That's the perfect analogy, guys. You guys can, and when you're trying to refer to so you can just be like, it's Minecraft hardcore mode. Like, he deleted his save. You know, like, that's a great analogy. Yeah. I fucking love that. Just like this one. Spiral Mountain goes Spiral Mountain, baby. That's how it is. Thank you, CJ, so, for reminding us how that goaded song went, because that was song of the night, in my opinion. <laughs> so, Doom, you, you knew that it was just going to sit there and play that yeah. for, like, two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a sadist. <laughs> Great stream, dude. I'm baked. Bacon I'm sludged out. out. Sludge. I'm glad oh, you enjoyed it, dude. I'm bacon sludged out. You got the uh, you got a dog on on the thing with a hat on. That's a great picture. That's that a, great a great picture. picture. Be my cat. That's like he's a captain. You know, he's the captain That's right. of the ship. Um, That's the hat that Johnny Somali was wearing when they slapped it off his head. <laughs> Y'all are racist. <laughs> Yeah, y'all raises, raises. That's what I was saying. I'm like, that's gonna be his last words. Is he like, y'all are racist? Him, stabs him right in between his ribs for like all his racism. <laughs> Rip Beck Berlin. Have they listened to Al Sultan by Foodie Beauty yet? No. Oh, 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 I didn't even know Foodie Beauty did music. See, this seemed tonight like a male only competition. So you know, maybe we'll have to look into more of the female locales next time we do one of these. That's right. I didn't even think of that. We didn't think about the bitch with the ukulele who made the apology video. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, the toxic Damn. gossip train. Uh huh. So that's all for next time, then. I think. Yeah, we might have to do a female division. Dude, honestly, fucking <laughs> that that'd be amazing. That'd be this amazing. is a pretty. This is a pretty sexist show. I will be honest. <laughs> We've never, we've never wanted a female guest, nor have we ever really, I don't think, covered a female ever on this show. Have we? I would say that that makes us progressive. Kind of like we're Cobra? Progressive show. Kind of like Cobra is? Uh, like that arbitrary... Yeah, we're, we're here every day fighting for gender equality. That's, That's right. what the stream's about. I cover Playmate Tessie every now and then. Does that count? <laughs> uh, yeah. Playmate Tessie and Foodie Beauty, my favorite female lol cows. They she fucking funny. Looks- so fucking weird. So weird. Tessie? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's that's because she and pumped who, her face full of silicone. All the time that are like, oh, don't <laughs> lie. Don't lie. You'd fuck her. And I'm like, I wouldn't fuck her with Cyrax's dick. I wouldn't. Like, are you serious? That bitch looks fucking weird. And she don't shower. Yeah. Ew. What? Ew. Yeah, Playmate Tessie don't shower. Her dad, who sound like Dark Side Phil whenever he gets mad, like, was complaining to her about it on the phone the one time. It's like, oh, you don't ew. have a job. You don't shower. Dude. Ew. No. Fuck. That, that bitch sucks. That bitch just sucks all over. No. 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 Fuck her. <laughs> I think you secretly like her, Smokey. Oh, With me? All dude, this yeah, stain you're showing. I, yeah, I, I love her lips that look like four or five pieces of Hubba Bubba What's Chewing she, Gum. I gotta see what this bitch looks like. Oh, Playmate Tessie. Yeah. Playmate Tessie is hilarious. Smoke. I love the one when someone called her a zero, like, you know, because that, that rating system out of 10 shit. Someone called her a zero. She geeked the fuck out, broke her glass cup on her desk, took some scissors, and, like, stabbed the fuck out of her couch screaming. She's a streamer? Yeah. She's what she got. She rose to prominence. Oh, really my God. Something about someone with a cancer patient. It's her? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, her dad was like weeping. He's like, "This is disgusting." Oh yeah, she's had some work. Yeah, Maybe she's been be beefing with Metal Gear Rax recently. Wow, that was a, that, this, that's a thing. If Playmate Tessie wants to come onto this show and debate me on why she sucks, she's always welcome <laughs> to do so. Yeah, that's the perfect way to remedy this problem. Smoke. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne you all Dude. are wrong. The sampling yeah. of the AVGN audiobook biography made on <laughs> is the best local song of all time. I've never even late. heard of that. That sounds amazing. Oh. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Jesus Christ. Another banger uh, episode. Keep up yeah. the good work. We will, Kenny. We will, brother. 
Thank you for enjoying it, my friend. Remember for five months. Fucking goat. Uh, I gotta find some Justin. Yeah, dude. Yes. And I'll try to have one out by like next week for y'all. I mean, shit, it could be depending on what I do the next few days. I could start just working on it right now. So you have been really like fucking getting content out, dude. It's impressive. I've been trying. I've been trying more than usual this past week or so. I'm jealous, dude, because like I will just sometimes I'll just be like, man, do I really want to watch Cobra make me? Right no, that's exactly how it is. That's why it's all been new guys like Chibi and like Johnny Somali, because I can't st- I can't do any more Cyrax stuff. Yeah. I just can't. Yeah. It, it does. It does burn out after a while. That's uh-huh. for sure. Fun machine. You guys are making my work day bearable. Oh, fun so, machine, man. I'm glad. I always love hearing that. Always love hearing that. And I hope you had a good day at work and hopefully it's done soon. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much, Fun Machine. Not fair. Curious how a conversation between White Bowser and New Jack as the Grim Reaper would go. <laughs> white Bowser talking to TV saying, Bowser, you white motherfucker. <laughs> you little pedophile ass, fucking degenerate ass, bullshitting little. And he would call him a bunch of slurs too, most specifically the F slur a lot. And Bowser would be like, New Jack, New Jack. I have a disabled mother. Earl, I'm about to turn you into Vic Grimes, boy. No, 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 please, please, please. New, new, new Jack, new Jack, new Jack. Please, no, no, Jack. I have a friend named Jack. His name is Jack Amaka One. I used to do the gaming CNM with him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Bro, you guys are need, related. We need a, a, we need a Cow wrestling match. <laughs> we need a Lol Cow wrestling match of like tag team Cow Wrangler and New Jack just, just versus Bowser. I, if there was more weapons and you could be more violent in WWE, I'd throw New Jack in there, but it just doesn't fit him. Like, without, like, falling off of rafters and, like, doing a bunch of crazy bullshit, it's tough to add New Jack to WWE. <laughs> yeah, because it all seems Dude. out of character. Yes. Ariel always... says they... Oh, no, go by there. Keep it going. I always thought that the other Pokemon from the that generation was cooler, the black one. Oh, Zekrom? Yeah, I thought he was I was cooler. wondering that, too. So, like, is he jealous of Zekrom? I think it's that Zekrom's more like male, has more male features, even though yeah, like that's they're what I was genderless. Say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's what it boils down to. Because when I see Reshki Ram, I'm like that. That looks like a dude Pokemon. You know, it's not like a Jinx or you. you know, like... Reshiram, Reshiram. Between Reshiram and Zekrom, I think Reshiram gives the more. Uh, it, it's easy to point out which one's supposed to be the female, and which one's supposed to be the male. Because Zekrom just fucking. I think oh, it'd no. be funny if he was uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen some uh, Justin RPG fanfics about Zekrom. He usually oh, yeah, has yeah, like a picture around. accompanying him. And I, I feel like I remember seeing Zekrom in some of them. Zekrom yeah. just comes in and, and Lena the plugs um, fucking yeah. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Reshiram uh, Ranch? <laughs> Reshiram Ranch? <laughs> <laughs> 18 naked Pokemon yeah. down in the Pokeballs in the Pokemon Center at Ram, Re- Resha Ram, Big, Ram. Ram. Big 12 inch Pokey flutes. Like. Pincers and scissors waiting to be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Ursarings and Tyrannosaurs waiting to be fucked. <laughs> Dittos at the showers at Ram Ram. Of course, Smokey knew the term. Oh, here we go. Of course, Smokey knew the term Pokephilia. Let's not forget his famous Vapurion speech, right? I got me there. But now, the only reason I knew the term Pokephilia is because Justin RPG said it in that first song, and that made me lose it because I've never heard someone describe that as Pokephilia before. And that is the perfect way to describe it. Oh, you just threw you just threw fire on that rumor right there, bro. Oh no, bro! Like I said, no. But if people really want to know the truth, you know, I've been I've been writing books on that for years now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, that was amazing, dude. <laughs> you can find me on uh, what's what's one of those degenerate uh websites that like the weirdos write on? Like um, let's see, DeviantArt. DeviantArt. Okay. Like you can find one. me on DeviantArt at at Vaporeon Lover One or my other account at Earl Doobie. Dude, that was just a hyper specific thing for him, that guy to type into the AI to make you say. Was very <laughs> you must give your give your ditto or save the children. Oh, oh shit. I forgot we're still on this one again. 
Yeah, the, yeah, this is still this early in the weird stream. episode. Damn. <laughs> We've got on off on some weird tangents today, Dinkster. It's probably mostly my fault. Um, Gwen K, what's up, gang? Almost cut my thumb off on Monday. That's yeah. that, that's always that's always just, just keep yourself together, Gwen K. You know, sometimes yep. life wants to cut you down, but you gotta fucking just tell them fuck you. No, you're Gwen K, and you're gonna be here, mm-hmm. and, and that's that. And sometimes it ain't it ain't horrible to be a Ninja Turtle person, you know? You only need fucking... Your, you really only need your thumb and a couple of the fingies. So, you know, uh, it, it unless is you want to play video games. Yeah, that is video. true. Well, it depends but, on the game. I've seen, I've seen people with no hands, like, pull off, like, combos I can only dream of in King of Fighters. Mm. But, like, that, that's, that's with an arcade stick. I just think it'd be, it'd like... Gwen K disrespected the Yakuza. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> this lady is killing my brain c- Oh, this is killing my brain cells. Here's five bucks from Lady the Squirrel. <laughs> well, hopefully your brain cells were able to, to bring themselves back to life for an end of the show here now, Lady the Squirrel. But um, yeah, thank you for the five, homie. I'm sorry that we extorted you with terrible low cow rap. <laughs> Fun, Fun machine. machine. <laughs> After riding Moltres to rescue Reshiram, work is even more unbearable, but I'm doing it because I love the show. I'm sorry to make your work day less less fun, my friend, but I hope that uh, I hope that the after effects of Tony Chase talking about his dick being burned helped you a little bit. Can you imagine just like <laughs> you trying to work and this is buzzing in your ear? <laughs> oh yeah, no, the end of that song oh, was fucking God. hell. Philly B for the wood. Thank you, Philly B, for the one buff out with that awesome, awesomely drawn picture of Squirtle. Hell yeah. It's a really Pokemon-based episode tonight. Holy shit. <laughs> Genova's J Cream album was amazing, dude. Oh, that's oh, another that's... one. Fuck. Yeah, we... You know the flavor? And there's tons we can look into now for a second edition of this. It would be fucking lit. Natalie Portman. That's my baby. <laughs> oh, it's amazing, dude. Thanks, JB. I think we skipped that all the dubs that streamed. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, we did. (laughs) Goodbye to all the dubs that streamed head died on me. Goodbye to all the Larsons that raffed on me. Goodbye to all the chances that raced. (laughs) Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was such a good song, though. Such a good song. (laughs) Oh, God. Psycho Mantis gifting another 10. Oh, my God, Psycho, bro. You're acting like a psycho tonight, bro. This is just raining down the herp on a gang like this. But you know what? I'm pretty sure the homies enjoy it. I know we all enjoy it here, man. Thank you for that hypo. Bro, or hypo? No, Psycho. <laughs> hypo. He is Hypo yeah. Mantis. I just, I just mixed up the words Hypo, uh, Hyper, and I think the Pokemon Hypno because we're still talking about Pokemon. Dude, this this guy is like herped up like fifty people tonight. He's a maniac. He's not yeah. gonna stop. He's a serial herpist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chicago peep owner. I love how the one thing in the PKA community that Woody is the Ram the Gold Man that everyone clowns on. Dude, I've been watching Woody's gamer tag videos since back when him and Wings were like good friends. When obviously Jesus made like a bunch of digs at Woody's disabled son. And it's just wild to see how big PKA has gotten. Dude, I swear to God, the only saving grace of that show is Taylor and the guest. Yeah. I think that I think that Taylor and Wendigoon should just go off and start their own fucking podcast. Well, like I, said, I, I used to watch that show when Lefty was on it, and they used to talk about actual Call of Duty things, considering the name of the show is a Call of Duty reference. So, yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, to think that it's all hosted on like Woody's channel. I am I do not like Woody. <laughs> oh, Woody. Woody, he's always like, I oh, well, actually, much into guys. Them. Oh I just God. I just know Wings as the only uh Call of Duty um mm. lol cow. Well you'd probably remember you'd probably remember FPS Kyle, who used to be FPS Russia. I'm convinced. Oh yeah, he is I remember him. Demon, bro. Yeah. He's he, like the Antichrist Kyle, just the way he talks. He's soulless, bro. He People don't give a fuck about him. nothing. Yeah. People referring to him as Kyle is so weird to me because I still just prefer to him as FPS Russia. Like, yeah. Same. People started calling him Pyle because he Gained a little weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I've Thank been you. really enjoying them. Yeah, lately. Uh, also, shout out to Shitcock McPee Boner, just because like, uh, he drew 
uh, the evals on the Stoner Cookbook cover oh, art. That's what's up, dude. Yeah. You couldn't have yeah, picked he's a the goat. artist. <laughs> Shit, cock big pea butter. Is that, yeah, what he, is that what he goes by? John Exterman. I've been single for too long now. Too long. Women have been nasty over the years. Real nasty. Great show tonight, guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that, John. Man, yeah, you know the 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 love quest for most people can be a, a, a tenuous one. What's the word? A strenuous. It's it can be it can be a bitch. It can be an absolute bitch. But there's always someone out there for somebody, brother. You're gonna find them. Mm-hmm. You start as a virgin with rage. But then you find a cute girl your age. Yes. Let's Just all make sure she's Michael Jackson age. in the background watching you. Yes. Yes. Make sure she's of age, consenting, alive, alive, non-related. alive. non-related. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will things. never forget when Abba and Preach like fucking found that video. <laughs> and they're like, this is the state of America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Abba and Preach, the fucking like commentary guys beefing with like H three. And they just, I just remember seeing on their channel one day, like a, a thumbnail with Cobra on it. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the apocalypse is here. The seventh yeah. seal has been broken. <laughs> Spiral uh, is a great name for a mountain goat. It is. I agree. It is. The perfect name. The perfect name. Auburn, you have smoke. I made you an art and would like to get it into your possession. I just added you on Twitter, but there's a better way. I'd love to know. It's stream safe, I swear. Well, I'll have to check that out as soon as I'm done the stream here, my friend. I'll uh, I'll go check Twitter, go check everything, and that is the perfect way to send it to me. So thank you so much for that. And I should also say, if any of you guys are on Twitter, and because a lot of you have sent me stuff to send to Kiwi before, you can even send that to me there, too, and I'll, and I'll forward it over to Kiwi. Yeah, same. I'm I need also to get on the, the Twitter, Twitter started. Yeah, I don't. Granted, I'm not the biggest fan of the Twitter timeline. I commented mm. on like one video of like uh, about the lootings going on in it. Philly. Yeah, it was like some lootings be going on in Philly. I I made one comment being like, uh, probably not the best to do it at an Apple store because they'll probably just crank up their DRM protocol. Uh, and now all of a sudden, just because of that one comment, Twitter thinks I'm like an alt rightist. And like <laughs> shoving all these goddamn accounts down my throat, I was like, "Bro, I just wanted to, I just wanted to comment one thing about like DRM." You, like you said damn. that. You said that. We know what you love now. Here's Nick Fuentes. Here's Nick no. Fuentes for you. Yeah, that's what they fucking do. I was like, "Twitter, stop, stop." <laughs> I don't know, I just Club Doom. Memes. I think they have the right idea. I think they have the right idea. You fascist. You fascist. <laughs> You're a fascist. Let me eat my burrito. Uh, it's all right them. guys it's all right i'll just uh i'll just sing about how i'm sorry to a fat kid with like a some rock in his belly button and a pink shirt and uh, it'll to... be okay yes i, I am we... referring that's... to steven universe <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up i think kiwi brought it up earlier that we're not a political podcast but i think we need to do a podcast looking into every local's political ideologies That'd be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> like, would Tony's be would be crazy. Tony'd be somewhere oh, weird. Yeah. But real, we'll talk about that another time. Really, D. Smokey, love your videos. Kiwi, love your videos. I'll show my support every time I catch y'all live. Well, thank you, oh, Billy thank D. you, D. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm glad you're loving the videos, and just thank you so much for supporting the stream, my friend. We always appreciate you guys stopping by. It's always hell yeah. We need Isaiah. Kiwi to do an encore <laughs> spiral mountain. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. Yes. Not, not, not on your life, Isaiah. <laughs> Bob Ross of Burn Dictum. Thanks, Q. He is. He is. Tony paints pictures of the satellite man sending lasers down to burn his cock, and then that will be some art I will buy. Yeah, I'll buy that shit up too, dude. Mm-hmm. I kind of spaced out there for a minute, but I'm concerned with what I just agreed to purchase. <laughs> We're going to purchase pictures of satellite man burning Tony Chase's dick that Tony draws himself. Oh, that's worth, worth it. Yeah, opinion. right. That's so worth it. T. Annie, thank you. Seven months, my dude. Sent you a uh, J Cream Tune link on Discord. Mm. Like we were saying, we're gonna have to get to more of these locales in another because this this episode tonight was so fun. There's obviously gonna be a part two to this. For real, it's it's too good. Um, Isaiah, did I miss, I miss Smash? No. <laughs> no, we didn't actually play Smash doing the DK rap, mm. which I think that's still up. One guys, for those following Smash, I have some awful news. Apparently, that Dib Rose account. Uh, that had like a lot of archived smash freakouts 
Apparently he was a sicko, got caught in 4K by Lyle Convoy, and has now deleted his channel. I looked That's... into the Senate to see if anyone got like uh, a, a new archive channel running, and uh, there's a guy who goes by like something Resident Evil 4. I'll have to look into it again, but yeah, that's, that's it's the worst. a damn shame. It's always the worst when that shit happens, bro. I know. It does suck, but hopefully the archive will be back up soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So glad I finally get to watch the podcast when I'm not at work. Thanks for the good times, guys. Thank you, Tavi, Tavi, Tavi. I mean, honestly, like I said, it's always uh, we always like doing it on different nights too because it lets more people who don't have work on Wednesdays watch the show. And like I said, one of these days we're gonna figure out if there's a better time for everyone. But for right now, Wednesdays work for me and Kiwi. Um, mm. so yeah, yeah, I think Wednesdays are good too. Sir Bum Burn the ninety the sixty ninth. Welcome, dude. You're a tapist. Thank Hopefully you, sir. I'll have Bum. videos up for you guys here in a couple days. Um. Noble, thank you for the twenty dollars super sticker. It's a shame we still can't throw them up, but I yeah, fucking bullshit. hella appreciate it. Yeah, well, Noble, we appreciate it. That's exactly what Kiwi just said. And I imagine that sticker looked cool as fuck. And just thank you for the support, my friend. We always appreciate it. Uh, Vibe Master Flex been here three months. Who's all favorite slash least favorite cow to cover? Least favorite cow to cover these days is probably Rax. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Favorite cow to cover these days probably Larson. I've been really enjoying Airsoft Fatty. Yeah, you you've been liking Fatty. I've noticed that. Um, mm-hmm. For me, it, it's it's Larson. It always used to be Cyrax. It really was. It was always Cyrax. But anymore, it's just become like, you know, it's tough yeah. with it. So oh, yeah. that used cracking, to be all I do. Was yeah, Rax. YouTube's been cracking down on Cyrax related videos, or really any video that has a bunch of hate speech in it. And I mean, Cyrax, whenever he's live, is mainly just spewing hate speech. So unless you censor <laughs> yeah. everything in the video, you can't put out a video. Yeah, it's tough. I know. I know who my favorite and least favorite cow be. They the same person. Low tier god. Oh, he my least good. favorite mm. because it very risky. He's very uh, he's docs happy. He's a uh, strike happy. He's a very censorship happy man. Yes, but uh, but he also my favorite because he has some of my favorite goddamn rages on all oh, of the so internet. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're so good. like the. The the blue trapped bubble one, the you know, the you should do no no now. That one's yeah. goaded. The the softball game, that one's goaded. The bedtime story. Oh my god. I was I haven't on seen the any board. of these. Really? The, yeah, Kiwi, no, one I of haven't. these days I'm gonna have to show you them. They're fucking They're amazing. So, yeah. Low Tier God has like, like the god most one. elaborate rages. That's that's the I'm fun excited. of LTG rages. It's not like Cyrax and other people where they just like scream and say stupid shit. He comes up with like these elaborate storylines that with like a, <laughs> it, a rising action, a climax, a falling action. All the, it, it it feels like it feels like you're listening to a radio show, and then and then at the very end he hits you with the plot twist that it was all a ploy to bang your mom, <laughs> 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 and he gets very graphic with it too, and it's like wow, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> that's it. That's the. I would love to cover low tier god more if he wasn't so like strike happy because his community will go in false flag videos too. Yeah, yeah, it's a fu- It's um, fucked up. Would you but, all ever consider doing a cord kitty episode? He's a weird furry lol cow. Thanks for the amazing content. Have to look him up. We'd have to look him up. Yeah, first. I've heard. Yeah, some I don't stuff. know much about him, but I I could look that up. I have heard some stuff. None of it is good. Jesus, um, he's like a. What's the other? Zoo file, like Caro the Wolf type. Yeah, I think so. Noble, thank you so much for the hundo dog. First no, time holy tuning shit. in. Yeah, they gave a twenty earlier yeah, too. You That's just insane. Dropped twenty super Ooh. sticker, then you drop this. First time tuning in. Absolutely love you guys. Noble, I'm just happy you enjoying the stream, my friend. I can't thank you enough for that. Obviously, I don't think Kiwi or Doom, no one. We can't thank you enough for that generous of a donation. But we're just happy that you love the show this much. And just so you and the whole gang knows, like I said, we ain't going anywhere. Every week we're gonna be here. Some new too high for stupid for y'all. And we hope you guys just are here with the journey with us, man. Fuck yeah, Noble. We can't thank you enough. And uh, I, I hope that you fucking get to tune in more often. We're going to probably keep it Wednesdays for now, but maybe start sooner. I don't know yeah. when you talk about that, because starting sooner is actually like working out pretty good today. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. it really does. It really does. We'll have, to, we'll have to think on that, Noble. Hopefully we are able to open up our schedule to some more people. Thank you so much once again. 
Rexo, just barely missed the show. Have a great night. Well, Rexo, oh. you were here for a good part of it, man. I hope you enjoyed it. But you all, we always see you here, Rexo, and we know next week you'll be right back here, able to enjoy the whole thing. So thank you for that, you goat. Fucking four months, man. That's lit. I'll have it uploaded to the archive by the end of the night, my man. That's the key. We always working hard right there, man. Gotta love it. Pinard, I'm a new viewer and I like it a lot so far. By the way, Tony doesn't actually say the N-word. He just says the N-word. Yeah. Please watch the Fang Sinatra part. Oh. Well, I think each week, each week we can look more and more into that interview. Like every week yeah. before, like another like 10, 15 minutes of it. That'd That's be a, a good, good idea. Yeah. That is. And that way, y'all can get a chance to like filter out anything you think yes, might get struck. right, right. Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. Prod goop, yo, been long a long time, time lurker. lurker, but this stream was great. I had to show some love. Well, thank you for that, Prod goop. I know a lot of you guys just like to watch, don't really like to talk in the chat. Just always know that's fine, man. If you just like to watch, you just want to watch and not really, um, you don't want to communicate, do anything like that. As long as you're enjoying the show, man, that's all that matters. And we're just glad that y'all. Whether you want to speak up or not, we're just glad that y'all are enjoying the show, man. Matheson Monarch, uh, I saw you in chat, dude. He said he's about to go to bed, so I'm like, oh, we got to play it. Um, it's been funny watching Kiwi's lol cow pronunciation slowly infect Smokey over the course of two hyper stupid. He's gone from lol to lol. Is it that? Yeah, I didn't even realize. I haven't noticed that either, but I will now when I say lol cow. Because, yeah, oh, right man. there, lol, lol. It's more like lol. Lol cow. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my you God. Successfully made me sad, Monarch. <laughs> Hope you're happy with yourself. I think it all started Good around night. the lol suit with White Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was crazy, dude. Yeah. The legal issues. Jesus. Well, Smokey, we can't talk about that. We, 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 we can't talk about this right now, Smokey. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, your lawyer said we can, so fuck it. Like you're... Bun oh Boy says God. Bingus? Well, Bingus to you too, yeah. my friend. Snoop Bingus usual, I see. <laughs> A five. Welcome to the Own Zone, little Welcome to the Own Zone. Cat. Well, welcome to the Own Zone. Welcome to Two After Stupid. And I'm so fucking happy blessing up the gang like that, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why does this cat look like it's about to DJ a rave? I think oh, it might dang, be. dude. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Doing a song <laughs> Thanks. with Dragon Lord. Thanks for taping up five people, dude. Skirt, skirt. Um, I'm officially a correction. So that's what's up, Trash Man Dakota. He's been working hard, guys. Hell yeah. Um, I remember you talking about this. He's like, I got one more class to go. I got two classes to go. Like, it's crazy. So I'm glad that all that hard work is paying off for you. Um, don't take no shit. Aim for the kneecaps. <laughs> Keldor, ninety-two dollars. Uh, reminder: the Caucasian Goomba is a predator. <laughs> oh, okay, it's been a minute since we got one. It's been a minute. Caucasian. Goomba. Yeah, it has been a little while. Yeah, the Caucasian Koopa. Absolute predator. Oh, I love these names. Enigma dropping five on the gang. Yo, Enigma. Oh, you know it. Fucking get always here. Always here every week. One of the last remaining black dragons, and we love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, for real. One of the last black dragons. Uh, one of the biggest tapists, biggest members of Herp Gang. Enigma. Um, a lot of people owe you the praise, my man. And thank you for being around for so long. That's I right. Think the, I, you know how I was like saying nothing earlier? Because I think that fucking Tony the Black Dragon was in chat earlier. I really? Didn't give him, I didn't want to give you him the satisfaction. You little pedophile freak. Yeah. You little fucker. Like. I oh, saw him. I'm like, I don't want to bring him up if he's and not getting no three hundred dollars out of us, no matter no, what weirdos no. tell you that you should be. Tony, it's, gonna... it's on site. Tony, it's on site. Yeah. I see you. I'm I'll going to walk in... over to you. I'll I'm going to tip you yet. over, and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> I'll, Yo, say, I'll sit in a chair just him. to even things up. I'll sit in a chair just to even things up, <laughs> and then tip you over. <laughs> yeah, Tony, I will straight up pop them wheels. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Wendigo, Wendigo. another goat man come on all the fucking goats are out and Thank about you, tonight dude. Wendigo man dropping five and I just realized Kiwi what we probably should do either next week or the week after is finally watch the darkness oh yeah for Halloween we have yeah. to watch the darkness yeah what's the darkness Cyrax's movie oh okay yeah it's amazing <laughs> It really is like just the pinnacle of avant-garde film. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Wendigo. 
Guys, love the content. Best day of the week. If you want to end with some good music, try Kiefer, Kiefer Green. Green. Yeah, bro. Kiefer Green, one of my inspirations. He's like one of the best goddamn producers out there. Really? We have trolls to He's paradise. a goat, bro. He's, we have he's... trolls to paradise. Yeah. You have to play, have to play trolls. <laughs> but that's All another right. name. The Kiefer Green is another name to go on our, our list here for next the next Locals got. Or no, Locale Music Edition. He's not a oh, no, he, like he's not even a law guy. He's just a good <laughs> he's just a good ass funk nope. producer. Nope. Spooky, great producer. Spooky makes a whole video trashing on my like, yes. beloved my funk Kiefer Green. Producer. This is Kiefer Green, the sick <laughs> fuck. This... <laughs> I don't even know what he did, but fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? I just found a bot. I was walking around my crib. I just found a bag of fireworks. Where does these come oh, from? That's what's up. Yeah, that's wild. Um, thank you, Buddha. Uh, Hello, dude, y'all. I'm y'all baked and sludged out. Well, we just talked about him for a little bit a little while ago. He's going sober. His streams suck. He was playing fucking Fortnite on stream last night, getting no donations, so he ended the stream really quickly. It's going to be a sad cycle for Blade over the next few months because he really mm-hmm. said something on stream the other night, Kiwi, that's made me so annoyed for, like, and it shouldn't, but he said, as he was ending his stream, he's like, love you guys, man. Love the community we've built here. And I'm just like, no, you don't. No, you yeah. fucking don't. He sees them you, as like fucking little, little. I wouldn't even say that. I'm like, your quote unquote community in your mind is the three people like Big Chungus and Vinny who give you money, and the rest of the people who are your actual community, the IP2 crowd who you hate so much because they do everything you do when you're drunk. You act like, no, no, those are just trolls and haters. They're not part of my community. That is your community, Blade. For better or worse, you have you have acted. In that same way, walking around saying the N word, acting like all this fucked up shit you say is okay, and when the people in your chat say it and you act like they're out of line now, that's what you've that's what you've grown. That's what uh-huh. your community is. And if you don't want those people there, don't say that you love your community because that's what your community is. It's not the two guys just paying you their entire paychecks to keep you afloat. You know, it it's is. Fucking... It's just people that want to see you drink yourself to death. Yeah, and they're not going to pay you if you're not going to drink. So he's just going to have to go broke before he picks up the yes. bottle again. Like, dude, I saw him last. Someone, someone donated under the name like, uh, like Willie wants a fire sale, and yeah. Blade was like, Blade was like, all right, dickhead, you're banned. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you were literally drunk on stream. Oh, fuck Willie, dude. Fuck Willie, dude. Willie died, dude. Willie. Di-. And it's like Willie what, what other ghosted people? you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the now, Willie Ghost. Yeah. Now other people, <laughs> but now other people are saying it in chat, and it's such a mistake because you were drunk. Like, and and that's the other thing with Blade. If he really, if he like, someone said that to him in a donation one time, and I think I said this on the show, the realest donation I've ever read. That someone said, "Hey, dickhead, why not just not stop drinking, but just stop saying the N word and doing all this dumb shit that gets you banned when you drink?" Can't I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. Like, I can't well, figure it out. Yeah, right. It's impossible. Like, I can't that out. It's impossible <laughs> to do that, dude. I don't know. Dude, honestly, I think that like Willie, his whole problem was he couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> couldn't like, figure it out, Kiwi. You're right. For real. Dead ass. I'm I'm just saying, like, you, no, you need right. to figure it out. I and, think you're right. Yeah. He he tried <laughs> so couldn't. hard to figure it out, it just shut off. He he was trying to figure it out for like weeks. And it just you couldn't even figure it out. Uh, Smokey, the Lions are going to the Super Bowl and going to beat the Chiefs 34 to 27. I'd save your money on that bet. I'd save hmm. your money on that one. I feel like this is the 49ers year, if anything, but we'll have to see. Haven't you seen that all they're talking about is fucking. I, it is so crazy how yeah, obsessed Travis people Kelsey and Taylor are with Swift. Taylor Swift. Like, yeah. Miss Kiwi is one of those, like, Swifties, and it's horrifying. <laughs> I'm like, Girl, I know someone who dropped 15k on like tickets, dude. It's like, wow. bro, that's that's an indie record deal. The hell you drop in 15k for? I wanted to like do something special for her, so I looked up the price, and it's yeah, just right. like insane. So did I. Oh mm-hmm. my god, it's it's ludicrous. It yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. There's no shot, no shot, no way. And and I and she she was like, no, I wouldn't even want you to because it's just ridiculous. I'm like, oh. But that's all. It really freaks me out how devoted they are to her. Yeah. <laughs> Deputy Dewey, what, working third shift sucks. I just woke up and missed two hours of the music episode. Keep doing God's work, boys. And as always, Genshin Groper is a predator. And dude, hmm. Stoner Cookbook was lit. Big ups. 
Yeah. Oh hell yeah, bro. The Stoner Cookbook. I'm I'm proud of it. Brains and I Brains did a great job and I I think I gave it my all. So that's I'm glad people liking it. I'm glad people oh. digging it. Yeah, dude. You you guys have you guys have more than earned it. I can tell that it took a lot of work just from the couple songs that I listened to. Hell yeah. To. But, um, Thank you, Deputy Dewey. Yeah, we appreciate you, Dewey. Dude, a local fantasy league is needed to smoke, my dude. Thanks, boys, for all you do. I mean, I've been looking into doing like an actual fantasy league. I was gonna do it at the beginning of this season, but I think next year we'll do it with just some of the homies from chat, like we're on a fantasy football league. Um, but I, I don't know how a local fantasy league would work. Dude, you could like do a number of rages, number of cries, number of uh break, like amount of things broken. That's fair. Um, number That's, of like, like but like how many comments. members? How many members to a team, and like how many people would we have? You know, it's tough. That's a good question. But we—it's definitely something we can think of. Tn. Yeah, something to think on. Recently, re- learned raptors had feathers but couldn't. That's fly. interesting. That's true. I bet they look a lot different than what we. Think yes, them. probably they do. They look <laughs> mad different. What's your favorite Play-Doh color, boys? I'll huh. smoke you scream for me. No, no. No, hey, you either pay up right now, Nick, or I show my cock and I get you banned. Which is it, Nick? I, I personally like the red Play-Doh. Yeah, the red. Dreaming the red. of Blade Babylon is right. The blue Play-Doh has no taste, like no salt context to <laughs> it, like no flavor profile. So I prefer the red Play-Doh. Yeah, red Play-Doh. I always definitely. liked how gross the green Play-Doh looked. <laughs> Did you guys ever make nice. your own? Well, different colors, yeah, of course. Yeah, Play-Doh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Like 95% salt. <laughs> <laughs> Doom, I'd love to play some bass on a track, bro, from mm. JB Behemoth. Huh, it's... There's there's some potential. I know I've Dude. seen some comments here and there about people, like, maybe being the bassist of, like, a band or something of mine. I do have a bassist already, but... Uh, I don't. Maybe one of these days we can link up and we can like get a song where you play in bass. I've heard some of JB's stuff. He was in a band before. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, he's good, and he's got nice. this like the most glorious beard I've ever seen. Hell yeah, I'm digging the beard. But yeah, yeah. definitely, bro. I could at some point if I got like a. I think it would have to be a more traditional hip hop song. Of, well, like when I'm starting to make more traditional hip hop songs, I might hit you up for some bass licks. Fuck yeah. That's what's up, guys. Community. Oh, yeah, Doom. Uh, King, King Bobby, Bobby B me. with the five buds. FYI, the goblins going back to raging on uh, Marty's, Marty's stream. stream. Yes. Yeah, we saw yeah, that. Like I I saw said, that. We can't really can't really show that because of how much like anti-Semitic things Cyrax mm-hmm. is saying. And also, considering what's happening in the world right now, YouTube is cracking down fucking hard on that shit. So, yeah, can't really, can't really do nothing with that one. And, I mean, I've seen it, like... It's all the same stuff. I've seen oh, yeah. it it's once. Just, I've seen it's it a million just, It's times. one of those things where it's been go- away for so long that it's like, oh, shit, look, look at that, you know? Yeah. But then you realize, like, oh, it's Cyrax. Just, just fuck <laughs> He's you, doing fuck the you same again. shit, dude. At well, least that's... the Reshi Ram songs are varied. Yeah. And it's like I said, it's, <laughs> it sucks because it's gone to such a level now with Chance where the fight happened, the thing with aware of myself at his house. It's like anything less than that anymore is kind of like, ah. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, for real. It's crazy. Like, I'll Cyrax catch you is, next week. Yeah, yeah, dead ass. The Cyrax shit has gotten like to the point where like everyone expects nothing but absolute craziness, and it's just yeah, I know what you're saying. For real, uh, Bobby B, thank you. Too high for Too- stupid. The most lovely thing on the tubes. I appreciate you boys. <laughs> Look, you have a local fancy league. You guys really want this? We need scab, scab bets. bets. I mean. Fuck, like I said, that it's tough. First off, I've wanted to start like making polls on local rumbles to where like I could give you guys money if you picked the right person. However, I don't know YouTube's rules with like betting and shit like that. So I um yeah, I just I don't know. We'll have to look, we'll have to look into it. Yeah, I that would be like if you put money on scab count, you'd have to fucking zoom in and like fucking you know. And clean it I up think, with AI and shit. I think it'd be like Cyrax yeah. goes live and you take bets on the over under of scab scratches. I would give him 4.5. So if it's anything <laughs> over, if you pick over, then he has to scratch his head five times for you to win. 
six years, Smokey, that you six were bullied years. Earl. That's most definitely what's up. Yeah. yeah you six took years. six years of Earl's life from him. I, I keep finding that so funny. He, he contacts that girl he groped and complains <laughs> about us. And it's like, you did this two years ago before you even knew who any of us were. Like, we didn't even know who you were. And you did this all completely unprovoked. In what fucking way is this our fault? Like, is this, what, what is, what, how have we caused you to do any of no. this fucked up shit? Like, this is all your fault, Smokey. It is. I know. I know. It's a great time to play from Ram Ranch, boys. Pokemon in the showers <laughs> at the Ram Ranch. Oh my God. Bro, I remember that's one of the first videos on my channel. Like, uh, Doom Eternal was just dropping, and they had that really lame, like, rap music. Uh, it sounded, I, I think it was NF or something, some really, like, mid rapper spitting on a beat, like, uh, in the commercial and shit. And I, and I just, uh, I just replaced it with Ram Ranch. I'm like, Doom commercial with better music. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad because that game had such a sick soundtrack. Bro, just oh my like god, it's sad what they did to Mick Gordon. Mick Gordon it deserves is. better. That's so fucked up, dude. I will I don't even know if I will ever buy another Doom game. I and know that's God's honest truth. And you know, yeah. I don't blame you. I'm I'm a I might be sticking to Doom mods dude, for Doom I, 2 I, for a hot minute. I fucking of ripped that. up Eternal, dude. I, I would like I tried so hard to get good at Nightmare, I just never could. I had to do on like the one below Nightmare was <laughs> the best of my abilities yeah. um they were great games man that's it's fucked up what they did to Nick. Ed, Ed boy, boy. Mm. you are a, you're a tapist bro uh not here you're not much love to you too there's a ditto pretending to be a pikachu in michi's picture again keep those dittos mm. safe it's the eyes huh it's the eyes yes yeah, that'd Hide be horrifying. What if it was like a Pokemon that had like was majoritively eyes? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I feel bad for Dylan Thomas. Last update is that his mom found him after he tried to unlive. Why does everyone hate him? I feel like I arrived late. Well, firstly, let me say this: that that situation I found out about that recently too. That's fucked up. No one wants to see this dude off himself or nothing like that. No. Um. It's just, you know, I wish I could tell you why. I wish I could tell you why. But I don't even remember myself why people don't like him. So uh, I, I somewhat remember. People didn't it? like him because his content seemed very low effort and he was very smug about everything. Fair. And then, Fair. And then he would just keep getting into beefs, like initiating beefs with people. Like before he was even beefing with Rogue, he was like beefing with Medicare, beefing mm -hmm. with this person, beefing with that. And uh, it just got oh, to the point where everyone was, got yeah. sick of his shit, especially when he tried to, especially when he deleted all of his videos and then tried charging a hundred dollars to bring back his yes, lamest books on a chew readings. And people were like, bro, like, no, Wait, you guys didn't miss pay? me with that. I paid. Yeah. <laughs> you paid. You, you paid. Oh, there was at least investment. one person. There was one person who did pay a hundred dollars for him to bring back the Sonic Chew series. Yeah, it was Kiwi. And, it was uh, Kiwi tapes. Yeah, <laughs> but Doom, you brought up you brought up Dylan's smug attitude, and that's when people were bringing up about Blades, how fucking smug Blade of all people is now that he's quit drinking. Like people in chat, like I said, are saying stuff about Willie, and he's banning them. Going like that's like super fucked up, dude. Super fucked up. And it's like, yeah, do you dude. hear yourself when you're drunk, you fucking asshole? Like, stop trying to like tell these people in chat. Like, I get it. The stuff they're saying is fucked up, but because you say the same stuff all the time, they're gonna think it's okay to say it. I'd so be weird. like, what's even? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm saying so. Who are you to tell them not to say that shit when you do it yourself all the time? Yeah, I was gonna be like, well, he didn't die on my floor, Blade. Yeah, that's just true. saying. That's true. That's so true. that's what's what's really fucked up here, you know? Yep. Yeah. Oh, exactly. so like, oh. yeah. Dylan just had like too many controversies to be as yeah. smug as he was, and people just like weren't having it anymore. I wish him the best, but like you know, that's that's just what happens. And, uh, when you I know, piss I know off my the audience too much. I know my voice is grating to the ears, but um, Dylan's just had no, my you're, you're, top. Well, again, you're 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 selling yourself short. It's crazy, dude. Your voice Dylan's is perfect just... for this type of stuff. Oh. Dylan's at the same time, though. Yeah, 
I remember I when I would, before I started doing these videos, and I'll be honest with this, I remember I'd watch like a Gino video, and Miss Smokey would sit there with me and be like, wow, this is interesting. Then one time we watched a Rogue video, and she was like, man, like this Chris guy's crazy. Then we watched a Dylan video, and she was like, turn this off. Turn this off. <laughs> yeah, you did ass. Oh, bro, remember when he tried using a voice changer? Did he? Re- I yeah, never yeah bro, there was, there was a time like around when Rogue announced he was coming back from like his hiatus after the whole uh you know someone trying to dock some shit yeah, yeah uh dylan dylan like he he's basically skipped town and like made a new account it's called shad's hoodlum and he used the voice changer but the thing about dylan his like the way he talks his inflictions his and cadence, all that shit yeah. is like the his nasal ass timbre is so distinctive that like <laughs> Like people were like running it through pitch shifters just to double check, but like we could already tell. Yeah, that's fucking Dylan. You, you just immediately tell it's Dylan Thompson. Yeah, voice you you could it. immediately tell it was <laughs> Dylan. It ain't matter how many fucking filters and how, like he ran it through, how much he pitched it down. You could immediately tell it was fucking Dylan. That's amazing. Wow. How was Zach? Thank you so much. Thank for the you, follow, my dude. Patient zero tapist. And Ed Boy, uh, Ed Boy with five. five as well. Thank you, Ed Boy. We appreciate you, dude. Uh, you're a tapist. Everybody else, is, you get a tape. You get a tape. Yep. Everybody gets a tape. Um, it's been a good night for Green Chat, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. That always means the world. I'm so happy that we can throw this up on the screen now and give these people proper thanks. Very what the fuck? That. I got up for a hot second and came back to Caveman Cobes. Yeah, Q, we had that picture on stream for a while. I was noticing that too, that Caveman Cobra. Makes it look more <laughs> unflattering than he already is, and that seems pretty pretty, pretty tough task to accomplish. That was My the favorite second still Smurf Cobes. Smurf Cobes. Smurf <laughs> late for Wendy's Cobes. <laughs> yeah, I look like an avatar. Uh, right. Just like finger plants, no two navels are exactly alike, so don't commit crimes with your navel print. Your belly button print on everything. Well, f- thank you. Good to know, Rose T. Good to that know. That is good to know. I'll train I just realized something. If avatars were real, imagine how racist that would be if Cobra said that. Yeah, no, that's true, dude. That'd be, that'd be like, awful. <laughs> You'd get canceled. Oh, yeah. If avatars Dude, were real. Imagine, imagine trying to like play in any kind of sport with those fucking things running around. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> is it? Um, Kiwi, Doom, Smoke, I want to thank you all for existing. But we want to thank you for existing too, Ozzy. You're a fucking goat. Yeah, dude. We thank you for existing. Hell you yeah, your bro. alien masters. Um, JB. Dude, you've yeah. changed your profile pic like three times. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, he wanted to show us his Kratos cosplay. This is him. That's fresh. Yeah. That's fresh. But they're they're talking to Doom here saying, Doom, I'd like to audition as a guest studio basis. Search Soil Seed under my other channels. I'm on bass in those songs. Love you all. The untro- unholy trinity of goats is here. That's what's up. Well, hell yeah, bro. I'm writing it down right now next to my Earl is a Predator counter. So I will, I'll make sure to hit that up. You're his, uh, what's the name of the producer for all those boy bands? What's his name? You know, mm. Lou Pearlman. Yeah, uh, yours Lou yeah. Pearlman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got the bread pirate blobberts with linguini, a heart, a kiwi, and a smoke, and I'm better than Doom at Tekken. Hope you're all well oh, from linguini. Shit. Is that linguini? Guy yeah, that, that's, that's our boy linguini. Yeah. There's there's some lore behind that. We've had twelve sets of Tekken, right? Twelve, the uh, King Ditto matches. I have like King Ditto uh, sets. I have won ten, and because <laughs> he has won two recently, all of a sudden he is <laughs> the Tekken god. <laughs> well, guess what, uh, Linguini? I'm a I'm a I'm gonna start labbing and I'm I'm getting my I'm getting my crown back. Linguini God fucking goat and wrestling Otaku is a fat weirdo. He is. He, he is. is. <laughs> He's is not even Muda? the fattest and weirdest of his bunch, which is funny. <laughs> Dude, Spy got... Kids was goaded. I was, yeah. I love I love that picture. Look at Thank that. You, Mr. Muda on his oh. birthday dropping 20 for the game. Dude. Yo. Muda, bro, dropping 20 for you, man. Like, fuck. Like, it's. Are you here, Muda? 
You got to be. He's probably out celebrating. That's probably. right. I hope you, Muda, no matter what you do tonight, man, I hope you have a good fucking night. If you're drinking, I hope you get all drunked up and just are able to party. No matter what you're doing, man, you have a great fucking night, brother. Thank you so goddamn much for that. Yeah, for real. We appreciate you stopping by. You go have some fucking fun. You absolute goat. I know that you made 23 people's nights. I hope that you have a good night, bro. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It was Daniel Larson singing also, Bowser's a Predator. Uh, if interested, I'm working on a cookbook based on locales. Absolutely interested, my friend. Just send it our way over. Uh, I'll send it my way at SmokeyMCC on Twitter. Um, you know, I'd love to take a look at it. I know these guys would too. Mm-hmm. You bet your ass. Uh, Psycho, again, Earl Doob, you are like, just like Dookie. You like little girls and you're swampy like Snooky. Does that like count? Snooky. Does that count? Yeah, I think I count. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we up to twenty now. Thank you, Psycho Man. Just dropping, dropping wisdom, dropping love on the chat all night, brothers. It's a fucking honor to have you here. I liked Snooky, dude. I think that there should be more people that'll just get up on top of a bar and dance. You know, I, I thought you were about to say you want to see her punch in the face at a bar. No, no, dude. Uh, <laughs> what's what's uh, the one I couldn't stand was the. Uh, Mike, the situation with the fucking Good, ab guy. Couldn't handle the situation, bro? No, I couldn't. Yeah, I'll tell you something. I can't handle that's There'd be a situation. I probably wouldn't go well for me, but there'd be a situation. <laughs> <laughs> Devo Tio. You should really look into Case Malji. He's a schizo investor that thinks Ryan Cohen sends him hidden messages and wasted his son's Colin fund on Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh stuff. my that god! Sounds interesting. What? That sounds fucking interesting. I'm screenshotting that one right now. Dude, you got to be a terrible investor if you're investing in bed. That's like investing in Blockbuster for fuck's sakes. That's right. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ, man! Everyone gets their shit at Walmart. <laughs> Thank you, though. Enigma, you the dark side Enigma with pads. another five. Enigma. Holy Fuck shit, yeah, brother. Dude. Just dropping love to all the gang. Dropping love to us here, too, man. Just thank you, as always, Enigma. Like I said, man, a good black dragon. I'm like Tony, mm-hmm. that lame black dragon. Tony's not even a black dragon anymore. He's a fucking... No. Just a, just a damn pussy. It. Keep kicking this fucking thing. I love the ne- name of this next donator. Faultistic Liberation Front. No! <laughs> Yes. Look, look, that's just for Chris Chan's one of his original Pokemon cards, Plautistic, a plant that is autistic. Mm-hmm. And you know, Plautistic needs to make his way into the actual Pokemon games. You know, Sonichu and all them can fucking wait. If there's any of Chris Chan's homemade Pokemon that needs to get into the real Pokemon games, it's Plautistic. Plautistic was Bob's dream for Chris Chan. You know, he wanted Plautistic to be a representation for autistic peoples everywhere. Yep. And Sonichu was not the move. He should have nah, went, he should went full speed One with second. Plotistic. I gotta mute myself real quick. I'm sorry, Go ahead. guys. Go ahead, Get bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> not fair. How would White Bowser react to New Jack taking his soul? That was amazing. Also, who would win the fight to the death? John War Machine versus New Jack? Kiwi, do you huh. know who John War Machine is? I don't. I would assume no, another deathmatch wrestler. No, I mean, it sounds like it, right? But no, I, don't, I have no idea who John War Machine is. But, I mean, I think I take New Jack in that. But, I mean, Earl will be like, New Jack, po- please, please, New Jack, <laughs> please don't take my soul. New Jack be like, he'd say the N-word, be like, N-word, I'm taking, I'm taking your ass to hell. I'm bumping a few lines with the devil. And you're coming with me, Earl. Like, yeah. <laughs> It would go great for everybody involved. A Plotistic is back. A long time lurker, first time member, making this layover bearable, guys. Herp gang till I die, motherfucker. Oh, I thank hate, you. Dude. I hate layovers, bro. I fucking hate layovers. I, I like getting on one flight and then getting immediately on my next one. I'm thinking like a 45 minute layover. Actually, maybe about an hour because you need that time to walk from terminal to terminal. But yeah, layovers are fucking worse, bro. And I hope yours goes by quick. Fuck yeah, dude. Quick reminder, Earl that Predator 445 <laughs> eats cupcakes. He is, and he does. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> fucking serious right now, man. Fucking serious. Sukita oh boy. with the five. Oh, shit, it's Vaporeon. <laughs> yeah, I would have been excited three hours ago, but Reshiram's my new best friend now. Yep, Vaporeon's out. Reshiram is in. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. The raiding monkeys. Hey, Smoking Kiwi, been here a minute. I'm so proud. Well, man, we're proud that you're here. You've been loving it this whole time. We're proud that we're putting on a show that y'all love. 
And like I said, what we've built here so far, man, we're only going to keep on building. And that's just a real way to put it. We love that all you guys are here to help us build this shit too, man. Fuck yeah. I couldn't have put it better myself. This is only the start, my dudes. Your pit bull is using Cyrax as a shoe <laughs> toy? Oh, man. Bro, he's gonna have a of good course he has a pit bull. <laughs> he's probably mad because there's not a lot of meat on those bones, so he has nothing to really sink his teeth For real. into. You be careful. That's going to be a hungry animal. That's right. <laughs> Enigma uh, again? Holy shit. shit. Dude, Enigma, Enigma, bro. Just throughout the course of the show, you're consistently blessing up the homies more and more. And listen, we gotta thank you. They can thank you. It's just, it's awesome, man, that you do this for the gang. And just thank you again. For real, he straight peppers us. That's he right. Peppers chat with the herp. Yep, that's true. <laughs> that Ghostbuster fan too. Holy shit! What's, What's up, up guys? dude? What guys have you covered has done worse? Uh, what you mean? Probably. Probably Rax, Yandere Dev did some pretty bad stuff too. A lot yeah. of them are terrible. Rax is pretty bad. Um, uh, well, Jonathan Ross didn't necessarily do anything worse than Cyrax, but the guy in the story, Jet Rex, who actually like abused his little sister, yeah. could, be, could be considered a lot of fucked up people. Yeah. My wife, Cal, made chicken and waffles. Life good? That sounds like a lit meal right now, Aaron. I'd, I'd love for some chicken and waffles. I'm going to go tell Miss Smokey right now to maybe start up the, uh, get the air fryer ready. You're so, f man, I would, I would love a meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Aaron. Neil nice. Moon. Awesome, awesome stream. stream. Also, I loved Stoner Cookbook. Yeah. Yeah, man, like I said, a lot of people are saying some great things. Doom's been here tonight, and it was it was an awesome time talking with him. Awesome time talking with Kiwi, like, every week. And people are really seeming to love that that cookbook, man. And just shout-out to Doom. Shout-out to Black Brains for that. Just two awesome people putting together some awesome work. Yeah, dude. It really, some of those songs were, like, fucking bangers, man. Yeah. All of them oh, were yeah. good, so. Um, this is probably worth, like, a penny in my currency, but love you guys so much. Yeah, my friend, never worry about that. It's, Thank you for showing support, man. And we just love having uh, you here, Blissy. We really do. Dude, never fucking worry about that shit. Thank never. you so much for blessing us up. Um, and that is a cool little... Uh, it's a cool little pure... Out there, yeah. Jeremy Three, dropping five. five? Oh, my oh, he's God. He's a Rush fan. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I was kind of talking crap on them a little bit earlier, but they do have some really good songs. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, they do, but... But Jeremy here, man, showing love on the gang. Like I said, again, man, can't thank you enough. Can't thank you enough there, Jeremy. I'm so sorry if I'm low energy, guys. I've been here almost four and a half hours. Oh, I don't blame you, bro. Like, the <laughs> only reason I'm not is because I haven't smoked tonight. Like, it's been, for like I said, this is rare for me. So usually yeah, I'm just sitting here stoned. And by this point, I'm kind of falling asleep. But I'm, I'm just going right now because I've been drinking consistently throughout the night. You've got the secret figured out. Yeah, plus I got like five hundred dollars riding on the Phillies right now, and if they keep ah. it out, I win some money. So, uh, so you're like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're down one nothing right now, and that's no good. Tarantula though, being a new member. Welcome, dude. Welcome to the gang. I hope I hope to have a video up for you guys uh, by the morning. If not, oh tonight. yeah, oh yeah. And Enigma with a ten. Finally, Jesus, Enigma. Enigma. One final, one final beat. One final. I'm going to bless up this this fucking community, bro. And thank you so much for doing that, Enigma. Yeah, really, my friend. You're a fucking goat. You. And it's never... It's, even though I say it a million times, it can never be said enough. You're a fucking legend. You're a fucking goat, my friend. He truly is patient zero of Herp Gang. That's right. It's That's insane. right. We can't thank you enough for all the support, Enigma. We can't thank all of you enough for the support. Um... I I hope Doom gets back soon, but I'm t I'm tired as fuck. Yeah, no, you can be uh, the outro, and we'll uh, and uh we'll everybody go check out the Stoner Cookbook by Club Doom and Black Brains. Um, oh, go hell yeah! Out, go check out the newest uh, Smokey MCC video on uh, Johnny Smalley. It's great work. Um, would yeah, you guys go on ahead. You take. I it think over. that's about it, Kiwi. I'm pouring up another drink. Okay. I just finished my bottle of tequila. Fuck yeah. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Hey, thanks. This has been a great time. Yeah, dude. Thank you for all that. <laughs> Always is with you guys, man. You, Kiwi, you, Doom. You guys are fucking legends. Thanks to anyone who stopped by tonight. Everybody, have a great rest of your week, and we will see y'all next week. Take care, everybody. <laughs>
as I walk through the valley of wild and dark shame. I take a look at my life and I realize there's nothing here. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mom I think that my mind is gone. But I never left my computer, doggone it. Me be feel like a punk, I take it out on that guy. I have too much stress and free time, I can't enjoy it. I am a stressed homeboy in prison and lows. A cheap laugh on that guy's loan expense. I say cook, I see myself worse off than apple. I'm the kind of G that no one gives a cry and blame to care. On my knees tonight, saying prayers in the LCD light. We've been spending most of our lives living in a trollster's paradise. We've been spending most of our lives living in the trollster's paradise. We keep spending most of our lives living in the trollster's paradise. We keep spending most of our lives living in the trollster's paradise. Look at the situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was ruined by the strip. So I gotta lay it down. It's quite no cash. Too much air that's surfing. Got me taunts and dreams. I'm a stupid little fool with fake sets on my mind. Got my mouse in my hand and a Sony stain keyboard. I'm locked in as a thin gang ganger. I keep my homies my gear, so I'm a lonely dope G. Fitting up the heartbeat away. I'm living a good do or die. What can I say? I'm 13 now, but who I live to see any mo? The way things are going, I don't know. See why, why are so blind to see that the ones we heard are you and me? The ones we heard are you and me? We've been spending most of our lives living in the gay coast of paradise. <laughs> We can spend most of our lives living in the trust of paradise. We can spend most of our lives living in the trust of paradise. We can spend most of our lives living in the trust of paradise. Power and no money, money and no power. Minute after minute, hour after hour. Everybody's typing, but half of them ain't caring. It's going on in the kitchen, but I don't know what's hanging. They got a violin learn, learning here to teach me. If they can't understand it, how can they reach me? I guess they can, I guess they won't. I guess I front, that's why I know my life's not well spent, Gee, We've been spending most of our lives living in the Trostas paradise. We've been spending most of our lives living in the Trollstas paradise. We keep spending most of our lives living in the Trollstas paradise. We keep spending most of our lives living in the Trollstas paradise. Tell me why we leave so blind to see that the ones we hurt are you and me. Tell me why we are we. He just gave up. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, that was my God. the second longest episode of Two Actors Stupid Ever. Jesus.